What is up, everybody? This is the Lazy Shaman Show. My name is Lazy Jedi. And I'm Shaman Says. Good evening. Good evening. I hope everybody had a good week. Oh, sorry about that. Move some stuff around. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? You petting a I, heard, yeah, I never heard to hear that, but now I heard it. I was like, shh, 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 shh. I, uh, I was moving my handy dandy Chromebook around. Oh, okay. Well, who do we so, got in the chat? If Ghost, if you're still here, man, happy birthday. Um, happy birthday to Ghost. Or as or as JR says, happy motherfucking birthday. That's a good way of putting it, too. I like I it. He's in, I think he said he was going to Vegas this week, right? I think he's in Vegas. Oh, well, I don't even want to hear about that shit because I'm already jealous. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Tim Shea? Hey, hey. What's up, Tim? We got Lazy Jedi in the crowd there. Yes, I was in the chat. What's up, what's up, JR? We got that guy. What's up, JR? That guy. Oh, and we got Miss Face. What's up, Miss Face? Miss, Miss Miss Face. I didn't see you out there in Arkansas. What happened? I thought you guys were coming out there. We had a little cookout <laughs> and stuff. Grab some steaks. My bad. My, my, my Chromebook's going slow. I'm trying to catch up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Always waiting on you. There we go. There we go. Finally up there. Um, Slim Jesus. What's up, Slim? Uh, oh, Vegas was last weekend. Where are you at now? Jesus Christ. That was last weekend. It's got other stuff going on now. Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. The gayest intro of all YouTube goes. Thanks, that guy. Love you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, not in the way you wish we loved you, obviously, but still love you. You think that's gay? You should wait until the outro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what gets real serious. The outro is where things really get steamy. So, uh, what, what's everybody smoking on tonight? I'm uh, I'm puffing on some Oreos with a Z, so it's Oreos. Z. Why? <laughs> you getting red, bro? What's up, Brian Dowie? I thought I think you won some tokens on a uh, space the other day. If I remember correctly if my memory serves me correct oh. super lemonade well, uh, that's a good one that's a classic tim right there. tim shea must not have been involved otherwise nobody else would have won anything that's all i'm saying yeah yeah hey what up cool cat how I I almost moved that. cool cat's blowing that smoke already Okay, we got some alien OG. Okay, okay. This it must be sticky. You didn't really like. But this is that fake stuff, man. This is that that legal in all 50 states recreational shit. I kind of um, like it. <laughs> you're smoking oregano? Yeah, sure. I'm telling you, man, it's it's just different. You know, I like to have something a little different. Is it good though? Like, does it get you fucked up the same way? No, nah, it's actually it's pretty intense. Like, it'll give you like a, a nice intense high. And like, when some of them, like, if you want one to sleep, there was one. Uh, I forget what it's called. Oh, uh, runt runt mints. Is what it was, and man, like, I was driving, and 
I mean, I wasn't driving and I was smoking that. And I I was just I was almost falling asleep, like right there on the spot. I was like, holy shit. Like it was super strong in that way for about 20 minutes. After about 20 minutes, I was good. Okay, I kind of feel like an asshole right now. We've been almost we're a little bit over five minutes into this stream, and we have not given a single moment of you know just silence for the passing of OJ Simpson. The wrongly accused pro football star. Guys, it's a big deal. I don't think we need a moment of silence. We need a, a ride down the highway. <laughs> Just hop in your Bronco. I didn't even know he had cancer. Was that news oh, that he, he had cancer? Yeah, that's what he died of, apparently. I don't know what kind of cancer or anything about it, but I mean, God bless him. I <laughs> can't believe he beat those March marches. <laughs> Well, I uh, I saw an interview with one of the jurors for that, and she said that ninety percent of the people on there knew he did it. Well, that was like one of the longest fucking trials ever. Like, okay, it went on for eleven months. Eleven well, months if, of if just the glove being a don't juror. Fit, if the glove don't fit, you, you must, must quit. quit. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a story too where they're talking about like he stopped taking his arthritis medicine so his hands puffed up. But the other thing too, like that was a conspiracy theory. I don't know if it's true or whatever, but like they were leather gloves. So like when they're saturated with blood or any liquid, they shrink. And so <laughs> since since they were gloves he wore while he murdered, they shrunk up after he, you know, had them doused in blood. Oh. It's crazy. How I don't know how much I don't know how much truth there is to that. I haven't really done a lot of research on it, but either way, everybody knows that motherfucker did it. Well, all you got to do is go, you know, cut yourself and put a glove on and then see if it shrinks. Well, yeah, I suppose. I'm not in a, I'm not really that interested in the... It's for science, bro. Come it's on. For science. Do it for the culture. And what's up, Psycho? <clears throat> Welcome, welcome. What up, Seiko Hunt? Fulker. I was supposed to win some Merce Space tokens, too. Yeah, Merce Space. Could have been good. Merce Space could have been good. Speaking of Psycho, I got to send him a link. Uh... Seiko said uh, he had blue ball cancer. He I got blue ball cancer. Okay, well, was. you know, when it comes, like, you know, anybody that believes in karma, if you fucking believe in karma and you see OJ making it to his, you know, mid-70s with no fucking repercussions. I mean, he did go to prison for a long time. Yeah, but well, not for not, anything related to that. For murder. It's because it's he acted like a fucking retard after. Because wasn't it wasn't it like people selling some fan memorabilia and he robbed them? Yeah, it was over memorabilia that people like, were dude, selling. If you get away with murder, you feel like you're gonna get away with anything. Apparently, like that he did not whatever. I mean, I didn't get charged the first time, so I could probably get away with some shit again. Like, what kind of fucking mentality goes into that kind of shit? Or he's just got some mental, you know, some anger issues, you know what I mean? Uh, you hear that shit? He murdered that people shit? with a knife. He didn't even shoot them. He did it with a knife, which is very personal. Right, and he blamed it's it on his imaginary person. friend named Charlie. Charlie? Charlie. Yeah, hit my I, must, or I think that's what he said his name was. He was like, it must have been him, because he, he had Charles. it out for them. Charles. It's Charles, because Charles in charge. Charles in charge. <laughs> Thanks for that. You're welcome. Dominic. I appreciate that. Charles in charge. I don't. What is that from? Charles That's in charge. Charles. Is, that a, is that the name of the actual show? Yeah. Huh. You know, he's just showing his age right there. That's all. That's not my age. That's before my time, man. I'm just. If you say so, oh. sir. 
Quit acting like I should know about it. You're a little bit older than me. And if it's before your time, why would I know about it? What do you mean? It? You're older than me, fool. I doubt I'm it. I'm a young cool cat, man. You got twist it. Maybe I am. I don't know. I'm not sure. you, you got me by like four months. If I'm older than you, then I wish you'd respect your elders a little bit more, Shaman. That's all I got to yeah, say. Yeah, well, I uh, I follow the leader, right? And since you're leading, maybe you should show her some respect. Doesn't add up. Yeah, that didn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. <laughs> Thank you. Is See, it's not very often where I have backup against his nonsense, okay? <laughs> Hey, 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 I'm not choosing sides here. I'm just pointing out facts. That made exactly. no fucking sense. I understand that you're too sober to understand what's going on right now, and I'm exactly. not going to hold that against you. I'm not home yet. Don't have a beer yet. Oh. It's just so like when Shaman, I told everybody... Shaman's also right. <laughs> Shaman, Shaman's it's just like when I told everybody... <laughs> It's just like when I told I everybody last Nick. time, I said, I'm not what I think I am. I'm not what you think I am. Or I'm not who you think I am. Um, uh, I'm who I think you think I am. All right. right. And don't don't hurt yourself head. now. You want me to say it don't, again? All right. All right yeah, all right. no. My head, my head can't process that. You know, break I'm my not, computer, man. I'm not who I think I am. I'm not who you think I am. I'm who I think you think I am. Okay, you lost me a long time ago. <laughs> I was waiting for that. I was like, no way Lazy got that. I didn't even get it. No, nope. That's no shit right there. Just let it burn me. Mm -mm. So you're not <laughs> who you think you are. You're You're the person that you think other people think you are. Uh-uh. Let that resonate. You can keep trying to be profound, but it still amounts to bullshit. <laughs> Look, I stole that from somebody else, so I know it's not bullshit. <laughs> you stole that secondhand bullshit? Wow. No, that's first hand bullshit right there. Well, Brought no, to you, you didn't come up with that. <laughs> that's not bullshit, though. No. It's, uh, you want to want to see the guy say it? first hand, he he second hand. The guy has like an English accent, so he sounds right. Okay, well that okay, you didn't even mention the English accent to begin with, Shaman. That's what you should have led with. Oh, we got Soul Train. We got. I'm gonna add him. So don't click. Don't click on shit, Shaman. Otherwise, I'll un. We'll unadd him. We. We cancel each other out, so I'm going to click add. What hello, is hello, up, hello. What's going on? Let's get done with my driving. Go get my daughter a two-hour trip. It's always fun. Do you see our sexy pre-sale on display? I've seen that, man. It's, uh, it's uh, moving along. It is. Where are we at right now? We got 33 soul <laughs> raised. Oh, there's 33. Last time I checked, it was like 28. That's nice. literally. I think. I think it's gone up since we started the stream, which is like 10 minutes, 14 minutes. Holy shit! Uh, nice. Yeah. That's good marketing right there. Yeah, man. we're making we're making some progress there. That's what I was saying. Like, if it ends up above 30, I think we're you know we're doing okay. So yeah. we're already there. happy with it. And yep. the thing is to all these a lot of people watch it right down to the wire and then if they're gonna get in they do and then you know even if people don't a lot of people don't like pre-sales so they will just jump in on launch so yeah either way i'm happy with the way it's going we got four, what 46 wallets and then we've got the airdrops to the neko nft holders i think that's probably in like another 30 or 40 holders so hey hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. hey 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 ladies and gentlemen I'm sorry to cut everybody off, but we have a brand new first time person in the backstage. We didn't add him yet, did we? Okay, good. That'd make me yeah, I did. Super. I added him. Did you? <laughs> well, then I got to move him around on our screen. I, didn't. I already oh, did okay. that. You already, you got to tell me when you're doing it. Psycho Philly, what's going on, bro? What's up, man? <laughs> Dude, I'm glad you came and you didn't even do a PFP. My co-host doesn't even show his real face. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, that's my real face, man. 
What are you talking about? Wait, I got I, I gotta expand my screen. Damn, bro. See, if I had a face like that too, you know, I don't know what Shaman's face looks like, but if his face looked like yours, he'd be showing it. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what's good, guys? How you doing? What's up? What's, man? what's, up? what's good, man? So what, what is, is the psychophilia? I ain't I've never I never ran across psychophilia. Is your name Phil Psycho- <laughs> No, it's uh, my name. Is- my name's Rob, but or my friends call me Psycho. I was close. Cool. He's somebody. He's somebody that I I've run across in so many spaces. And the other night, I was like, "Bro, you should just come on our show and kick the shit with us." And he's like, "Dude, I'm down for it." So usually, um, it's not your friends just, that are calling you, know, you Psycho. <laughs> well, uh, no, let's, let's, usually, let's, it's your let's, usually it's your enemies calling you that. You got some good let's, friends. Let's, I have a reputation. <laughs> yeah. No, I he get does. it. Yeah. That's funny, though. What's well, good? It's good shit. So, it's like not, a, we're, not we're the talking, fucking market right now. No, the market's yeah. garbage right now. Yeah. But, shit. Psycho, if you see on screen, we're, we actually have a pre sale that ends tomorrow on um, pink sales. So that's what we're going on about. I don't know how much you heard before, Shaman brought you up but that, that's what we're going off about and and you know we did give a, a moment of silence for for oj, OJ. yeah i heard you <laughs> yeah that, that poor son of a bitch he yeah. lived a long life after murdering people and getting away with it we feel bad for him <laughs> you see caitlin jenner was like good riddance <laughs> yeah I, I did i saw that shit i was like oh that's a bad bitch slap which is dude. which is kind of <laughs> funny <laughs> because like I think he benefited from OJ because money was money trickled and fame trickled his way because of it, you know. Oh, his- the Kardashian name. Oh yeah, he that's, right. Like lives in infamy now, you know. Like the whole Kardashians, their dad being one. Yeah, of his and dad. and. I'm oh, sorry, go on. And he killed somebody in a car wreck. He ran someone over. Oh, that's right. And all like, got so he's away like, because yeah. he was woman of the year. Or, or he went, he he got, you know, he became Caitlyn to beat the charges. Caitlyn didn't do it. <laughs> They're going to go easy on a woman. I just got to cut my dick Everyone forgets about life. that. Well, he ain't no fucking woman. I'll tell you that, you know. <laughs> no, no way. That Adam's apple is a whole orchard right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get that right away. <laughs> hey, what up, Patrick? I feel so bad for that dude, though, man. Like, he got so fucked up, like, being around those crazy-ass women that he just, like, molded into one. <laughs> you think? Do you think that's, you know, to be honest, that's not far-fetched. I think it's oh, just the, the way, crazy life right. that all them were leaving, you know? It was like, yeah. yeah, too much fame and too much crazy scandals going on all the time and shit with all those kids and stuff. I don't know, man. I think that family fucked him up. <laughs> I'm waiting for the Caitlyn Jenner uh, makeup line. It's not out already. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> That's so gay, dog. <laughs> made by made so by fucking gay, what bro. The, <laughs> fucking what the fuck? <laughs> Kate, uh, Caitlyn, no, Caitlyn no, by why brute. Why even give these people a fucking platform in our fucking world, bro? For real. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's disgusting. That's the craziest shit in the world that you could just yeah. have a a fucking sex tape, and next thing you know, you're a billionaire, and it wasn't even a good one. <laughs> I never saw it, but I mean, I'd watch it if somebody sent it to me. <laughs> you lying? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. No, I, I haven't. I I literally have not seen it. Yeah. Okay. It was shitty. Yeah, you know the this back, goes to show. Okay, you know what? You know what? Back in the day, you had Pam and Tommy, and that was some fire shit right there. Yeah, Tommy. You know what's crazy felt, though? Felt like a race. Okay, so talking about <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> but like, okay, so you got you know the Kardashian as one of the defense attorneys, but Johnny Cochran was a bad motherfucker. Like, like if you had him as your defense attorney, you were almost guaranteed to win. Because I was, I was just googling a little bit of shit about it earlier, and like he also defended Michael Jackson against his pedophile charges one he defended tupac against some weapons charges one 
Like Johnny Cochran was the fucking man back in the day. <laughs> That's if the glove don't fit, you must acquit. I mean, he had some fire lines well, just in court. He's a- that's the same thing. We got one lawyer here in St. Louis, and uh, I can't remember which one it was, but there was a Rams player like 15 years ago that killed somebody in a drunk driving accident. And it's the same lawyer that gets all these high profile people off. It's the same. It's the same mm-hmm. shit. Every town. Every town's got one. Because it's the connections. They got. Oh yeah, I mean that they're obviously good though. It's 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 something. I mean, I guarantee Johnny Cocker made a fucking fortune off. Oh of yeah, had to. Have. Getting, and it, okay, when everybody watching the case all think he's guilty, every single person except for the jury apparently. But other than that, like Johnny Cocker, his name was just like he might as well get a Hollywood star. You know, like how do you Whoa. get that guilty motherfucker off? Well, it's easy because when you have somebody paying that much money, there's 50 people working on it in the background. There's not, it's oh, not oh, like you go going to your one lawyer. You know, somebody's paying no, millions. No, they got 50 people in the back doing all the legwork, finding every little loophole. They just go up yeah, there. They're just showmen. That, that's every big law firm, but they still don't yeah. always deliver those same results. Like Johnny Cochran made a name for himself off that one, but he'd already defended yeah. himself pretty successful yeah but what you don't know is how many has he lost though you know like that's true most of his cases know. aren't high profile so yeah and then high profile cases are easier sometimes too because you can just kind of play off the um the jury like if they're a if they're like a beloved player it's, it's real easy like you know yeah, they did it. It's clear as day. But these people have such love for what they're doing for their city and uh, how much joy everybody gets from watching them play that they just overlook shit like that. It's the craziest shit in the world, but they do. It's well, it's funny too because OJ, you know, he he got off for murder, so he didn't go to prison. But then he got civil cases brought against him for wrongful death, and he just got slaughtered in the civil case because like everybody knew he just fucking dodged a huge bullet, and then. Then he had to healed like what hundreds of millions. I don't even know. It was like yeah, but I don't understand that at all. If you're found not guilty, how does a civil case go through? Like you were found not guilty. Completely separate things. Exactly. That's the weird thing. Completely separate animals. Yep. But that's why he lost his ass on that. Like he basically was going to be in debt for the rest of his life because even at the height of his football career, even if he was the most fiscally responsible player. In the NFL, he still wouldn't have had enough money to pay for what he lost in the civil case. Like, he was forever in debt. Any money he went would have had to go for that because he lost. See, and that's funny, too, yeah. that whole, like, uh, sports memorabilia thing because we had something here in St. Louis go down. It was, like, the local rest- or this uh, restaurant owner who owned, like, five or six restaurants around town. And he had all kinds of sports memorabilia in all of his restaurants, right? So he got in some financial trouble. So he decided that he was going to burn down like two of his restaurants. And he burned them down and claimed that the uh, memorabilia was in there that was worth so much money. It was like the big, uh, bigger part of his claim. So he does that. And then he turns around and gets caught selling the memorabilia. <laughs> he goes to prison for it. Dumbass. That's why I was we yeah. That's funny. Yeah, That's so. what got him was like like assaulting people and robbing people that had sports by Mabrilio because Shaman, is that you with the static? No, I don't think it is. Uh, is, is it me guys? again? Is it me again? Is it me? Who's got their phone near the the I don't thing. have my phone anywhere near my microphone this time. What about this? Is that better? Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't hear it now. Maybe it, maybe uh, it was that. Yeah, maybe it was. I mean, my bad. No, you're good. Dude, I do it like every stream because I have my no. big unicorn dick microphone, but then I'll be checking my phone and I put it anywhere near this microphone and everybody's ears blow out. So, yeah, it's usually me. I can't see the chat. I don't know why. You got to go over and... Uh... Hit it, and then you got to move over to the comments or whatever. Are you on a phone? Yeah, obviously you're on a phone, right? Yeah, I'm on a phone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't. It's been a while since I've done StreamYard directly from my phone. Probably hard to see the comments. Oh, from your phone? um, You have that on full screen, right? Hold on. 
when you when, if you're looking at chat that's between everybody that's on there but if you go to comments that'll show the main uh chat because i did that yeah. shit the first couple times i'm gonna wind up fucking this all up <laughs> <laughs> don't worry they click me in and out like eight times in an hour because i fucking mm -hmm. <laughs> what do i do i get, what do I I get like a I get like a phone call and they kick me off or like uh, somebody will tweet me and I'm like, oh, I'm going to see if you just send a tweet or whatever. And I click on it and it's like, he boots me off. I forget every time. Yeah, that's the shitty part of doing StreamYard from a phone. It's like it, it makes it hard to like do any like if you're clicking off to do anything else, it, it'll kick you out and then you have to come back in. What's cracking, Tim Shea? Yeah, Tim Shea. Who else we got in here? Cool Cat, JR, Seiko. Yeah, Jedi, Jedi was like, yo, Psycho, I would really like you to come on the show. And I was like, yeah, I don't mind, I don't mind busting it up with you guys for a minute, you know? Yeah, man, this chat is like, or this uh, live stream goes all over the place. We go anywhere from like crypto to everyday shit, kind of, you know, cracking each other up, busting each other's balls. All over the place. And the later we go, the more wild it gets, too, because, you know, we're all drinking and smoking more and getting a little bit crazy. But, okay, so one thing, too, it's like I, I was talking to Shaman about this. I was like, hey, this is dude that's pretty cool. He's going to come on tonight. Um, I was like, he's a he, he's not a bodybuilder. He's a power lifter. So I was going to ask you about that. How long have you been doing that and, like, I have a reason why I'm asking, not just because you're on here, but like I've been watching a video with this dude that's a power lifter that does pranks and it's hilarious as shit. But like Ooh. when you say you're a power lifter, what does that mean compared to just bodybuilding? Um so I lift for for uh strength and, and uh people are just too worried about being all cut up and all that, like where I'm you know uh I would say like I got like crazy strength over the look you know like still got like the size and everything you know what i mean still got big ass shoulder you know what i mean big ass back big ass arms but um you know i just don't have like that full like chiseled physique like you know like a dude would be like critiquing himself like a woman you know <laughs> right and that's kind of along the lines of what i was going to bring up too because i've heard things about like like people like the rock who's like the biggest fucking dude ever but or whatever he wants to be pretty, like yeah. yeah he he it's more the look but his strength isn't where a lot of people that are like half his size is and yeah. again i don't know much about this but the reason i bring it up is there's this one dude i oh sorry go on no that's interference Oh, that's interference. Okay. So there's this dude that I literally started watching in the last couple of weeks who he's a world-class like power lifter, but he looks lean. Like if he wears like even a hoodie, you can't tell how fucking strong he is. And he oh, goes to guy. these gyms and he, yeah. Okay. So you know who I'm talking about then, Shaman. I don't know if you the know janitor? who I'm talking about, Psycho. Yeah. The janitor, the janitor dude. Yeah. I literally just got turned on to his videos a week ago and I've been watching him because they crack me up because he pretends like, Oh, I just need to clean there. And it's these really like fucking muscles coming out of their ears type of people. Yeah. And they, they, they do a deadlift and it's like, they're doing their max that they could do. And they try to just at least get one rep, maybe two. And he comes in and just does it like it's nobody's business. And it's the funniest shit ever. And it, yeah. And he'll do some of them with one arm, but even the ones that he does, he'll pick it up. Like it's nobody's business, and then walk five feet, set it down, get his mop out because he's dressed like a janitor. Oh, in a I know. Area. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was. I was. I figured other yeah. people probably knew, but I just saw him for the first time like a week ago, and I've been watching him. And then like over the last couple of days, Psycho, and you know, I've been seeing you on these spaces that we've been fucking around with. Like I'm like, oh, I know he's a, he's a he's a power lifter too, so I gotta bring it up when he comes on stream just to see if you'd seen those videos because they're funny as shit too. Because you get these genuine reactions from all these super muscular dudes. It's like, and he, this dude that's li literally half their size is doing it with ease, and that's the difference between power, but and like the cosmetic, you know, the aesthetics of it where. Like you said, some of these people look super jacked, but they're not actually super strong. They just yeah. So I mean, build muscle mass. I mean, I did um, you know, so I'm 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 back at it, but I'm doing a little bit of both. I'm kind of mixing it all up, you know, and uh, 
Um, I noticed a difference in my strength levels. You know what I mean? From like, uh, mm -hmm. from where I, from where I was before. Um, so I had to take a couple of years off because I, I split my AC and my shoulder in half. Oh, and, uh, shit. yeah. So my doctor cleared me and he says, everything's back to normal. I'm like, yeah, everything's back to normal. I still got like a fucking bone sticking out of here and shit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, back to and, normal, uh, even though this bone's good, hanging you're out. You're good to go, psycho. Like, yeah, okay, you know. So, um, the doctor goes ahead and he's like, you know, he's clearing me, whatever. So I'm back in the gym, and I'm just hitting it. You know, I throw like two twenty five, then you know two seventy five, and then three fifteen and three twenty five. Got three three twenty five for a couple. The most I ever benched was four twenty five. Jesus the most I ever, Christ! Yeah, that's the most I ever put up. Um, that's like two I, fat chicks you just lifted up at the same time. <laughs> most I ever <laughs> benched. <laughs> most I ever benched was um, yeah four twenty five. My deadlifts were six fifty, and my um, leg presses were about eight to a thousand pounds, something like that. Jeez. So I don't have any, like, I don't know about lifting. So like the, the weights that you mentioned, the only reason the, the deadlift that 650 stands out is because there was one video of the guy that does all these pranks. He was like in the six, he was in that range. That's what his, what he maxes out at. Yeah. And so, which is crazy amount still, when you think about it, and like, just think how, cause I've watched a lot of videos of people that deadlift and then they immediately pass out. <laughs> dude don't, let me tell you something I, I i've almost done it you know like uh i'll tell you what man it ain't nothing like having a spotter a, a spotter that day <laughs> you're like whoa shit you know it's falling back you know what i mean and, just get uh, lightheaded because you're putting up. and i can imagine how many people even with the like you know i know a lot of the people wear the the things around their waist so they don't blow their back out, but I'm sure it still fucks up your back pretty hard, even with that. Well, I mean, it does, but as long as you're doing it right, like I've seen, um, you know, there's a, there's a couple of different ways to to do it. Um, people have asked me questions and uh, on how to train like that. I mean, I mean, it's a lot of it's your lower back, but when you're pulling like that, um. It also is pulling all your other muscles together, right? So you're just like, your arms are getting it, your back's getting it, your top of your neck's getting it, your legs are getting it. You know what I mean? Like that, you're using your whole body to lift that shit up like that. And a lot of people, um, they think like it says, it's like, no, you're, you, you're using your arms and your legs. No, you're using all of that. Like your lower back literally is just getting blown up and it's pushing everything else up in your back. You know, that's how... I mean, I, I did it for you. I have pictures of myself um, from like uh, eight years ago. My back is fucking from here like that. That's how it just it looks like a tree. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of fuck comes out. Yeah, that's all deadlifts, man. All deadlifts. Damn. Yeah. So do you do this competitively or is it just something you've always been into? No, I do it. I do it for me. Um, you know, I've always lifted for me. I like, I'm a kind of guy, I never wear tight shirts, really. You know what I mean? I wear uh, baggy shirts whenever I go out, you know, um, baggy hoodie. You know, I don't I don't lift for to let everyone go, ooh, ah, like, you know, when some people see me walking, you know, they're like, dude, you're a fucking big-ass dude, like, you know. But I'm only 5'9", 225, you know what I mean? Which is still a substantial amount of weight for a guy that's 5'9", right? Like, you could see that I have, you know, some thickness to me, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I've always been one of them dudes that just wear baggy clothes. Cause I don't want people to see, I, I live for me and, and for, you know, whoever my significant other, you know, my, you know, so she has something good to look at, you know what I mean? But <laughs> right, it, right. it ain't, it ain't. But yeah. There's some people that are so proud. Yeah. They wear the tightest shirts that they can possibly get over their body, you know, cause they want to show it off. But some people are just about being fit and shit. So it's a whole different. Yeah, also, and also, it kind of seems like you're trying to be intimidating too, you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, and I've never looked at it. I've never, uh, you know, one thing I've never been is a pussy. You know what I'm saying? I've never been like some kind of a scared dude with, uh, you know, that was like feared another man. Like I never feared any man ever in my life. You know, so 
Um, I guess that's what growing up in Philly and and the hood like kind of like forces you to think that way. You know? But um, see, you're the type of dude that I make friends with, so I can talk my shit and know somebody's gonna be able to step in and handle it <laughs> if it gets real. <laughs> Because yeah. I, I I can talk a lot of shit, but it, somebody my size, yeah, I can I can probably scrap. I can I can scrap. I've had to a few times, but if I talk shit to somebody bigger than me, I gotta have a friend like you around. <laughs> uh, I can back my shit up though. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Like I back my shit up all the time. I don't, I'm not afraid of no man, dude. None. The one thing I've never been is a pussy, and I can tell you that straight up. I ain't never I ain't never run from another man. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, and that's me being real. Like, you know, like, like people, people, there, there's some guys that could talk to talk. And like, and that's what, another thing that like kind of gets me in a way with some of these people. Like, you know, like, um, if you ever look at like, you know, it's like, say, let's say Twitter, right? You know, you got too many people that bump their gums. Like they're so tough and they're mm-hmm. keyboard warriors, you know, and you're sitting there, you're like, <laughs> you're like looking at these people and you're like, Dude, I would destroy you, Duck PFP, whatever the fuck you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, in real life. Like, and it just drives you crazy because you just want to strangle the fuck out of these people, dude. You know what I mean? Like, because they ain't shit. Oh, yeah, it's it's easy to be a badass online. and like, But it's like, in real life, you would never say Like, dude, you shit could never come people. up to me in real life and talk that shit to me, ever. Like, you would get straight smoked. For real, dude. Like... There ain't no joke about it. That's why I try to tell people all the time. I'm like, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't know where to get the balls from to talk like this. You know what I'm saying? Fuck. They got, they got some big ass balls out here, man. <laughs> Last time I checked, I have a set of balls on me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Okay. That being said, yeah. You, okay. So you've definitely been in some scraps in your life then. Oh yeah, right? yeah, big time. Okay, yeah. give me, give me like your last big one that you, like somebody talks shit to you or they like provoked it. Because uh, do you, you're not the type of person like you said you don't wear like you don't try to like show everybody how buff you are all the time. But if somebody comes at you, you're gonna you're gonna handle it. So like, what was the not even all the time, but like the last time you remember somebody doing something like that where you had to just fucking deal with them. Well, I'll give you some, I'll give you some, uh, I got, I got one where I was, um, I was in a bar, um, me and my buddies were in the bar and there was this big guy and, uh, he's about 300 some pounds, dude. You know what I mean? Like fucking dude was huge. That's so, way bigger than you even. Yeah. But like I said, again, I don't fear no man. I don't care how big you are. I don't care. I'm a, I'm a full psychopath. I don't care. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know your name fits you well. If I have to bust you in the head with a fucking cue ball, I will. You know, like that's just my mindset. You know, that's from growing up in the hood for real. You know, so this dude was, uh, you know, he, you know, I felt something hit me in the back. You know, and um, it was like a, like a, I don't know, like a can. You know, it was I thought it was a can, but it was really like a fucking paper. So knowing me, I turn around, who? through that you know i'm like looking around the room and i've seen this big dude like huge and i'm like and i'm already like lit right i'm already on like uh i must have been on like my 10th my shot of tequila right and you know i was already you know it, it doesn't take rob long to get hot dude it takes me like two seconds and i'm like boom like a whole fucking explosion happens in my brain you know <laughs> and then i'm like and i'm looking at this dude and i said yo you and me outside Oh, what'd you say? You and me outside. So he like comes up from behind me. And meanwhile, dude, I'm in like my fucking, my Tim's. I'm fucking, you know, I'm lacing the fuck up. I'm right. You know what I mean? I'm ready to stop. You know what I mean? I'm ready to fight, you know? And like, so he, he, you know, he's like taking his shirt off, trying to intimidate me how big he is. And I, I mean, like, again, dude, you can't, you can't have the word no in here, right? You got to just have the word, yeah, I'm going to do it. And Dude threw a first punch, you know, and I ducked it and I, you know, like, you know, with the way I swing, like I come, I came overhand and I cracked him right in his chin and I was, dude, I was just hitting him. Like he was hitting me real good. I put him on the car. He threw me on the car. I fucking flew off and I jumped and, you know, punched him dead in his, dead in his shit right here. Just, you know what I mean? His nose. I broke his uh, nose. Uh, 
Yeah, dude, it was a wild fight, man. And, and like he cracked me, dude. I was bleeding out my fucking ear. Um, we both had blood just coming out. And um, I I got him down on the ground, and I was just like, it just kept hitting him, just kept pounding his like, you know, I'm, like I said, dude, I'm fucking wild. When I tell you I'm crazy, bro, I'm fucking wild, man. So I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm like, dude, I'm on top of this son of a bitch, and I'm just like, bang, 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 bang. You know, I'm just I'm hitting him with everything I had, dude. And uh, um, I was like looking at him, and I'm like, at the end, he's, you know, I was like, you fucking good, dude. You know, and I'm like, I'm like. I'm like checking my teeth and shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> Make like, sure they're all there. Because he's hit me a couple times in the mouth, like pretty, like you know, right, like, you know, real good, you know. And um, it was funny because I'm like, I'm like, you know, we're getting out, and he shook my hand. He goes, "I want to tell you something." He says, "I've never gotten, I've never gotten a hand to me from a, a littler guy than me like that. A little dude, like I got. Remember, I had like, I was on all kinds of shit too, man. I was on like trend and fucking." Uh, I was like this is my back in my early. This is twenty seven years old. Dude. I was on Trent and Sustanon and fucking. You know, I don't know I was, what any of that is. Oh, uh, dude, I was on. I, dude, I was on, basically on like a bull, a bull steroid. You know what I mean? Like a like a. Like a <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, dude. Like it. it <laughs> yeah, it gets you like you know. I'm already nuts. Just picture my craziness. You times, got your like, craziness was, with steroid fucking aggression mixed yeah, in the with, mix. Yeah, but yeah, times eleven hundred percent, dude. That's what my shit was, bro. Like, like me. Like I was nuts, and I was all checking my face, dude. I couldn't believe it. I was bleeding out my fucking ear. <laughs> dude, I'm checking. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm checking everything. And like I'm like, where is this blood coming from? Is it coming from my brain? <laughs> <laughs> you know. So I don't know, man. You know. But yeah, that was my um, that was like one of my uh, that was like probably one of my my highlights um, in my life. Like you know, I could sit there and be proud because everyone's like, "Oh yeah, well if you got in a fight with a bigger guy, they beat you up." And I'm like, "Well, let's you know, I I've already been down that road and I've already shown myself like yeah." Dude, like, well, the odds are against you, but you got to realize too with with bigger dudes like that too, they're not used to having people actually like stand toe to toe with them. Like they're usually, they can just intimidate people away. So they don't probably fight as often as you think, because who's going to be crazy enough to like take them on. So, you know, you got a crazy motherfucker like you that they're not ready for. Yeah, exactly. That's what goes down when that happens. Yeah. I mean, he learned that day not to ever fuck with a, a little guy like, like me again, but dude, like, you got to remember, dude, I was on some shit. Like, I was on some wild shit, dude. Like, I was in my, bro, I mean, I have pictures of me, and I'll send them to you personally. I'll, sh I'll show you, dude, I was jacked, bro. Like, I literally, I was on a bull steroid, like, for fucking actual mules. I was taking that shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, I mean, let, let's just be serious. I mean, that shit will get you going, boy. Believe me. Oh, I bet, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good now, like you know what I mean. I don't, I don't, I don't touch this shit. But I'll tell you what, when I was on it, man, wow, you know, it was like a whole different me. It was like psycho times a trillion. You know, it was like, it was wild, bro. Like growing up like that, like you gotta remember too, dude. I'm from the hood, man. I grew up in a woman's shelter. We were kids and all, dude. So I mean, I'm from, I'm from a straight up hood, you know. So, um, you, you got know, siblings? Was, yeah, I got three brothers. Older, or younger. I got one older. I hate his name's Dave. I Did he whoop your ass as a kid? Oh my god, dude! He was just picking on me and picking on me and picking on me all the time. Till one day, I pushed his ass. We were. He got mad because I guess it's like you know I was sixteen. You know I was starting to stunt a little bit. You know growing up. You know you know, and he was dating this girl like Stephanie or something like that. And, you know, you know, my brother Dave was older, but he thought he was, like, the coolest son of a bitch around. I'm like, ugh, shut the fuck up, right? You know me, dude. Like, you know how I talk, right? Oh, and, yeah. And, uh, you know, he comes you know, he comes up and pushes me. So, I remember, he, you know, he pushed me. And I turned around, like, something clicked in my brain. I was, just, like, I just pushed him, dude. He flew onto the steps. He looked like Superman just going backwards, you know what I'm saying? And, uh. All I heard was do doom. Like, you know, he's like this. I'm seeing red, but I said, I'm seeing black, motherfucker. Okay. And his girl, I really embarrassed him in front of his girl. I was so happy because that motherfucker 
picked on me the, all the time, dude, when I was growing up, bro. All the time. Yeah, my brother Matt is my best friend. My little brother Andy, you know, I barely talk to. You know, we reach out from time to time, but, you know, it ain't no, like, you know, I, that's another dude I protected growing up. I'll never forget that, too. The first time he really knew that he needed his brother, He, uh, we were on um, actually the street that I'm living on now. Um, so kids, um, you know, were, like, pushing him around or whatever. So he came home. And he knew I was home. My brother Matt was out somewhere. And this dude's on like, you know, waiting for my brother to come back outside. Meanwhile, you know, I think I was like 17 at the time, something like that. But I went outside and I walked down the steps and this motherfucker's on rollerblades. He come popping up. I just jumped down there. I fucking cracked him so quick, dude. He flew right <laughs> into my mom's car and shit, dude. I was like, dude, wrong hood, homie. I'm like, you got to keep it moving, bro. And he's like, he's like, dude, I, I was waiting. Yeah, I said, you were waiting for my little brother to come down so you and your little boyfriend could jump him, right? You know? And uh, yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> you know? Hey, dude, God God puts people in your life for a reason, man. You know? And um, Well, Psycho, I'm glad. <laughs> even that. And we got, we got a good backstory on why you got your name. That's for goddamn sure. <laughs> yeah. What kind of shit? What kind of what kind of shit coins are you into? What kind of investments? Um, right now, uh, I really kind of gotten away from um the Solana plays because I just think they're too what? bogus. What, bro? Come on. I think they're a little bogus right now. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, I know a lot of people do. Everybody's going to base now. Base and Arbitrum. Those are the two. Actually, you know what? I see a lot of people going to BTC chain. You know, um, my buddy X Pex, I don't know if you know X, um, <laughs> but uh, he's in our chat, by the way. He's a good dude. You know what I mean? But he's got me in, you know, he wants to get me into over there. So I'm going to go find out how I can, you know, play around because I like to be ahead of the curve. I don't like to play in the curve. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like to play in that moment with everybody. You know what I mean? So. I like to be already bought in and everyone buys on top of me kind of shit, you know? Like, I, and oh, I, yeah, and I, you want to be don't let early. People, I don't let people know what I'm buying either. You know what I'm saying? So, like, and the reason why I say that is because I don't want my friends to feel as if, like, let's say I get in and I dump my bag. You know, I don't want to dump my bag on my people. You know what I mean? Oh, you can't have that mindset. Everybody Somebody's got to lose. Oh, he's going to say, everybody's got to lose. Gotta lose. That's the whole game. That's what the fuck we're doing here. Is, I mean, there's a way to do it responsibly, definitely, most definitely. But yeah, most of the time, especially on Solana plays, you get the fuck out as soon as you can. Yeah. Because uh, even if you love the dev, even if um, I mean, you know, so um, Chaka's coin is sitting at the bottom right now. The flirting, and I just bought more. Because oh, why the hell not? Yeah, I gotta. I'm, I'm gonna pull that one up because that one I gotta figure so out. Don't, I don't even want to see it. I don't even want to see it. I just saw the number. <laughs> yeah, it's. I don't want to see the chart. But you know, what is the, everyone's is gonna it the come back? Out, is it pumped up fun? <laughs> no, no, no. Strong? It's 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 out now. It's oh, out it's now. You like, should be able to find it. Yeah, it came out but last that, night. That's how it yeah, started, lazy. right? That was... We had a coming out the we had a coming out party last night for it. I can't believe. Yeah, you were well, there. I was. Where the hell work. were you, I bro? I was at work. I couldn't. I couldn't. And then when I got oh, off dude. work, I got on faces, and everything was done. So, man, I totally fucked that up last night. Like I was sitting there watching TV, listening to Chaka's thing. Wasn't even tired. Didn't think I was tired at all. I was just watching TV, and the next thing I knew, it was like 9.30. I'm like, whoa, shit. I'm like, that fucking space. God damn it. <laughs> I was talking mad shit on you. I know. I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> I, said you were I, know, doing, I said you were doing dev shit, the nerdy shit. You were building shit. <laughs> Oh man, dude! You like, get, and that's the worst too. Because so like, much credit, and you were just fucking snoozing. <laughs> my thing is like, I'm never late to shit, like ever. Like, I'm never late to anything, and I never miss shit. You know. Whoa. 
And all of a sudden, you, know, like, you made me look dude. real good. You made me look real good when uh when it was like, hey hey shaman, uh, where's uh Soul Train at? Um, doing something important, I'm sure. You know, like I don't I don't fucking know. Uh, but I was I was doing something important all day long, so it wasn't like I. By the way, I'm putting our pre sale back up just for shits and giggles. So yeah, um, oh, real quick. Miss Face and. I'm happy you guys saw our pre sale going on. <coughs> That's cool. I want to say what's up. Say what's up. I'm to excited Miss about and Lamb and, uh, and um, hey, Ma, if you're in here, I want to say what's up to you guys. Love y'all. Hope everything's going good. Happy Friday. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah bro. We love this face and they are, they are great people. Yeah, they really are. They're really, they're, they're really one of a kind. They're um, very caring, good people, man. I just wish she would. I, I just wish Lamb Chops pick something else because every time I see her, I'm like, it's time for Lamb Chops, and I think of the commercial back in the day, and it's what Lamb Chops play along. Showing it's your like, showing your age again, there, Shaman. Now that can show my age. That's fine, you know. But the other one, Charles in Charge, does not show my age. But I was not. Married. I think it does, man. I think, I I think, think it, it does. does. No. no. <laughs> And I, I didn't watch Who's the Boss neither, but I know about that. How many of us with? here had to? How many of us here had to sit through Dynasty with our fucking parents? Oh, I didn't have to. Or what was the other one? The Texas was that Dynasty? That Dallas? Like a or Dallas, Dallas? Dallas. Yeah. I didn't. My parents never watched that one. They my parents watch Mash all the time. No, you know what's <laughs> fucked yeah. up? You know what's fucked up? Yeah, my mom loves Mash, but so as a child, I watched like all the wonder years right and then i was saying something like as an adult and i'm like yeah because you know you love the wonder years and she's like i hate that fucking show i'm like what are you talking about you watch that every night like when i was growing up this and that she was like no i must have been to sleep what <laughs> what i watched that shit for years man <laughs> for years i never liked that show wendy was hot but I never liked that show. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy could get it. Wendy was Wendy high. could get it. Yeah, yeah Wendy, Wendy could Wendy get it. But like, high. I watched the whole fucking. I probably watched reruns, all kinds of shit, and it was for nothing. For nothing. <laughs> fucking my whole childhood was was a lie. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, he's just watching reruns for Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a spank. Exactly. Wendy spank was bank. Wendy was a staple of his spank bank back in the day. Damn yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so when I was a kid, it was it was all about Boy Meets World, which has the guy from um, Wonder Years. Yeah, brother. Topanga all let's day, every day. Let's go. Let's Topanga, Topanga, fuck yeah, bro. We got the <laughs> that DSL was, from here. That was everybody's first crush in my generation. Fucking Topanga. And uh, what a weird name, know, too. Man. She just sounds thought, like she'd be. I always thought kinky. that chick was weird, bro. I always thought she's a little like strange. You know what I'm saying? She was strange. It that's was. What that's what made it more hot. You know, how exactly, she bro. Been, you know no, man. Exactly. Like, that kind of girl looks like she would like. Lock you up in her cellar. You know what I'm saying? I'd be fine. I would have been fine. Lock with that. me you up, might be bitch. right, but no, no. Here's the thing. She's like that, but then you gotta like turn that around and be like no, and then pop it on a handstand. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Here's Shaman trying to trying to sound young. I don't know what the Shaman. Fuck that means. <laughs> yeah, pop her on Shaman, he's, he's trying to sound young and spry after all. It, his it sounds like he did. Sounds Damn, like he made it. Get her on the and start, you know, pop that shit. You want me to? You want me to draw it? I'll draw it. Shaman, Shaman, you you ended up stopping at that dispensary, didn't you? Yeah. Oh yeah, bro. I told you I got a bunch, man. <laughs> See, that that weed's got you feeling like a young man again. Holy shit. Shaman stumbled upon the fountain of youth today, so he's doing handstands. You're lucky I'm not right. I'm not saying I'm doing a handstand. You put her on the handstand. I'm saying because oh. he's a crazy freak. See, I don't, I don't. Do that. <laughs> okay, okay. Bro, I, you wouldn't yeah. touch my punk ass in no fucking handstand, dog. That's what I was saying. That's what, I'm not doing a handstand. She is. Was, yeah. No. So oh. you're just guiding the the okay. 
Okay. You will. You we will need to draw it. For you, 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 know? you will need to draw it out in crayon, shaman. So we yeah. all know exactly what you're talking about. Bro, all my fucking crowns are broken, man. All of Dude, them, you need single. okay. You well, need to do it with the them. Crayola big box because I want a lot of depth. So you need different. Wait, what the hell did you just call a crayon? Crowns. 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 Call them crowns. C a c r a w l l. I'm sorry, the crayons. The crayons. Crayon. Crayon. Jesus. The crayons. Crayon. Shaman spends a few days in Arkansas and. This is what and then they became then they became crayons. You guys were probably all the rich kids that had the sharpener built in the back of it. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait I yeah, didn't even know that. Is that a thing? Leave your shit out in art class. That and that's thing? now. <laughs> Bro, they had a get... sharpener built into the crayon box. Yeah, what? the rich kids did. Hey, but he lived in the country, so he don't know about we, anything fancy. We had the dollar store, the dollar store Koreans that like didn't yeah, actually mark. Had. They weren't like, crayons. They just kind of smeared. Had, these are wax colors. That's basically the only branding they did. Like crayons. What the fuck? Thanks for my daughter. The rest of my life, I'm never gonna say that word again. I'm like the crayons. My daughter, she's I saw her one day. She's like uh drawing. She's she does dark shit all the time. She's eight years old. And she, I walked in her room and she's sitting there sniffing this marker. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> she's yeah, like, bro. it's it's sour patch kids flavor. I'm like, what? She's sniffing oh markers. God. We're like, sniffing you're not even a teenager like, yet. You markers, can't sniff, man. You never, you never yeah, they're like, sniffing shit until well, you're at least thirteen. No, man, I grew up on sn scratch and sniff, man. Come on now. The strawberries yeah. taste like strawberries. <laughs> the snozzberries. Snozzberries yeah. taste like snozzberries. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That's funny, though. Mm. Yeah, man. So what else is good, guys? What the fuck's going on today, man? What's good? Um, I wanted to warn everybody to uh, protect your packages because the porch pirates are... Coming oh, up with new extravagant ways to porch pirates. steal your shit. Yeah, you ain't uh, it, man. I seen a video, uh, I think it was this morning, and a motherfuckers in a trash bag looking like a pile of trash, just like creeping up down the, the, the sidewalk, like up to the person's front door, and right. like taking the package and then creeping back out. Like, are you fucking serious? Man, that shit worked on TV. It's creative. like Ocean's Eleven out here trying to get like your Amazon package. <laughs> and Psycho, just so you know, Shaman's from Florida, so he lives in the craziest fucking state in existence. You just seem normal to me. I don't, I don't get it. I don't know, yeah, man. It does probably Florida, seem normal I, live, to you, but... I live in Philadelphia. My my place is a little crazy. See, people just do crazy shit around here. That's all. Just weird shit. That's it's. It's crazy where they're making goes. a whole Netflix series on Florida Man because there's so many fucking headlines from Florida. Florida Man does whatever. Every once in a while, I'll bring up some shit on our show, just things that I look up beforehand because there's so much crazy shit that happens in Florida on a daily basis. And I'm not talking about like crime or other, just random weird shit. Like somebody threw a fucking poodle at somebody's face. Like for no reason, they got pissed and they picked their dog up and threw it at somebody. Who does that? I think that, I think that actually happened. I, I think I remember. I know that. It, it did. And yeah. anything you could imagine people doing to each other happened in Florida at some point. I'm gonna fucking throw a poodle at them. What the fuck is that? Yeah, they do. They do. They're just <laughs> weird. Threw lamb chops at them. Fucking got them. Florida's a bunch of wackos. It's a different kind of crazy, though. That's the whole thing. It's not a, an aggressive crazy so much. Yeah. No, Florida. not necessarily. It's just people just come up with weird shit to do, and it makes the news. Yeah. I made the news. Really? Yeah. How did you I was in a, I was in a building that collapsed. The roof collapsed on it. Florida, man. So it wasn't nothing crazy. But then I was That's at a baby shower. That's why you don't have a face. Later, <laughs> he, and then the, he, they were like, oh, you're a hero. And I was like, yeah, okay, 
sure. Yeah. The roof collapsed on you, and now you only have a PFP left. Yep. <laughs> Uh, his yeah. real face is buried in the rubble. He's, he's what um, nice. what do you do? What do you guys do for a living? What do you guys do for a living? Um, currently I'm in the HVAC, residential HVAC mostly. Okay. What do you What do you do? That <laughs> I. I work in food manufacturing. Okay. I work in a factory that makes food. <laughs> He's Mr. Monsanto. That's as, that, that's as far as I usually go up on here because people ask me. I'm like, I just work. I don't want to say what company I work for. Oh, it's just kind of tell like him. It's very impressive. Autonomy. He makes he makes it's, powdered pudding. The instant pudding no, stuff. I don't. But, but like Bill Cosby. I make them pudding pops. Them pudding He's never pops. here like that. He goes, <laughs> he's like, I'm the, I'm the taste tester. Yeah. <laughs> Every yeah, fat no. boy's dream job. Yeah, go, let me get that job. I currently do. Um, I do. I do. Well, I currently do. Um, I used to build supermarkets. I used to do supermarket refrigeration, but now, okay. I, yeah. So I, I work now. I do. Um, now I work on like you know, uh, huge chillers and stuff like that. You know, that's what I work on. So you saw that guy that was in the chat earlier? That guy? No. Uh, oh, he was in the chat earlier, but he does. He knows refrigeration and shit. Yeah, I worked on. Um, I I I used to build Wegmans and um, Whole Foods and Shoprites and shit. That's what's up. That's yeah. a good money. Yeah. That's right here. Yeah, man, but dude, I mean, <laughs> hey, you know what? When you're making <laughs> when you're making seventy five dollars an hour in straight time, and then you go to overtime where it's like a hundred something, oh, I'm like, damn. I'm like, yeah, bro, I'll funny. take I'll take nights all week, dog. You know what I mean? I was working sixteen hour days, you know, Monday through Saturday, bro. Sometimes Sunday, man. Yeah, when well, you getting paid dude. like that, hell yeah. Oh my god, but the tax man, man, they fucking really rake you through the coals. Let me tell you. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, the harder man. you work for your money, the more they take. It's those rich motherfuckers that just like, like you know what? That's your benefit. And, uh, we need some shit. more of you. We need some more of your money. I'm like, yeah, of course you do. But yeah, I do mm -hmm. like um side work, a lot of side work. I have my own residential AC side work business that um I have right now too. You know, so I do a lot of residential. Actually, while I'm at work, I have people working for me, you know, actually to be Dude, honest. Dude, you're keeping busy then. Holy shit. Yeah, dude, really I'm one good. person. Yeah, I'm one person that that never just can stand around in one spot. Like I gotta move, 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 move. You know, like I just that's just how my mind works. I don't know. I think it has something with like anxiety or something like that. You know, I just have to keep moving. I don't know. But yeah, residential's the shit, dude. You make a lot of fucking loot in there. <laughs> yeah, it's funny you say that. Say that though. Like as a kid, I was more. I would say hyper active i guess I was like a little more hyperactive but yeah. now i'm just like i'm real calm but my mind's always active oh my mind i never get any sleep i mean i get yelled at like you know you only get three hours of sleep like oh dude I'll, I'll sleep for three hours and i'll feel like i've been up for like uh like you know i'll be up for like you know the whole day after that and people are like getting like fucking eight and ten hours i'm over here on three hours of sleep and i'm popping up out of bed like you know like you know like the undertaker <sighs> like just getting up you know i don't know uh, what it is mm -hmm. I, me. I can't sleep like that man i don't know i got i got something wrong yeah now i need like i need at least six seven hours sleep if you want me to be coherent the whole well most of the day of work but I could probably stop smoking before I leave the house, but that's probably not going to happen. Well, everybody has their own thing, dude, you know? Yep, yep, yep. I don't blame anybody else for what, for, you know, for what they do. I think, uh, you know, what you do is, you know, what you do. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't do anything. I'll, I'll get up, I'll drink some water, or I'll go get a Pepsi and... I'll slam that before I hop in my truck and go, you know? 
Ja, ja, ja. <laughs> Shaman's a smoker, I'm a drinker, so we're always something going on in this stream. It's always the battle, battle of the minds. Yeah, but once Lazy has a couple, it's very easy to win. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking true. What's an easy but it's a lot of fun, though. Night, man, I made everybody my target last night. <laughs> yeah, do you know I missed some of it? <laughs> but I, <laughs> I, when you were apologizing, like, why, why, why is he apologizing? I'm like, uh, because oh. you know what, dude, I was being nasty to the wrong people, and you know, I was just, I, dude, I was just in a mood yesterday. You know, and you know, I, you know, my bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like you know, that's not that's not me, dude. You know what I mean? Like, I'm really like, you know, I'm a caring, considerate human being, dude. You know, I care about people, and um, I just don't feel, you know what I mean? I was I was definitely out of line. <laughs> just being serious, man. I was out of line, you know. And but wait, uh, you weren't drinking last night? No, dude, that was straight up me because I'm a fucking retard. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You're gonna fit and get around full here, bro. Fucking retard, bro. Full retard. What, the, what makes the world go around, though? They all can't. They all can't be boring and you know, just straight laced. You know what I mean, bro? I'm a crazy son of a bitch, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really fucking know, wild. That's... Your your fucking name is Psycho. I believe, uh -huh. bro. I, and Psycho, when I was telling him that we're gonna have a new person, I was like, he he lives up to his name. He he's a fun dude, but he, he can go off the rails. <laughs> we're gonna see what happens. That's gonna be awesome. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not going off the rails tonight, dude. I already, I, I I'm I'm good. I'm happy, guys. I'm happy tonight. And uh, if you guys, if that's what we plan on doing, I mean, I will bolt. Don't don't feel. I don't. Uh, I don't know. I don't like to feel like a certain way. You know what I mean? But um, you know. So Dude, yeah, I'm, just through. I'm glad yeah, you're man, here yeah. hanging out. We're having fun and we're just getting started again. Our streams really like it's like two hours in is when it really starts popping off with some random shit. So yeah, you're you're usually seven hours stay as long. And yeah, I was gonna say we stream for like six fucking hours. What yeah, I want to do as long as, the as you want, bro. You know? I want to pull up the Zelly Boba chart though. And um, <clears throat> Nick, what is the I'm looking for the thing, but I'm contract? distracted. So, yeah, contract contract? I want a contract address. I thought I had it saved, but I I cleared out all of my shit because I got made fun of for a couple of things I had on my like watch list, and I'm like, don't let people tell you what to do, man. I know, I know. I'm just super easily influenced, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, but sometimes good. you should listen when they tell you to <coughs> survive Zelly Boba, like Nick's been doing yeah. that day one, and he would have made me a fortune because I go hard on things. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I but you know what? When, when you're, I mean, you're already laughing at me at this point, Nick, for how much I've missed out on. But I love when when things really pop off. In like this is a, such a good project, it really is. If, on a handstand, you know, pop off on a handstand. I can figure out. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I haven't actually. Um, I, I I get the concept, but I haven't mm -hmm. pulled the trigger yet. But I I, I actually have money in my Coinbase because Nick, you're gonna help me be. You know, the first time I buy it, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna just run it by you. What I'm about to do. You should do it right freaking now. Okay, right You've now. You've been saying this right for now, months, man. Right now, Nick. Right now. We'll fucking do it live. I got money in my coin base. Since, so, since we Nick, were at 30 okay, wait, no, no, market No, cap, this is bro. the perfect tutorial for anybody watching that wants to get in on this. We're going to clip we this for short. We're gonna, no. There you go. See? We, are, we already... Yeah, it's, it's, it's... Okay, let me get my coin base... Hold up, because I gotta send it. Okay, to maybe it won't be that short. Do, but we'll clip um, it anyway. yeah, no. no, it's not gonna be short enough for. I'm, I'm, I'm too. I, my IQ sixty, guys. Okay, I can't do this thing quickly. Um, you don't okay, have Nick, Nick, I have my Coinbase pulled up, so I'm gonna send it to my Coinbase wallet through Arbitrum Network, but it's Ethereum, right? 
Yeah. So you, yeah. Um, Coinbase wallet's a little weird. I'm finding. Um, um, it made me wait like 20. I don't know. Like when I woke up in the the next morning, I could send it, but. Right. Um, Shaman, are you using the Coinbase DeFi wallet? Uh, well, I used um, Coinbase Exchange to purchase that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what kind of wallet are you using to buy it, though? Actually, I got to swap out what I have in my Coinbase for Ethereum. Well, I How use quick the safe is it? Pile. What's up? How quick is it to buy like uh, new pairs on that? Like, how quick can you be with that on, on base? I oh, no, have no idea. I haven't, haven't tried yet. No, we're, we're, we're doing Arbitrum. Arbitrum. Because Zelly Boba is a very big up and coming project that Nick's been involved with from like basically day one, right, Nick? Pretty much like since a month or so after they launched, a lot of my friends He's launched it. He's been trying to get me on this for the longest time. And since I think October. Since October, bro. Not even. Yeah. Yeah. Look at Shaman. Look at Shaman with the facts. I look today. I look today when. I, I mean, when you uh, deposited it, da, 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 and uh, it was in October. <laughs> it was in October, and then in January, that's when you did it. And it still took me like a month before I ever did it. Yeah. So I could, I could have had it sooner. Than that. No, I think uh, the future future is bright for. Arbitrum meme coins, especially ones that are trying to do stuff for their holders. Hey, I'm holding, bro. I wanna, I wanna get more. I wish I would have bought it sooner, for sure. Well, as as with everything, it's on a dip right now. Okay, so on my Coinbase, because I have Solana on there, so I'm gonna convert that to Ethereum. But when I send it to my DeFi wallet, that's when I do it on the Arbitrum network. Yeah, correct. Yes, yeah, and you'll you'll see an option. You'll see an option of what chain you want to send it on, and it'll have all the you know prices of how much it costs to do the transfer. Um, Arbitrum's pretty much cheapest, uh, maybe basic cheaper, but you, you know select Arbitrum, send that over. Um, and which which wallet are you using? I was gonna use Coinbase, but if there's a better one for Arbitrum, I use and... SafePal or yeah, yeah SafePal is nice. Well, I have SafePal too, but it's just mirrored to my Coinbase wallet. So... Yeah, same shit, bro. Same shit. Yeah, send it. So yeah, use... send it to that. Yeah, how do I start a? Uh, I gotta start a new Coinbase account because my other one is shut the fuck down, dude. How'd that happen? Exchange yeah, what happened? Yeah, exchange dude, wallet. I I don't know, man. I think um, I have money in there, but I called them and they're like, "Yeah, give it thirty days." I called them again, and I'm like, "I still can't get in." Hello, and then uh, you know, there's you know, there's just they were running me like through the mud, man. I'm like, "Well, I'm like, well, I have money in there, you know, it's only a couple hundred bucks, but I mean, it, it would be cool to you know play with it, you know, because I already have it there, you know what I mean?" But um, whatever, dude. I mean, I'll just have to start a new account, I guess. What I'm probably gonna have to do. I really wasn't messing around with base that much. I mean, base just really started popping off out of nowhere, right? I mean, that's how it's yeah. going. Like, yeah, gonna... base and Arbitrum are like the two next in line for the throne after Solana, after everybody abandoned ETH. But Arbitrum's popping off, so yeah, Arbitrum mean coins. Arbitrum's mainly all nerds, all they're. All... They love the technology. Okay. Wait, before but, I go through with this, Nick, so, okay, so you said you, the Coinbase wallet's a little iffy on Arbitrum? Yeah, I find I have issues with it sometimes. I do have some on there. But for whatever reason, it acts funny. Like, it tells me I need regular Ethereum as well. It doesn't use it to do anything. Hmm. So, like, I have, like, Twenty dollars of regular Ethereum on there, and it doesn't use it. Is that is it? Are you guys getting rebar, reverb? Oh shit! Yeah. That might be me. That might be me. I had my phone close to the microphone. Such a dick, was... bro. Why is it a dick? Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Why? 
Yeah, I didn't ask for oh. loads. Was God damn it. <laughs> yeah, it's the oh. of dick, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Told you, told you, baby. Told you, bro. Yeah, I know. Told you we were gonna pick up on your shit. Do you know what? You know what, Psycho? It didn't take you long to pick up on my dickheadishness on this channel. Okay. I was gonna say, did you have the timer out, lazy? How long I, that pay, I pay attention, dude. Believe it or not. <laughs> but yeah, when you, the, when you don't think I'm paying it. attention, I'm really paying attention. No, you, you picked up on it in a heartbeat. Like everybody knows I'm the dickhead on this channel. <laughs> well, Hi, I, well, you can call me the senior president of being a dickhead because I could be a real dick. When I well, I'm the <laughs> emperor of dickheads. We're going to out dickhead each other at this point. Okay. Yeah. They call me the circumciser. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, shit. The circumciser. <laughs> Uh, okay, wait, wait. So I have a safe power wallet, but it's mirrored, so I don't have a standalone fine, safe bro. power wallet. It's, it's, fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I thought he was going to say he has a safe word. <laughs> I, have a, it, I do. I, I have that. Too. Like I have that pineapple. too. Okay. <laughs> I try to cover all my faces. I thought he had a safe. Oh. Watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What is that video that's hilarious? The safe word one. Oh, oh no, I that that's, used to that's be funny. A, there used to be one in a video that went around, like my safe word is maybe it is, maybe my safe word. No, pineapple. Pineapple. There's a there's a whole video thing that's hilarious. It's my safe word pineapple is pineapple. Pen. I got a pen. I got a pineapple. <laughs> pineapple pen. <laughs> yeah, you guys I, ever see that shit? I, I have seen that. That's just like the dumbest shit. The yeah, this dude got paid millions off that stupid ass song, bro. I, I mean, it just goes to tell you how dumb motherfuckers really are. You know? You know? Oh yeah. God bless them, though. I wish my dumbass could find a way to like have that super niche thing that like just completely captivates the fuck. Do you like the NPC people? That one chick that does the yum yum. Okay, you know, and now she fucking was making like. Hundreds of thousand dollars a month just by like because people were paying for like they'd throw out the emoji they wanted her to act out. Like everybody's like, that is just terrible. I'm like, you know what? If you could get paid hundreds of thousands of dollars a month just to say stupid shit online like that, would you not do it? Of course you Are would. Are you kidding? You know so, what that same thing would do, like that same uh reward system would do for the porno industry. Jesus Christ! Yeah, you do this, and they have to do a certain. Yeah, but whatever. you know what, dude? I mean, oh my I, in, God. At the day, bro. I mean, that porn shit is like so. That's so satanic. That shit, man. Like, it, it, you know, I've seen people like you know lose their spouses because of you know because they're you know like because they don't want to have sex with their their real wife anymore. They want to. They're looking at these like younger. Oh yeah, it rots the mind. It, it is so corrosive. You. Yeah, yeah so exactly. It desensitizes you. you to your significant other, dude. Like that's not right. I mean, no. Yeah. If you if you're on porn all the time, yeah, that that's a whole different thing. But like, your I mean, wife should this... be your porn, bro. Your wife. Should be, <laughs> yeah. You don't know. What I mean? That's why I always take videos of me and the wife, and then put <laughs> that video on the TV while having sex with my wife. Wait, wait, Shaman, which wife? You wait, got somebody's drinking way too much right now. Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, you're not oh, drinking yeah. enough. You need to catch up. <laughs> I'm taking it easy, bro. I haven't drank <laughs> anything today. <laughs> no, Shaman doesn't drink. I drink, he smokes, but we have both come up with retarded concepts. You guys what are happens. retarded, and I appreciate it. All right, it. so listen, you make a porno <laughs> with your wife. And then while the next time you're having sex with your wife, you put the porno on with your wife. Of you with your wife. Yeah. So you're watching yourself have sex while you have sex. Yeah, That's babe. Right. You see that you see that little move I did? I did the fucking tornado on your ass. Yeah, yeah, I gave it to you. Yeah, I gave it to you. That's right. Yeah, look at me giving it to you, boo. Or if you're really <laughs> good, you can put a video on while you're with your second wife. We'll put a video on of you and your first of your wife. first wife, yeah. oh, what? Yeah. and then that's see how they tie her up first. That's, that's a dumb. game changer. That's dumb. no, that's called cheating. 
<laughs> no, it's not no. cheating. It, it, no, it happened in the past because if it was your first wife, then it's not cheating. Yeah. It's like, hey, this is what me and my first wife did. You still have the video, so you just how do you get yeah. me sucked into these concepts, Shaman? I don't even know why. Handcuffed on the bed. Nah, 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 nah. You ain't get me sucked into this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Hey dude, I think once you leave, you know, once your or an old relationship is done, I mean it's done. Like, you know what I mean? You don't need to bring that up, you know. Personally. Maybe that's why Shaman's second marriage didn't work out either. He kept bringing up shit from the first marriage. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Some people just don't get along after, I guess, you know, maybe, I mean, at one point you guys liked each other and, you know, I think at another point you guys just, you know, fade out. I mean, if it's real, if it's going to be real love, it's going to be real love it's going to be real care it's going to be you know what i mean like you're only going to think about that one person all the time psycho have you ever been married no fuck that <laughs> i like the no fuck that it's not like no maybe someday but it's like no fuck that someday <laughs> talking yeah. all this love shit talking all this love shit you ever married no fuck no, that. Hold on. wait 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 uh, wait i mean you know i've almost gotten to the point where i was but um you know, um, maybe one day, I mean, it may be, I mean, but, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, it just didn't work out the way we all planned, right? I mean, that's just how it went. Shit happens. Shit, Shit happens. happens. Shit happens, bro. What's up, Simo? Welcome. Welcome. Hey. Oh, what's up, Simo? That is a Tama. Hey, what's up, butthole? <laughs> What's up, buddle? I was playing. What's up, mama? <laughs> Wait, I was just says. Uh, you know, I called. I called her out. I, the other, I called time. her out the other day too. I did that one time, and my wife said, "Who the fuck is that chick on that video?" So I've been divorced for about six years now. <laughs> See, that's what's up. But respect, you know, respect for doing it. Respect. Yeah, respect, man. That's crazy. Uh that's fucking crazy, dog. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, fucking crazy. It's nuts, but respect. <laughs> I, I yeah. Oh. oh shit. Hold on, I gotta stretch. You you got your money figured out yet? Hey, okay, okay, so Nick, I nah, bro. By by uh, by do the I gotta start hits. a brand new like safe pal wallet or can I? No, so bro. The Coinbase, fuck. Is, the Coinbase one is just what I go to for this shit, bro. Well, just we'll give it a try and see what happens. Safe pal, man. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna. You can always send it out of there somewhere else. It's super cheap to transfer. Okay, that's the only thing when it comes to anything Ethereum, I get a little like, oh, am I gonna have to listen, like, sell listen, my first listen, lazy, lazy. So mm -hmm. with your wallet, it, the wallet app is just like a I'm gonna window. mute my mic so it doesn't cause static. Hold on. All right. Um, is that, your, is that your, I don't know. Let's see if it keeps going. If it keeps going, then maybe it's you. Yeah, it keeps going. Try to try to mute yours and see what happens. Or hold on, bro. I'll do it right now. Well, that actually, I think it just went away. I think it yeah, is it better know. now. No, I still hear it. Is it still there? Um, yeah. but yeah. So lazy, your your wallet is a window looking into like your bank vault. Okay, that's all that app is. I'm aware that app of that. Is just a window. So you can have that same wallet, but yeah. use a different app to access that same wallet so you don't have to have different wallets for different wallet apps. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so when I go to send it, I'm sending Ethereum and yes. it's not yes, giving it's me Ethereum the option to on... But it's it not it's just saying send. It's not giving me the option to Well, hold on. Them. Are you on the wallet or on the exchange? On the wallet, that's the thing. I don't know what the Arbitrum logo looks like. So I don't know if it's 
Ethereum on our so server. so are you on the, the Coinbase exchange? Coinbase exchange sending that to my Coinbase wallet is where I'm at right now. Okay, whenever you do that, there should be an option. And it's it'll just that it should be at the top where it'll say like Ethereum network. Like above like when when you hit I, I want to say it's either right before or right after the review stage. Probably right before. The only thing that gives me a distinction is like, because I go to my Coinbase wallet and I pick receive so I can select the contract address that I want to paste to, uh -huh. you know, send from uh -huh. Coinbase. And there's... Okay, wait, my wait, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Go to... When you, when you do the receive address... Make sure you do ETH on the Arbitrum. It doesn't have that. It has ETH, and then it has, like, four symbols that are different things, and then it has, like, you know, whatever. Try searching one. Arbitrum in there and see, because I think I did it that way. I'm pretty sure I did. I, I selected that first. Okay, so right now I'm doing the exact same thing. Just got some Ethereum. I'm going to go to send it. I'm going to select. So right when I press send, it comes up with, there's a menu that says select a method. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven options of what chain to send it on. On, right on you like send. your Coinbase Central Exchange, it has that for you. Yes, right. I'm on there right now. I got 20 bucks. I just got you press send, and that's the first thing that pops up is what chain, and it has Ethereum, Base, Arbitrum, Avalanche, C, or Avalanche, C chain, Optimism, and Polygon as your options. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So I send, I select Arbitrum as the network, but I'm sending ETH through. Oh, okay. yes, sir. Yes, got sir. you. So I'm about to do that. Where is my wallet? By the way, um, I don't know if you've seen it, but I uh, I got that back to you, Nick. What'd you get back to me? Um, that gas you sent me. I sent it. I sent it back. Oh. Yeah. No worries, bro. I figured it was a small amount. You might not notice, but <laughs> <laughs> that's all good. That's why I said so. But. Out where I sent it from. Too many wallets to keep up with. Yeah, well, I had plenty of money in that wallet. It was just, you know, it, I I didn't have gas. It was literally the same thing the scammers tell you in the Telegram. Oh my god! In fact, okay. did you see, wait, I, had, wait, wait, I, had wait. A, I had a scammer impersonating Chaka today. This yeah, morning. same thing. Oh, it was great. I played him a little bit before oh. he asked me. He goes. Do you have any um, funds available for about an hour? And I go, oh yeah, but it's all locked up right now. If you can give me some gas money, I can get it out for you. No way. Yeah, bro, he didn't fall for it. <laughs> He's probably like, fuck, that's probably my boy. <laughs> I'm probably scared, trying to scare the wrong guy. But um, yeah, yeah. I tried that. It was fun while it lasted. Yeah, they're quick, man. They're quick to, to do that. Okay, so I just sent some to my safe pal. Okay, and we buy Zella Boba on Pancake Swap. If you yes, want. Sir. If you want to. <laughs> See, that's the cool thing that I did like about it. Is you could use pancake swap or Uniswap or whatever. That's that's cool shit. Wait, wait, you can use Uniswap for it too? No, no, not yet. Um, we don't have any cool Shaman's talking about his ass again. Okay, I got it. They have stuff on the Arbitrum <laughs> network on Uniswap. Yeah, yeah, they do, but they, we they don't have Zella Boba on there because we don't have our liquidity pool over there. Let's dump them. Dump the bags. 
Who's bags? You only want to pump the bags. Pump the bags. <laughs> I'm just kidding, dog. How you doing, Lazy? You doing okay? <laughs> okay, so no, when I go to, like even, when even I go to, that guy had a when hard I go to time swap to it figure it out. When I go to swap it on Pancake smart. Swap, what do I? Okay, so, okay, so, is, so we'll here, go yeah. into oh, Pancake. Right, do I, I'm, I'm, I got that pulled up. I'm ready to swap, so I just got to okay. figure it out. In Pancake Swap, at the top, right next to where the little icon is for your wallet. You should be able to change your what chain you're trading on. You change that to Arbitrum 1. Do you see what I'm talking about? Yep. What the fuck? Why is it so much I got shit you. I got this? you. Okay, so you do that, and it says you want to switch your network. You say, yep. And then that should pull up uh, your Ethereum on Arbitrum. It's really just like two extra steps. Like when you look at if you were to put money in from the beginning. Because you're just selecting the network twice throughout that process. And that's really the only difference is selecting the network in two steps of that. Okay. I just, I just got to increase my slippage and I'm good. Yeah, it's got a tax, uh, so four or five percent should do. I think that's what I got to do too. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna mute my mic. So I'm gonna put my phone up close. <laughs> huh? Welcome back. <laughs> I forgot I had a coffee right here. It's getting cold. That's why I never did anything on on these other chains. It's like, it seems like sometimes it's just a lot to go through in the beginning. But then once you do it once or twice, it's not that big a deal. Yeah. It's always that first time. Look, I'm not gonna lie. When I Nick had to walk me through a few of the steps too, and you know, I was like, oh my god, like. Once I figured out, I was like, it was that easy. That's all it was. And it's, right. it's so, it sounds daunting. So difficult. But no, it's not. It's really, it's actually really simple. And it's super cheap. Yeah. But it's so, it's so hard to wrap your, your mind around the concept for some reason. Like as if you're, I don't know, doing something. And, and you bought, you bought your first uh, Arbitrum NFT, bro. Yeah. That's why I, that's why I got on it, uh, and I forgot I wanted to put that change into um, Zillaboba. Honestly, Arbitrum is okay. Now that I've done it, it makes perfect sense. But it's See? if you go right. on an Ethereum, you're doing Uniswap. If you're going on BNB, you're using Pancake Swap. If you're going on Solana, you're using, um, you know those ones but like this one you have to buy ethereum on the arbitrum network and then use pancake swap all of it just conflates them like none of it makes sense no, the way the other no. ones do but it isn't hard once you know the steps and it's I literally two am... steps right it's two steps different you just select the network twice that's it yeah it's not hard but it it, it goes against the normal wisdom of Whoa, doing right. DeFi stuff a little bit, and that's all it takes to make it a little bit harder to adapt. But when you have people that, like Nick, that can just walk you through it, like it made sense the minute I. Right, and I, I I equate it to trading on BNB, right? How many DGens are on BNB trading? BNB is cheaper than Ethereum, but it's still like three bucks sometimes. So well, either way, I, f I finally own Zelebaba. There you go. Can you trade? Can you trade on um, Arbitrum like you do on Soul, like in and out of stuff? I would say so, but I don't think there's bots for it. I don't think it's like that cool yet. I imagine. No, I mean, can you go on there and scalp and stuff like that, or is it just kind of yeah. like okay? The but transactions stuff go through real quick. Yeah, well, well, like so, Arbitrum's so new, and there's not a whole lot popping off, like. 
So that that one meme coin um, boop, uh, B O O P, literally a picture of a dog, and it what? ran, it it ran from 500k to 40 million in the past couple of weeks. Um, and then we're partnered up with them. We're partnered up with Boner. Um, we're partnered up with uh, another one called No. Um, and we're all trying to push to make the Arbitrum meme coin season happen. So spaces, you know, we did a hash flow space this week. Um, you know, we hit our we hit our personal all time high of seven fifty k two days ago, and then today is a good red day to get in on that dip. So. I don't know. I see it. I see it doing big things. I've been DCA and since we were at 20K, 30K, you know, I could have gave you some. I could have gave you double. Uh, I, I could have gave you a trillion lazy when we <laughs> were at 30K market cap, which was $30. Now, a, tr now a trillion is $400. It was seven hundred dollars two days ago. You think yeah. there will ever be a uh, a rap boner? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that reminds me of a joke I heard when I was in like seventh. Grade. Not in my lifetime, sir. How how did Dairy Queen get pregnant? Oh fuck! Burger King forgot to wrap his Whopper. <sighs> Is that a Maddie B joke? <laughs> No, that, that like that's a, like when I was in seventh a grade. Dad joke. joke, bro. No, that that's a joke. seventh grade joke. Well, did you did you read the joke Slim Cheese is put in the chat earlier? I how does yeah. how does Chuck so Norris good. find Bitcoin? With pen oh, and we paper? got fucking plat backstage. Let me get this. Oh, here we go. Let's get this loose cannon up here. And Psycho, back there. you're gonna have to Leave take second there. fiddle for how crazy you are. <laughs> F, F Joe, F Joe, a having it. Nice. Shut the that? fuck up, fuck Joe. Leave him back. <laughs> he talking about motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> what up, motherfuckers? Spicy. Dude, you made it out really early up. tonight. What the fuck? Hey, did you yeah, notice man. we have a new guest? His name is Psycho Philly. He's a good dude. Oh uh, yeah. What and... up, Psycho? What up, man? Well, Flag Philly? keeps us all in line. This motherfucker. I don't like you already. I don't like Philly. I'm from New York. <laughs> yeah. See what I mean? <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you too, pal. Thanks, man. <laughs> Fuck you too, pal. That's like a friendly Philly hello. Fuck you too, pal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, I love man? Hey, now nah, I'm over here watching slap boxing, man. Y'all should put on Rumble. You Dude. can't scream on this with shit. With the chicks? With the chicks? There be chicks in there, but right now it's some yeah. slapping the shit out of each is, other. Do you have oh, seen man, those chicks right? or something where, else? where they just slap the fuck out of each other? Yeah, just slap after slap until someone gets knocked. <laughs> Dude, that's great. Some of that shit is crazy. The UFC owns that business, isn't that? Yeah, nuts? they brought yeah, it from that's overseas. Crazy. <laughs> Dude, and some of them get knocked the fuck out hard. Like, they're not going to walk right the rest of their lives. They got permanent brain damage or some shit because some of them get hit so fucking hard. And you have to stand there and take it. And you know it's coming. You know, when you're in a fight, you at least get to, like, bob and weave and fucking block and all that. They just have to stand there and take the biggest fucking it. hit. Dude, I love it when they land and they got, like, rigor mortis. They're like... Lock, yeah, they just lock up and tip over. Yeah, like, I love it. See all the fucking it's chalk crazy. fly off their face and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah they yeah, it, slow mo that they shit. They got that. Pimp, that brutal. you know, you know how they always used to joke about get you know, get that baby powder so you can slap your hoe if you're a pimp. Like that was like in the Friday <laughs> movies and shit. <laughs> and that's what this shit is like. It's fucking bonkers. Damn. Put that powder in my hand. <laughs> yeah, give me that baby powder. Give me that baby powder in the face. <laughs> Has a fucking <laughs> glitter in it and shit. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> oh shit! Powder with glitter. Yeah, fuck. Well, you don't use glitter in your powder. Oh my powder, bro. All right, now this show's starting to live the fuck up. I like this. Good. Yo, what's up? You can't stream that shit. It's on the Rumble app, man. 
I'm already on my phone right now. I'll be watching it with you all right now. I'm thinking if it's on the Rumble app, then we're not allowed to stream it on YouTube. <laughs> nah. That's why it's on Rumble. <laughs> yeah. I mean, didn't we stream some shit one time from something else? Um, yeah, the fight, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got we got we got a a, a strike for that or whatever. What do you mean you got a strike for it? YouTube kicked us off and gave us a strike for streaming a fight. That's fucking stupid. Yeah, and then and then so did Twitch. <laughs> but luckily Girl, we only streamed like boys. once a week. So, you know, it was by the time we streamed next week, everything was back up again. So it didn't matter. And our socials don't rely on like that. Our socials are all, you know, Twitter and shit. So. What's up, Platt? Well, you've been busy. You know, is, uh, you get busy at work? You're, you're a fluffer, right? I'm a what? <laughs> fluffer, right? A fluffer? What the fuck are you talking about, man? That's not what they call it, bro. That's not what they call it. They call what it a uh, orgasmic engineering or something. Or a dictation. Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, I had no idea what you're talking about. Erectile technician? Yes, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's your oh, one swinging. So somebody fucking oh. elaborate, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> a, fluffer, a fluffer is somebody that's behind the well, scenes at a porno well, and that? gets the person ready for the scene. <laughs> How the fuck do y'all even know that well, shit? What was that movie uh, that, that Mark Wahlberg was in? That movie Mark oh. Wahlberg was in. Uh, Boogie. Oh, but that's just fucking with funny, a, though. With a <laughs> skater chick. The was that Boogie Nights, I think? Fucking bald ass bitch. Yeah. <laughs> See, and you've seen the, the movie and you don't know what it's called. You should know what it is. What movie? Yeah, it's Boogie Nights. <laughs> what the fuck, yo? What the fuck, yo? <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers. A fluffer. Yo, don't let them come at you like that, bro. I don't give a fuck, man. I'll be coming at everybody anyway. It don't mean that. It's better than dicks coming at him. <laughs> we don't have fluff and shit we don't know over there. It's HR fluff and stuff. <laughs> what do you guys got for weather going on up there that way? Uh, it's all over the place. Fucking rain, then it's really nice, then it's rain and really nice. And <clears throat> yeah. after rain, like... it was really nice out too. Like really good, man. Was, I was like, yeah, this is nice out here. We were at 40 something the other day, and then it was like in the 60s today, and then it's, good. it's supposed to get up to like 89 tomorrow. Yeah, I'm I just want a spring, like a real spring, and not like have to just jump right into the fucking hot ass weather. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sucks whenever you can get seasons. I rather I don't know I like I like being in seasons though I like I like seeing the fall fall is probably my favorite time of the year dude I don't know why but I love the fall weather I don't know why I just so chill like throwing a bonfire like even summer nights you know having a bonfire is pretty badass you know a couple beers some weed you know what I mean just fucking chilling listening to yeah. the music you know. Yeah, I was going to do a fire at night. People, I, I picked that over going out to a bar or club or anything like that, man, all day long. Oh, fuck yeah. So, says the subgraph is currently experiencing delays due to ARB issues. Performance may suffer until subgraph is restored. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You guys want to hear what my dumbass did last night? Do we have to? No. no. You you can mute, you know, your audio, but I'm gonna tell the story either way. Um. <laughs> so last night, after so like halfway through being on spaces for a while, I took a little gummy, and then it kicked in by the time the spaces wrapped up. 
So I went to fucking, I was tired, but I, was, I had the munchies. So I made some fucking ramen. That's a good idea. And I fucking, you know, boiled some water. And I splashed that shit, like, as I went to, like, dump a bunch of it out. And I splashed it onto my foot. Three of my toes have some of the most fucking wicked blisters I've seen in my entire life because <laughs> I just burnt the fuck out of my foot. The only reason I thought about it is because I was coming, I was going back to the you know sit down to continue streaming after the most glorious piss I've ever had, and like my foot hurt and I forgot about it. And I'm like, oh yeah, burnt the fuck out of it last night. But yeah, three of yeah, my toes have blisters that encompass my feet. whole toe. I always keep something on my feet. I don't fuck around when I'm cooking. Fuck that. Well, I had, that's the problem. I, I, I was in socks. I just had socks. So when I spilt the fucking boiling water onto my foot, it absorbed into the sock and held it to my foot until I could get my fucking sock. Yeah, well, <laughs> and I, and now you got a platypus feet now, dude. Uh, I live, so yeah, I live dangerously. Like I, I cook bacon in a banana hammock and that's, that's no, the only thing. Oh I don't want to think <laughs> about you doing anything in a banana hammock, but thank you for the visual shaman. I mean, I can't. Yeah, picture, I don't know visualized. what your face looks like, but okay, I do know what your face looks like, but nobody else does. But I, mm -mm, I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear. Yo, that is shit. shaman? Is shaman the one that goes shaman? Is that is that the dude? No, no, it's not. Wait, but, who's but that? Though we're gonna start. We're gonna do that. Shaman. <laughs> no, that was uh, I need to refer to him. There's a few people that'll still like bring that towards me, but like we're not the. That came from the Shaman King project, I think. I don't know. I yeah. think it was Faltron always or somebody. Be Shaman. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. I did not have any prior knowledge of that, but thus for this going forward is going to be Shaman says. What the You're, fuck? Bro, so you like, haven't seen that, that, that like, chat when people do that sometimes? Like, um, never fan will do even that. If I did like, see it, oh, even man. if I did see it, I I didn't know what it was a reference to. Yeah. I had no prior oh, knowledge It was that. like it's a made-up thing, you know? What the fuck, yeah, boys? Was it mine? Sorry. I'll, some, one day somebody will do something cool with my name, and it'll be it'll be cool. I mean, you should be the one to do something cool with your name, but go on. I they already made it. They call me D-Head. <laughs> <laughs> for Darlin? Or what, what, what no, for Dickhead, dude. That's what they oh. call <laughs> oh. Did you pick up on that, Shaman, or are you just goofing off? Goofing off, man. Come on, man. They were having a good he, time. He, 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 did, he didn't pick up on it. He's a little slow on the uptake. I'm sure he picked up on it. I don't I don't think so. I don't know what you're saying. It's time for me to go grab a snack, dude. I need something to eat while I'm doing this shit. I thought this was yeah, about to be a be commercial up, bro. or something. It's about <laughs> time for me to grab a snack. That's what I like to enjoy. And then boom. <laughs> You know what? Grab a Snickers so that you don't act like a psycho. Are you hangry? Yeah. No. I'm going to go get some nachos and some, you know what I mean? I'm going to go bring some fucking shit up here real quick. I'm fucking oh, hungry. bro, nachos don't even, that just sounds amazing. I want fucking nachos now. Dude, some 7-Eleven nachos. You dick. Chili on it. Absolute dick. How dare you? That sounds so awesome. Speaking. Speaking of nachos, um, that guy went to that little uh, recreational place and uh, asked him about franchise opportunities and shit. And um, no. But there's apparently another store or two around my area that might have some franchise stuff. But I guess their family owns the farm. You no, know, that would be a fucking cool ass place, dude. If they had a place that that uh did nothing but like customized nachos, that'd be dope, wouldn't it? Right. You got them yeah. for a lot of other little niche food things. Like, why not nachos? Gonna, we can call it. We can call it just Joe nachos. You can call it whatever, sure. bro. But I'll be honest with you, like, I fucking love food. I love not. I love anything. 
I love Mexican food, dude. I will fucking kill that shit, bro. Like that's my thing. Yeah. Cow tongue tacos. What happened? Cow tongue tacos. Nah, fuck all that. Y'all got that's Mexicans that. up there? What'd you say, cuz? <laughs> y'all, y'all got Mexicans that far north? I didn't know that. Yeah, oh, I yeah. forgot. I forgot. My governor shipped them up to you. I well, forgot. Bro, oh, yeah. God, <laughs> His governor's setting them up. <laughs> Two days shipping, Amazon prices. <laughs> nah, do we you not can hear me? We have all kinds. Did, of- did yeah. you get yeah. your delivery? Did you guys do you get your delivery? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, dude, off no them. expense spared. The Forge Pirates took it. <laughs> <laughs> they got your Yo. tacos, bro. Yo. Yeah, I love tacos. Can you hear me? Yo. What up, Platt? Fuck, man. I think I was talking to myself for a minute, bro. Okay. We know what you were doing all the time. <laughs> we know what you were doing. It's the same shit every day. Just you were in your room talking fluffing. to yourself. He's it, it, he was off of his 15 minutes of fluff break. That's what happened. Hard at work. <laughs> Yo, I didn't know they had dick fluffers, bro. That's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually what, have, insane, what, have, bro. what have you been calling yourself? What have you been calling yourself all this time? A professional. Yo, yo you know a lot about that shit, bro, to be saying it's me. Maybe you're the fucking dick fluffer, motherfucker. <laughs> so, okay, I didn't know that shit existed, bro. Oh, fuck. You got Platt all riled up. <laughs> I mean, a frog doesn't know. A frog yeah, he knows a lot about dick fluff, right? You know, what <laughs> kind of what they use, bro? What kind of powder they use? What they fluff it with? Tell me. The, the <laughs> mouth. They fluff it with yeah. their mouth. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> hey, y'all know a <laughs> lot. Y'all know a lot. <laughs> hey, you know what you they use? Gotta, you know what you they use? You know what they just spit on it. You just spit on it, bro. They why are they telling you, know, you, know a lot about why are they telling you what? Why are they telling you what your job is, dude? They're telling me because that's their fucking job. <laughs> and you know a little bit. You know a little too much too, bro. So I don't know about you. You probably a dick fluffer yourself, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all big fluffers except Jedi, because he's the only one that don't know shit either. All of y'all know what y'all talking about. I know what the fuck. Wait, wait. wait. Motherfuckers talking out their asses, bro. These are closet faggots over here, bro. <laughs> I'm out the closet and keep it real, bro. You fluff a dick, you fluff a dick. Fuck it. I'm, just, I'm waiting for the screen to go blank and just a, a sound going. <laughs> We're getting pulled <laughs> any second story. now. We're getting pulled any second. YouTube's guys, like, we've had enough of this dick fluffing. <laughs> guys, it's 2024. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, man. oh shit. Yo, the magic fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Jedi, how dare you bring me on this show? <laughs> I know, right, bro? You, oh, you dude, you probably you're, haven't you laughed this no hard in a while. What you were in for. Who, man? No I, I always idea. laugh. Yo, bro, I always laugh. I'm always the guy who fucking starts everything in there. And like, any Jedi, kind of did you know he was a dick fluffer before you brought him on, bro? I ain't a dick fluffer. That, that's, how he, that's how he got on. He he fluffed my dick, so I let him on. <laughs> yeah, okay, homie. I got I got a dick for you to fluff, bitch. Go ahead. Whoa. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yo, how, how 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 do you fluff dicks? He's like with your mouth. How you know that, bro? <laughs> yo, how do you think? Well, bro, how do you think we afford the streamyard payment every month, man? That's just expensive. Fucking big money. Cost money to fund this operation. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, that's funny. We have extra storage. He says, he says, you out here fluffing dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I never heard of that shit. It's crazy. Yeah, but dude, like they act. There's like actual paid people that fucking do that, dude. It's crazy, man. I mean, it makes sense if you think about it. I mean, yeah. Do you, do you know the first shit. time I heard that term? I think was what was the movie? Um, Zach and Miri make a porno. It was a uh, um. It had, I think, Seth Rogen and some other chick. Like they, it, it's a funny movie, but like they're talking about fluffers on there, and it had like Jay and Silent Bob. Yeah. Um, 
God, I'm pretty sure that's the name of the movie. But yeah, that's the first time I'd ever heard that term. So I, I knew what it meant when you said the fluffer. But yeah, I think he's that's like, the first time I'd ever heard that. Plant's just pissed now because he's thinking to himself, man, I could have been getting paid that whole time. Yeah, he just did it for free. <laughs> he, he's just out there doing charity work. This is God's work. Man, that's like dick for crack. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what was that? Oh. Some dick for weed. Who was that, Bob yeah. Saget? Wasn't that Bob Saget? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. on, yeah. Um, yeah, he said cocaine. Yeah, because they're like, you ever, because cause he went to rehab for he weed. And they're like, what? And Bob Saget shit. gets pissed. He's like, what for weed? What? You ever suck dick for weed? No. Because <laughs> he's the cokehead. <laughs> is that how high? Or no, not that's not how high. What, that was what, what funny is it? movie, though. <laughs> Didn't he die? Didn't Bob Saget die? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. And, like, and you guys kind of very him unexpectedly. Him. He passed out and like hit his head and it fucked with him and he died. Nobody would have ever <laughs> known how funny that dude actually really was. You know what I'm saying? Oh, when oh you man, watch that him, dude. The, the fact that so he funny. ever got a sitcom or whatever you want to call it, that show, yeah, Full House. Like America's there's no, Full House. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. This, dude, this dude had the dirtiest stand-up routine ever. Yeah, his comedy like, just straight dog. Oh, man. Like, it is so you know, fucking like, foul. And then to see him get, like, a kid show type thing, I'm like, well, how did you even land right. that? America's yeah, Funniest yeah. Videos. Family sitcom, like. Oh, that's yeah. right. That that was I forgot about the Miracle. Oh, that too. Like yeah, that man. Was gone, man. Yeah. Yo, y- y'all saw MK's comment. They pay the stream yard through uh Felatio Finance. Felatio Finance. They got the best rates. <laughs> they got the best rates. <laughs> they only want two percent <laughs> of that ass. <laughs> of that ass. Yeah. What's good, man? Get the fuck out of here. Are you serious, MK? He said there was a politician in Spain that had to resign for a video of him eating his own poop. What the fuck, man? It's a broke. <laughs> you know, and I thought American politics are starving out there, bro. Yeah. I think we're starving. We hungry. We hungry. <laughs> Better go learn a trade, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, eat your shit. Yeah, that's gross, that. bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's crazy. That's crazy, yeah. bro. Ugh. This motherfucker's I like, I got some. Dry, you know, that's yeah. what they meant. He's like, I got something to tell you. What happened? He's like, I got something to tell you. He's talking about poop and shit. Like, come on, man. It's Friday, dude. <laughs> This dude's, this dude's like, man, I gotta go fluff some dicks after I'm done eating this shit. <laughs> I eat my own shit to save money, and then I go fluff. You know, no, he oh. eats that shit so, so he doesn't have to taste the fucking pig dick. Oh shit! Wait, what? I don't know what he's gonna fluff some pigs. Nobody What's ever understands what Shaman's talking about, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not far off. He's, you, he's usually sleeping. But when he's not, <laughs> no, no one understands him. That's why I just go to sleep. I'm like, oh, fuck it. Might fuck as well take it. a nap. They don't, they don't understand me anyway. I'm just going to take a nap. Uh, one day y'all get on that level and understand English. That's what you think it is, bro? You're on another level? <laughs> We're just not in <laughs> <not laughs> India. I mean... He is right to a degree. It's just the level nobody else wants to be on. <laughs> Get on my level. Get on my level. Mm-mm. Stay on my Dude, level. I would I would love to, to know what it's like to have a full eight hours of sleep, man. I don't fucking I can't I can't do eight hours of sleep. Dude, I'm I can't even five do, hours. I'm good. Six I hours do, is like I do three ideal, hours, but, dude. Tops. Three hours, four hours max. Three hours? You crazy, bro. Yeah, I do. I that's just the way oh, hours. psycho. I don't know, it's the only way. That's my. That's the way my mind works, man. I don't know. That's not. Hey, healthy, Shaman. Man. Shaman, I got a question for you. Okay. What language? What language does a deaf person talk to themselves in? Oh shit. 
On Saturday, I think I've heard this, and I, I, I have no clue right now. Well, I don't believe there's an answer. It's just a question. <laughs> it's like an impossible It's just a question. philosophical yeah. thought process. I was going to say, wait a minute. He, he just looks at signs. Maybe that's why I can't think of the answer. <laughs> he just looks at signs or some shit. So what language does... You know, when you talk to yourself in your head, like what what, what language or what, you know, what language do they talk to themselves? Yeah, if you've never... Like, been able to hear a spoken word. What do you think? Probably that. I mean, they probably just talk in symbols, man. Because haven't you heard of some people that they don't even think in words? Yeah. Yeah, you. You think in whatever the fuck. Who knows wherever the fuck you get your thoughts from? This guy Joe got a vendetta against him. Call him fuck Joe, bro. <laughs> no, you're just so fine because you play bro. back, man. Man, you come back at me like everybody, nobody else fucking really does. They just laugh and nobody comes back. You're always right back at me. Oh, man. It's like fighting with Bengal again, all over again. Where Bengal don't be coming on anymore. Yeah, what was her deal anyways? I guess when Rack was gone, she was gone too. That was the end of it. Bangle and Rack? The same person? What? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, <laughs> they might be. Oh, that that's a whole new conspiracy we never even contemplated. <laughs> Especially since they've both been on the stream at the same time. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> So when, when's this Dr. Pepe thing happening? Where's that fucker at? He was, he was in the chat earlier. Well, he's, he's asking if stream's going. Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday? I think Tuesday or something like that. Tuesday or Wednesday. One of those days. Was that Nick? Yeah, we... You hear Nick? What up, Nick? Nick's back. Yeah, what up, man? Bro. Going on. There's just too many of y'all fuckers talking at one time, so I, yeah, I popped we got, we, got, like, we got a lot going on here. Usually it's later in the stream when we get this many people on. It's nice, though. Lazy loves the sausage party, though. You're having a I good old time, brother. I mean, I don't fluff any of the sausages. I just admire them from a distance. Get in the can. You're doing a psycho. You're psycho. You fluffing dick, bro? For doing? me, homie? Yeah. I, I see you swinging like that. Him. I see you swinging that paddle, bro. And I hear smacks. Yeah, nah, I'm, I'm smacking <laughs> my. Like you're fluffing dick. I'm smacking my big ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, you cannot neglect. Crack. You cannot giving neglect number one. And your own dick is number one. Cycles giving a demonstration for those that don't know. This is how you yeah. fluff dick. No, actually, I don't do that shit, cause. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all fluff our own dicks. Let's be honest, okay? So we all have a little bit of experience with it. I mean, you're so. right about that. I mean, but not with not with our mouths. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that that's just plat. That's strictly a plat thing. Because he takes it to the next level. What's strictly a plat thing? He had a couple of ribs removed so he could do it. Yeah, he took he took a page out of the old. Oh, that's about him. Oh, okay. Uh, You've been trading plat tonight at all? Not really, man. I did a couple of little Solana trades and I, I lost out. I just walked away. What do you I've be playing to... with? Huh? What do you be I've playing been... with? Just the shit that y'all be bringing up in the chats, man. I don't really be going out there looking no, at live new pairs. Big, no, player. no, I mean, no, I mean, when you're like, what are you playing? Are you playing with like? 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 200 bucks. What do you usually fuck around with? Depends, man. Um, sometimes I, I go 100, sometimes I go 10. Depends how a pocket is, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So if I build it up, I start going a little higher. Right now, I'm just doing $10 here, $10 there, because I just don't trust the network, to be honest with you. It's just a lot of bullshit on Solana Network, man. See, I haven't even, I've been so wrapped up in this other shit, I haven't traded at all. And I've just been hearing like the, hor the horror stories of people like, you know, transactions failing and stuff. And that just scares me so much just because the way I play, it's like, that just ain't going to work out when I'm trying to get out real quick. 
You know yeah, that, I mean? that's the problem because that's why you do the bots, right? Because you know radium is too slow, but then when you got the congestion issue, that's yeah, just a like, problem, man. And you fucking hit you yeah. fucking hit cell, and it's like a couple minutes before that bitch goes through. Like, who knows where you're at? <laughs> you know, like, you, uh, you're so either up or down, out, but you won't know until it goes through. I want to check out base and arbitrum, man. Especially base. I do too. I don't know I do what too. goes out there. It's like five cents a trade, man. Look at BTC oh, too, bro. Yeah, ordinals, right? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, that's going to be popping off real heavy real soon. A lot of people are fading. Yeah, ordinals will probably be real big. That's that because that was popping off. Be. I was popping off first before any of this shit started. It was and this little, you know, pre bull run that we have. It, it was. It kind of died down, but eventually that's just gonna pop off for sure. But remember the ordinals started popping off back in the day, but like when the um ETFs and shit, remember? That shit, I, um, when I, Pepe came out, they were the ordinals were already um doing this thing. Back when yeah, Pepe but I mean out. that shit was you know it, it was probably before everything else was. My point. So if it pumped first, that means it will probably pump next. Platt, are you buying some uh, meow space? Some, yeah, I'm in the presale. Oh, are you? Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm in the. When it launches Ooh. Sunday? No, it'll be tomorrow. Oh, really? All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Sale ends, I think, around like one o'clock Central Standard Time, and um, and it's gonna take me a little bit to do what I need to do uh, on my end stuff. So we're thinking maybe hold off for like an hour or something, give us some time to make sure everything goes through. Apparently, they're like there's a whole fucking process of shit that you got to go through, like code in and stuff, so that they can take the fees. That shouldn't take too long. It's just we want to just tell everybody at one o'clock or something like that, and then have it not happen till two or three or something for whatever reason. That's just dope, man. I don't know how y'all even be doing this shit, launching tokens, man. That's just like fucking Chinese to me, bro. Yeah, we should be working on shit, but we're here streaming instead. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! There goes my money. <laughs> By the preset, oh, man. By the preset. Yo, Dad, what'd you do? Break the seal? Oh, yeah, I broke the seal. <laughs> oh, felt felt amazing. <laughs> Dude, I it's swear, like, every fucking time, man. That. that was you. That was you fucking shaman. Or was that you lazy that sent me something? Every fucking time, I'm like, oh, what's this? And I click. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> oh, uh, and it gets you off of the, the shit. Yeah, it kicks me off. I'm like, shit. I never think no. of it. I just automatically just go to check every fucking time, dude. Bro, you got to open it up in Come a browser. That, that's what I'm going to end up doing. I just yeah. always fucking forget. Yeah. There we go. All right. Okay, random now thought, good. but I really want to see this Jake Paul Mike Tyson fight. When is that? You really think that's going to be anything, dude? For real? I, Yo, the way up. Mike Tyson came at Roy Jones last time, I think he's gonna knock Jake the, fu the fuck. Out I think he is too, I because like I think I he's got to he's gonna make so. a point. I fucking hope so. I think Tyson's gonna knock him out, bro. You see, I think Tyson way he still moves. Do you think Tyson, Tyson needs money so bad that he's gonna let Jake Paul no. knock him the fuck out and make? I don't him think it's about money at all. I think this is about <laughs> him like being uh, offended by the sport being. I think like he's this. such a savage and he's just doesn't want to sit on the sidelines, you know? Like I don't care how old he is. This motherfucker is going to be fighting until he dies. He might die in the I, fucking ring someday. But he don't I have the stamina he used to. He don't have the stamina he used to. I'm I'm gonna say that. I hope this motherfucker well, bites his dude here. He's almost off. 60 years old and he's going to fight a fucking 20 well, what, Yeah, but that's something you got to think about. So, you well, know. Of course, it's a huge factor. That's why it but I mean if he brings I mean, it could go either way, but I just hope... Yeah, I'll put $5,000 on Mike Tyson that he fucking kills that motherfucker. <laughs> I hope so, bro. I hope so. Dude, Wait. Mike Tyson is such a beast. Are you watching his training videos? That motherfucker's a beast. He's fighting Dude, an, an absolute does anybody, fucking beast. Does anybody except for the Paul family want Paul to win? I don't think so. No. 
Everybody loves to hate the Paul family, and I get it to a degree. I don't, don't give a shit. I don't have anything against them, but at the same time, it's Mike Tyson. You got to root for Mike Tyson. Iron Mike, come on. He's I such a badass. Being normal. That's great. You're famous for being normal, people. Ooh. MK no, saying Tyson I, needs money. Does he, though? I don't think Tyson needs money, man. He's got his own he weed company. Big, he no, had that big store going. Dude, that weed company I, I heard the other day is like valued at like over $100 million. Boom. There you Just go. as yeah, weed I mean, okay. No, I, 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 have, I've, I have read articles that Tyson has a very lavish lifestyle that, you know, he would like. But either way, I don't care. If he wins, like if he's not going in there – he his competitive spirit is too fucking strong. He's not doing anything to throw the fight throw or do anything. I don't think so. I think he's gonna go in there and try to kill that motherfucker. And hopefully, well, didn't they set age... a bunch of like? Didn't they set a bunch of cheesy rules because of his age? Like it automatically triggered like a no win. Like nobody's allowed to win this fight. Yeah, it's like some weird fuck fucking out. rules. Well, that's how a lot of these ex exhibi exhibitions are. They like they're like, oh well, they're not supposed to go too hard, and they fucking do every time. Like you get and it's like running. two minute rounds or something. I think I think that's legal protections, shit. but what actually happens once they get in there is a whole different ball game. But either way, I just think he's going hard. I don't think there's he's not going to be any headgear and shit. At, at one point, they said that. But yeah, no. if they were put on headgear, that wouldn't that'd be like okay, really. No, it was just gonna be Paul. Headgear. No, Paul was gonna have headgear on. Well, that would make Paul you, was gonna be. You could be wearing a helmet like, for the rest of his life. Yeah. <laughs> you know, shit. We're, we're gonna find out what um what language deaf people speak in their head. Yeah, <laughs> he, he's gonna let us know. Yeah. <laughs> no, I would honestly though my I do not want to see Mike Tyson get knocked out because. Okay, Jake Paul actually does have some legit fucking power. He's actually somewhat of a decent athlete. If I'm not saying he's pro boxer material, but I'm just saying, like, if he lands some big strikes, he could really fuck Mike Tyson up, especially at his age. So I hope he. Do you think his boxing shorts make him look fat, though? <laughs> I mean, that's the, that's the real question. Dude, fucking right, back in the day. Right, guys, I got a dip. But, um, All right, bro. Have a good, thanks for coming on, man. It was yeah. nice to meet you, bro. Yeah, dude, it was awesome. I'm glad you came through. Yeah, man, I, I'll come on. I'll come on next time for sure. Yeah, yeah. You oh, yeah, bro. Time. Nice meet, nice meeting you all, man. Nice yeah. to meet you, Psycho. Yeah. Fuck Philly, though. Yeah, fuck Philly. <laughs> <laughs> fuck New York. Fuck a bunch of queers. That's okay, man. You got all his cheese steaks, ain't shit. Now you I'm just fucking with you, psycho. <laughs> what? Yeah. Dude, I, I could go for a cheese steak right now. Philly cheese Me steak. too, actually. <laughs> it sounds really <laughs> fucking good. Hey, you know what, dude? I, I was in New York, like, what, five years ago. I went, I, I always wanted, I went to uh, Cat's Deli, dude. I fucking killed that fucking shit up in there, bro. Is it good? Yeah, you know, like that name? Cat there, bro. That's that cat, cat deli in New York is the fucking shit, bro. Go there. Check it really? out. Yeah. Nice. That's... Now, the Philly cheesesteaks that they have over here now are different, man. I go to a place called Levittown. It's not even in Philly. It's called um, it's called Curly's. They got Curly's and Aguido's, man. These places they, make fucking... They sprinkle with the cubes? They from each other, right? No, 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 no that's, Pino's, bro. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a different place. Yeah, yeah, it's like the big two fucking garbage, bro. Yeah, that's what I always heard. That they're just like uh, the most marketed and the most, but they're just dog shit. Well, yeah, well, dude, like you know, I mean, I, you know, at at the end of the night at at a bar, I mean, I mean, they're open. You know what I'm saying? That's what yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's your only yeah. option, so you deal with it. You know, right? Everyone's going to Pat's. Or Geno's. I mean, I've had both. Let me tell you something. They all taste the same. Or they taste like yeah. shit. But guess what? That's a good bar food when you're fucking drunk. Oh, yeah, yeah bro. You know, but uh, all right, listen, guys. I'm going to get rolling here. And uh, nice meeting you all. Thank you for having me on your show, man. I really appreciated it. Yeah, hey, bro, pleasure, if you, bro, get, if you get bored man. later, we'll probably still be on. So feel free to hop back in later if you if you get bored. Okay, man. 
Later, guys. Be safe, man. Be safe. Right, have a good night, night bro. All right, bro. Be safe, man. Yep. Dude, back when that Ty when Tyson had that fight, it lasted like I don't know, fifteen seconds or some shit. That was back. Was my hurricane? uncle. I don't remember who it was, but my uncle had it? bought this big, humongous like projection TV. It was like the shit back then. It was like a five thousand dollar TV back in the eighties. And so he bought the metric fuck ton too. Like, oh, this thing was the size of a small car. Yeah, exactly. And uh, like he had this big old box and all shit. So, anyways, uh, he buys this thing specifically, not not just for the fight, but he got it, you know, in time for this fight or whatever. And he has it all set up and had his buddies over there and shit and paid the the uh, uh, what do you call that? The fucking uh, pay per view. And back then, like pay per view was like it was probably the equivalent of probably two or three hundred bucks at this point or more to watch that fight. <laughs> you know, so he gets all set up for this thing, he has his buddies over there and all this shit. My fucking fights over in like fifteen seconds. <laughs> yeah, it's like where everybody comes over and pitches well, in like fifty bucks to watch the fight. You know what's crazy yeah. is so many of Tyson's fucking knockouts came in the first round, so maybe not the first fifteen seconds. That's very quick. Holy shit. But still, yeah. like even if you don't even make it out of the first round and you spend that kind of money on like a TV or a setup to watch a specific event, but Tyson was such a killer. Just a fucking just he's a pit bull in the ring. Pit bull with no owner and anger issues, like a pit bull with rabies. That motherfucker was just so crazy. And the thing is, too, he was a big dude, but at the same time, he boxed people that were so much bigger than him. They're you know, he, he's in the heavyweight class. So like you'd see dudes that were like half a foot taller and probably weighed like a good 20 pounds more than him, 20, 30, and he'd just crush them still. Dude, what kills me is these people, these uh, like reporters, whatever you want to call them, journalists that are interviewing them. Like they'll be sitting two feet away from them and be and just be like asking them just like ignorant questions about like his rape charges and stuff. And I'm like, do you fucking realize who you're sitting across from? Like this dude will eat you. Like <laughs> just, you're He's sitting there fucking bringing up rape charges. Your children. What the fuck? Holy shit, dude. When you think about how badass he is, right? And then you go, people beat him. You know, he didn't have a oh, yeah. oh yeah, lost. for sure. So imagine well, yeah. imagine that. Imagine that though. What? What? Being in a fight with that motherfucker and actually winning? Like, holy shit. Well, Buster Douglas was the big one. That upset the whole fucking boxing industry. Like, Buster Douglas was such an underdog, and he knocked him the fuck out. But and I think uh, uh, Bi Tyson didn't have his head in the game, though, when he went up against No, he exa exactly what I was going to get to, Platt, is like, okay, so his, his main trainer died, and, like, then there was just a bunch of fucking clowns around him. Like, he's the best of all time, but you got to still have a good trainer. And, like, yeah, the trainer that basically he came up with had died at one point, and you could see a shift in how he did things after that. Um, but either way, he did what so many fighters do, UFC, boxing, whatever. They He he kept fighting way past his prime, and that's where it comes back to is, obviously, he is fucking light years past his prime. He's in his goddamn 60s, and he's going to do this. So it's so dangerous for Mike Tyson. It's more dangerous for him than it is for the Paul dude. But which one? Is, there's He's, Logan and Jake. It's Jake Paul. Okay. I, I have to say both their names in a row for for my mind to dissent because I don't. Dude, I, this motherfucker is what? 60s? Him. He's in his 60s. He's going to get hit so hard he's going to start talking he, right. I think it's 57. <laughs> You're going to lose the, the list. Yeah. be 58. <laughs> Come on. Hey guys, how are we doing today, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine it? In his 60s, he gets hit so hard he stops speaking with a lisp. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> but no, well, I I think meant, the, I'm excited. I think the lisp is from the gap in his teeth. No, that's not at all. <laughs> it's a little quiz. It's a little quiz. No. I just wanted to hear him say the word eclipse when we had the eclipse last week. 
just, I was like, there's got to be a video of this dude saying the word eclipse somewhere. I just want to oh, hear God. it. Yeah, no shit. That's a good one. <laughs> eclipse. 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 Do you know what a lisp is? It's when your fucking tongue eclipses your teeth. <laughs> Covers them right up. Can't say it right. <laughs> Yo, this power slap is fucking savages, bro. <laughs> I'll slap these nuts in your mouth. <laughs> Go fluff somebody else's dick, you faggot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, don't deflect, don't deflect you, over you here. You notice how now that Platt learned what fluffing is, he's really rolling with it and dishing it right back. <laughs> he's trying. <laughs> Go he's fluff trying. somebody else. <laughs> he, he's, dude, he's those dudes and those chicks that do that slap shit, man, their fucking cheeks be like a fucking grapefruit or something in there. And it's oh, like, you know just the looks like it's ready, just ready to split apart or something. You know, it's like, oh, and it's, God. And it's just half of their face. Cause they just take the yeah. slaps on one side. Listen, that, what about that sport up makes you go, <laughs> what about that sport makes you go, you know what? I want to do that. No want, shit. Like what nice. part of it looks fun nice. in any capacity? I don't know. Is, Must be the money or something. It's got to be something. Okay. Okay. My question too is like, are there weight classes? Because I've seen some yeah, videos where no. it's like a dude that looks like he's at least 50 pounds lighter than the dude he's getting slapped by. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, what are the rules? Is it normal? Like, you know, UFC, they have weight classes for a reason. Dick size. I think they got weight classes. <laughs> Do they have weight classes? I don't know. I I mean, I think they, I, I think they some, do, but they got they got some crazy rules. Like, there's no clubbing, so you you gotta you gotta really do a slap. If if it's more than a slap, and you kind of club in his face, it's disqualification. Mm -hmm. You can't move your feet. Yeah, I've seen that so you too. You can't throw or, your body yeah, into yeah. the slap. You know, you gotta be all slap. You know, so there's a lot of different rules, man. A lot of them be getting caught up and getting penalized and shit. I it's, slap. It's not the easy fuck to do, stuff, bro. I was uh, play, play, so like I've been beating my wife for years, man. I've been I've been training for this for years. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the technical terms and shit. He's like, yeah, I don't I don't fucking beam stock them and shit or whatever he calls it. Platt's over there trying to take credit for the whole sport. Like, no, dude, I thought that's what marriage meant. You gotta do this. What the fuck? You mean you I could be getting paid for this shit? <laughs> Either way, well, no matter what, fluffing or or oh slapping. my god. Yo, boy, some real shit. Like, I don't think I could do some shit like that. Like, you just gotta stand there and take a slap. Like, that's what I'm gonna like, the guy that's down. The and beat craziest his ass. part, you know, I it's coming, and all slaps. your whole what goal. The, what is if that pay is twenty grand? What if you want? What if if you won? It was twenty grand. Nah, not for twenty grand, bro. Huh? You okay? You know how many times you can lose on soul plays? With twenty grand, <laughs> no shit. How many soul plays you can get rugged on? When you see how Yo, hard listen. some of those fuckers get hit, you got to. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna fuck your face up. Some of them probably have broken jaws, and like, there's crazy shit going on. I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck your face up, bro. I'm, like, if I'm in a match with you like that, I'm I'm trying to take you out. I'm gonna fuck a face up because I smack hard. Yeah, Yo, I, it'll be. I should, it would be the first old, time anybody we got slapped by a PFP. You see what <laughs> my PFP hand is strong, motherfucker. <laughs> you see what someone's talking about? They got some shit where women are slapping each other's asses. It's ass slaps. And oh, like yeah, I saw that one too. I've seen that one too. Yeah, I've it's seen that. Like, yeah. I'm just, telling you, bro. I made a I made a stripper like she gave up after I slapped her ass. She was acting tough and shit after everybody smacking her ass. And like, bro, the fingers I could see my fingers on her ass from like across the club after that. Like, trust me, bro. I, mm, I don't, don't know don't how that me. is a point I, of pride. I will slap the <laughs> fuck out of something. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You need some pussy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why would you need pussy? Yo, somebody get shot me late, bro. Somebody get him late. <laughs>
he, he maybe, maybe we need to ass it. slap so hard because he's so maybe, fucking like he's, a, he's maybe so a testosterone. Yeah, bro. Dude, <laughs> we're, we're gonna have to turn ass, man. We're gonna have, gonna have to turn me out space. In there, bro. <laughs> we're gonna turn me out space into an actual dating app for uh for shaman. For shaman. <laughs> yeah. Just for shaman. shaman. He's, he's the only a, allowed to make a shaman of love. And we'll make it a reality show. Shaman of love. Yeah, exactly. Like the ones that you see on like VH1 and fucking MTV. Yep, yep, yep. Do you remember Flava? Flav and the one big fucking. That's what it was. Track. Flavor of love. With the with the big yeah, flavor the big white woman from uh, Conan and the yeah. Barbarian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't remember her. Wasn't she part of the Rocky movie too? Or maybe not. Maybe. maybe. Yeah. Rocky yeah, she was. He fights the Russian. Yeah, I thought she was the the blonde chick who well, fights the Russian. That's like his wife. And I Russian. believe she was the Russian. I believe. Well, I think I think that um, Sylvester Stallone actually dated her in real life too. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I think you're. I'm pretty sure you're right oh, on that. Oh, that's one. her. Yeah. Okay. Bridget. Okay. Bridget. Something. Fonda. Bridget. Fonda. And back back in the day, she was pretty bad. But on she that show, not. she was she was uh, run down. And until she was dating <laughs> yeah, Flavor was, Flav, I never realized she was seven feet tall Amazon woman. Like no, Flavor fuck? Flavor is four foot five, bro. Well, yeah, and she's seven foot, so that was kind of is he that short? I know he's short. Well, no, damn. but he's pretty damn no, short. Okay. Though. He, he's about he's not, yeah. serious, dude, dude. I'm almost positive them two got married. If I remember right, I I'm pretty I sure they were they. married. Oh, did they? I did, I guess Bridget I didn't Nielsen. realize they got married. Bridget Nielsen, Flavor yes. Flav, yeah. yeah. Might do some research. I thought it Bridget was just Nielsen. for TV purposes. You know what I there mean? Like go. they have Bridget those Nielsen. bullshit couples. Uh, I don't know. They may have gotten married. She or I was might a have big just ass Amazonian woman from the fucking. Hey, don't knock it till you try it. Or something. Yo, who's uh, the JR? He's no. Uh, I mean, he's been around for a little bit, but um... yeah, he's been around for a bit. What up, the JR? I mostly talk to him in uh, like Timsky stream often. I think he's in two bits. And um, I think he'd be going to Wadi streams, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Is that RJ uh, from? Uh, is that no, RJ has uh, um, a Roaring Kitty still on here, I believe. I think I've seen RJ on here. Seiko, Seiko's in the house. Can you see how many people's come through here? Um, I mean, I can see what it says that we have for view. Oh no, like, I think it's still right now. Show. Yeah, let me see on my phone. I can log into the. Uh... I never knew if you could or not because I never really live, never live streamed. Yo, Nick, you gonna start snoring soon, bro? What's up? Oh shit, is he still here? Yeah, I think he's sleeping, bro. Hey, everybody, plug your ears. Everybody, I'm gonna. Hey, yo, Nick. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna hear snores in a bit. Leave him on. Leave him on. He's muted. Oh, he's muted? I mean, I've been catching this dude at like all kinds of different hours, though, like in spaces and like just making comments on stuff it's like dude when do you sleep because he worked he works like a full-time gig like running out of town and shit too and stuff it's like sometimes i see him like all over the place i'm like how do you even fucking bounce around like this that's word oh, thanks thanks mk uh, jr says just chilling willing to learn and MK says these guys are not teaching much today. <laughs> <laughs> are we? Are we ever? <laughs> Wait, what? When? What did we? Yeah, ever this is for, this is I glad to learn today. Let I learned some about some education. I sure did. Learn how to learn what a fluffer was. I learned what a fluffer is, Jedi. I learned what a fluffer no. is. I was gonna say you learned what you've already been doing. You just didn't know the terminology. No, I learned what a fluffer is. You fucking bitch. No, you learned Fluffers. what you've been doing. You I, I learned, no, I learned what one you is. didn't know there was an official job, term for what you've been doing. No, I, I learned what psycho and what fuck Joe do. That's what I learned. 
<laughs> okay? Don't get it twisted, bro. <laughs> See, oh, that's why I go at that's why I go at play because he says Sing shit that. and I think it's fucking hilarious, man. Like I love <laughs> shit like this. Shit's fucking funny. We need to get legal up in here. I know. What's right? his ass at? Yeah, but Joe, you, but you see, say some you funny see why I too. started a secondary after party right, stream man. when Platt agreed to come on because he didn't catch our first stream. So I was like, I'm willing to fucking start a whole new stream just to fucking listen to Platt or talk some shit. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't ever stop being funny. <laughs> How long we went for? Like three hours, right? Four. I, cut out a little early. four and a, I think four and a half. Yeah, I think you did. I think because yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. I was pretty well, blitzed, I warn but... you out going for so long. <laughs> you can only flub for so long, and then it starts to chafe. <laughs> I'm telling you, y'all, y'all got mad details and information, bro. I've been going a lot. <laughs> I hope you're taking notes. It's gonna help you professionally. <laughs> Talk about chafing and shit. Y'all prepared. They got some like chapstick for your dick and shit. Damn. <laughs> Wait, You're what? the first one oh, to mention bro. that right now. I was going to say, some, that's a whole new technique. Y'all on some next level shit, bro. <laughs> what what, what, what you brand is your favorite? Sticks. You're the one on the next Is that the level, level Shaman's talking about that we got to be on? That's the level he's <laughs> talking about. <laughs> still, not, still not on my level. Um, oh, shit. And we're venturing off in some P. Diddy shit. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> so, uh, stop, don't what, stop fluffing mad dick. Plenty of fluffers around that crew. That's why he's Puff Daddy. He's fluff, fluff Daddy. Fluff <laughs> yeah. Daddy. <laughs> Dude, that's just crazy. All this shit that's coming out is just insane, man. It's like, I don't know. So, it, well, here's a perfect example. So, back before I got divorced, or no, uh, well, it was like right after we split up. Like a couple weeks later, um, I had this ex-girlfriend of mine that I kind of fucked with on and off. But she's like, she just is fucking crazy, man. Like, I can only take her for like one night a year. That's about it is all I could hang out with her for. Because she was just like that nice. She getting fights and all kinds of stuff. And she, I got, we got all fucked up one night or whatever. And I'm, we're at my house. And she starts telling me the story about, this guy that infiltrated this fucking place in California where all these politicians and this shit go and this and that, and blah, blah. And I'm like, like, you're Shaman fucking nutcase. Lee. I'm like, you're a nutcase, you know, and I'm all fucked up and she's all fucked up and she's, and she's like, no, you gotta watch this. And she's pulling up like YouTube videos and stuff like this. Well, it turns out what it was is it was that, um, Alex Jones shit about that Bohemian oh. Grove. And at the time, I'm like, you are batshit fucking crazy. You know, it's like, I, I just wanted to get away from this chick. I'm like, you are insane. She starts getting into stuff. And it's like, turns out it's fucking true. You know, it's like, I don't know, man. Sometimes it's, sometimes it just works out like that. It's like, you hear shit. And like, later on, you find out that fucking shit's like this shit. <laughs> like, there's, there's actually some truth to it. And you're like, no, yeah. that just seems completely out of pocket. But then you're like, yeah. no, wait. Maybe, maybe there was something to it. This chick actually, um, her son died the other day, and oh, she like re reached out to me, and man, I just I, don't, I can't feel like a dick, but this girl like tried to latch on to me again and stuff like that. And I got Mike, I've been with my girlfriend for like five and a half years, so I'm like, man, like I feel bad for the girl, but I'm like, fuck. Like I'll say, you know, I'll I'll reach out to her. That's, but I, that's I a tough know. position to be in, though, because at the same time, you don't want to do anything to compromise your current relationship, even if you. Well, she's kind of done very, that shit before, like, you know. So it's like, that's what I'm afraid of. Should do it again, but at the same time, like I'm not. I don't. I kind of feel like a dick for that. Seiko, what you talking I, about, bro? I got everything with the names on it. See. Next stream, have everyone on top of stream with names. Because well, there's no names on the uh, PFP. Oh, when we have the chat going, if 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 we have anything highlighted in chat, it takes away the names and it puts the chat up there. But if we click off everything in the chat, then it will show our names again. Yeah, that's why it, it's a streamyard thing. It's a streamyard thing. We can't yeah. change that. That's not why I, I, I get what you're right I get what you're saying, Seiko. Makes sense. 
Cat rapist in Jersey. This would the world is fucking weird. How close are you to Wait, Jersey? What? What? Cat rapist. Damn. Giving Joyzy a bad name. <laughs> no shit. Um, they didn't. <laughs> they already had a bad name, bro. It was. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's nah, we ain't talking about there. Florida, bro. We're talking about Jersey, right? Shit. I haven't. Florida's where really all these Jersey. loons are at. I've heard people talk about how much they like Jersey, but nobody's ever told me why. People in Florida running around with fucking limbs eating that shit in the street. You seen that shit in the news the other day? The other day? Some no. Tra- some, oh, some yeah, 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 yeah. See that shit? See that. that shit was fucking nuts, bro. That crazy. shit was okay, wait, wait. That was in Florida, right? You need to um, elaborate. Some of us don't know what the been. fuck you're talking about. It might have been some Florida. train. A train killed somebody, some dude, and his leg was severed. And then someone kind of got in there in the scene and ran off with the leg and was just eating it while walking down the street, swinging yeah, it around, bro. laughing yeah. at people. I'm like, like yeah, a fucking up. chicken, like a like a drummy, yeah. just fucking yeah. eating a chicken leg walking down the street, bro. Except yeah. it's a big ass leg, so it's just swinging around and shit. Oh my god, it's like Resident Evil come to life. Yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. But still, I can tell you good stuff about Florida. You can't tell me nothing good about Jersey. <laughs> you talking about man? Jersey's off the oh. hook, man. Like, oh, I'm I used sorry, to, Jim, I used to not Jim like Tan Jersey. Laundry. Jim Tan I used to laundry, talk shit. Cool. I don't know about that. It's down in the shore, South Tom's River. That's different. I'm in North Jersey. It's different over here. Oh, so it's mostly New don't... Yorkers. It's mostly New Yorkers out here, man. But um, I'll tell you this: it's better than being in fucking New York City, bro. New York City is fucking trash. Like I'm so glad. No, I there you go. Here, I agree man. with you on that, bro. New York City is fucking that, trash, bro. So like, you like, were talking to. If you were talking to somebody that was going to go travel out that way, you would tell them to go to Jersey instead of fucking... Yeah, know. Jersey's good living, bro. You got green pastures, you know what I mean? You got space. It's cleaner cleaner oh, air man. and everything. The grass, like, is, the grass is greener on that side, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they have grass. You got grass over here and trees, bro. What are I feel like Platt's, Platt's running for a city council. That's why he's got to say all this shit. <laughs> No, I get you, man, because, like, you know, the difference from where I live, like, this is all suburbs. Like, I got a, a lawn and shit. It's and nice, you go right? into, yeah, but you go into, like, St. Louis, and, like, a lot of those people don't have lawn, or if they do, it's just nothing. Yeah, I got a lawn, and I got to mow that motherfucker. They're overrated. Yeah, okay. right. In the New York Yeah, city. no, I, I'm, right, I'm right there with you. I've actually looked into fucking artificial grass before, and it's, like, crazy. You still got shit to maintain on that, too, but I guess yeah, I know. It's expensive. I'm like, man, just do the whole fucking lawn in artificial grass. I never wanted artificial, <laughs> but now that I have a lawn, I kind of, I kind of see why you would want it. Cause this is a fucking chore, bro. Yo, take pride yeah. in in making the the stripes on your yard. And you know what? I actually when enjoy that shit, with, but it's, it's a lot. When Platt's yeah, done with be, a long day of fluffing so dudes, he likes to mow his lawn. Okay. Oh yeah. Yo, Jetta, I'm gonna fuck you up, bro. I'm telling you, I'll fuck you up. <laughs> no, I was waiting for the outburst. There was a few up. moments of silence, and I'm like, he's building a head of steam right now. He's gonna fucking go up. Well, do you like Why Diddy? I oh, <laughs> as long as you make me famous, it's fine. I'm gonna fucking abuse you, motherfucker. <laughs> he's gonna diddy you, motherfucker. I'm gonna diddy the fuck out you. I'm gonna oh, sole my butthole shut. <laughs> so black gang get in. Isn't that some shit on the Wu Tang Clan skit from the first hour? I'm, I'm gonna saw your 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 asshole shut. And keep feeding you, feeding you, feeding you, feeding you. Oh feeding my you. god! <laughs> now that you mentioned, I think it is. Holy shit! Oh, I wasn't classy, even thinking of that when man. I said it. I'll fucking, I'll fucking, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Fucking epic. Wu Tang Clan were wild back in the day. Oh, yeah, yeah one shit uh, had your Fisher Price, my first Timberlands or something. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, who's well? Everybody, anybody doing the poker tournament tomorrow? Chaka has a poker tournament. Who, Chaka? Yeah, giving away uh, Neko. Uh, Good. Um, first, first prize is like a hundred bucks in Neko. So, Chaka, what are the? How do you get in? Because I, I think I tried to register. Oh, you're probably, you're probably too late. Dude, this oh, shit always sells out. I don't know if it did this time, but this shit. It was only sold eighty-five out. earlier today, so you might be all right, bro. But you should check the socials, you ass. I did hey, no up, today. Pop? I went to I went check, to bro. his channel because normally on his um YouTube he's got it posted in the the description where you can click on the link for it. But I didn't go see in, it go on a Telegram, go on a Telegram, go on a Telegram, go on a Telegram, and then search for uh, Chaka. How on here? Puss poker. That's fun. Chaka poker marinara. What? Lord Kitty. Puss poker tomorrow. Okay. Bro, that's the, the wild puss of the West right there. Or the wicked puss of the West. Get on here, Chaka. Talk talk some uh your new shit. And by the way, where we at on let's let's see where we at on Pink Sale real quick. We are 800%. Lazy, you pulled that up quick. Were you about to pull over that up? Our, uh, over our... No, Dominic, I just anticipated what you wanted me to do, and I did it. A 4 .2. You fucking lying-ass bastard, you pop motherfucker. I can't believe you. I'm died. hoping this motherfucker gets up to, like, at least 40, if not 40. I'm hoping it gets a little closer to 50. I mean, you know, 80 would be cool. Where are we at? Yeah, you never know. We might get like a. We're at thirty-three soul push. right now. Okay. Almost, yeah. almost thirty-four. I think forty is a a pretty decent realistic. Guess, I would admit. Okay. Yeah. okay, I will take the winnings, bro. Don't feel bad. Play, win, and and give them to me. Okay. I'll pay you half. And what of whatever I of whatever you win, I'll pay you to do that. <laughs> okay, you're not wrong, bro. Not wrong. Do you see what else he said, Shaman? Yep. That really grinds Shaman's gears. <laughs> I knew that shit wasn't for me. That's why I was like bullshit. Because I I'm like going over. I'm hovering my finger over it, and it just like appears. It says remove. I'm remove. I don't even have it on screen. And I look up, it's like, boop. Fucking motherfucker. <laughs> uh, speaking of Austin, he hasn't he hasn't hung out with us for a while. Yeah, but he said we're not cool because we don't do short. That's true. It's true. Yeah, but have, have we been hanging out? He came. He was in the chat um a couple weeks ago, I think. Yeah, he did. He did drop by the chat for a little bit on one of our last couple of streams. I don't remember which one it was. Somebody came at him. Somebody. I'm not knowing what we're talking about. Platinum, what do you uh, you got? Shit, you're holding long term. Yeah, man. Um, I'm really watching the charts closely right now. I'm trying to see when things start coming back up. I don't want to catch a falling knife, but there's a lot of shit that looks juicy out there, man. All these blue chips, yeah. render, injective, optimism. It's a lot of things out there that I want to buy, man. I just just want to make sure I don't. You know, it don't go more down, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, you got 40, 50 percent like dumps over here. But I'm holding I'm I'm trying to hold mostly Bitcoin, man. Even though I get tempted to buy some altcoins, but I, I got a couple altcoins in my portfolio. Well, you know so what it, I've been I've been kicking around this idea. You know how you hear everybody's going to fucking base? Is base mm -hmm. a good thing to pick up right now? 
like as a as an investment, not like as a blue chip, with. not like yeah. right, right, not not can like you as buy, Solano. Can you buy no. base? Can you? Yeah, why you can't not? Put money in base, can you? Is there I a remember when that, that shit like it's out there. I remember when that shit came out, like there was a thing that um, I think it was Coinbase where I could have done something to get some base. I think it was something stupid like uh, messing with NFTs or something weird, which I just generally didn't do. So I never did it or whatever, but it was like they were going to give me like like 40 or 60 bucks in fucking base. And I was just like, oh. <laughs> well, I accidentally <laughs> cashed that was, something out. That was probably like a $2,000 mistake. <laughs> <laughs> right um i remember i accidentally cashed something out to ethereum wrapped in base and i didn't know what the fuck it was i just thought oh ethereum okay and but it was eth wrapped in base so that's i did but i didn't see i've never actually like seen a token just base token so i'm kind of with plat i didn't know if that was the actual token Dude, Coinbase gave me like twenty, like four dollars in ICP in like two thousand and nineteen or something, two thousand twenty, maybe the beginning of two thousand twenty, and I just like immediately sold it off. Dude, ICP <laughs> ran up in twenty. I know. I'm telling you that, that fucking twenty, you know, twenty four dollars or twenty two bucks, whatever it was. That could that's probably another two thousand dollar mistake. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> right. But that's so far ahead of time. You never know on that. Kind I, of know. That, I know. That'd be like back but in the day just, if you got like 10 shares of Microsoft before they went fucking parabolic. You know what I mean? But that was just there's, me going. There's no way instead, of, instead of just respecting that they just gave me that and it's like I didn't have to pay for it. I was just like, nope, let me cash this out. You know? Right. I would have done the same thing. Well, I probably wouldn't have, but. Yeah, you would have, I, man, because if they're giving still, you this money and then all this shit's running up and you've invested all your other shit and you're like, oh, bro, I really don't need this and I got free money right here. Dude, I, I have probably gotten probably 120 or $150 worth of free crypto from uh, Coinbase just from watching videos, doing surveys. Yeah, yeah, shit. I did. When I first got on there, I did. I did the same. I pro Well, not that much. I probably got like $25 all said and done of free shit. That's it. But it was I think right now, I think right now on mine, there's like sixty or seventy dollars worth of shit, but it's all weird stuff like yeah, downloading new. Now. Yeah, man, you like got to buy some, and then you got to like take out an account, and then buy an NFT and send it there, and then next thing you know, they refund all your money and then give you twenty five dollars on top of it or some shit. No, I did do that V chain one. I did that V chain. Yeah, I did that one too. Okay, yeah, V world. Yeah. Yeah. I never did ever go back in it or anything, but I did. I, did there. I just I just looked at it and I still don't want to go back in it cuz And there again, know. I just keep cashing these fuckers out. Actually, at the time I was just transferring <laughs> them like putting them into soul. So, but these could be other ones that are just like, yeah, you idiot. We gave you fucking $40 with that shit. Now it's worth you know, 5 grand. <laughs> it's like, damn it. I need to start just respecting that it's free and then I just should just like let it sit and do its thing. I mean, sometimes, yeah. Because I'm not cashing this stuff out and like going to the store and like buying stuff. Like I'm cashing out and putting it in like Solana or ETH or something. You know what I mean? It's like. Yeah, it's true. Why not? Why not diversify a little bit more? Yeah. Because that's, that's that goes back to my idea that I was saying about um, leaving some behind in, in Solana place, like cashing out just like 90 or 95 percent, just walking away. And there's at some point you're going to open up your wallet one day and be like, what the hell? One of them is going to like, you know, you leave enough of them behind. One of them is going to pop off like crazy. I don't know that that would outweigh leaving five percent behind each time. But. Like little moon bags, these Solana shit coins you talking about? Yeah, it's just like fucking scatter them. It's worth it if you, but you, if you choose the right projects, like um, something like Ponke, Slurf, maybe these things that yeah. seem like they have some longevity, you know? 
Yeah, even like if you're going to trade bonk or something like that, if you just trade it and then you end up making 50 bucks, or if you just take out 45 bucks and you go on your way, that five bucks at some point might be worth 25 or 30 bucks or something, you know what I mean? Which is crazy gains. It's just not like you didn't leave a whole bunch of money. Right? But if you scatter those, you just toss them out, you know. You'll have a whole bunch of those that might do that. Like, say, you might walk, wake up one day and have a couple extra grand in your shit. And you're like, damn, it paid off. I was trying to do that. I was leaving like five, ten bucks in all these different plays. So then I ended up pulling it out because I got rugged so fucking much these past two weeks, man. Like, yeah. I didn't even have money to fucking degen, bro. Like, I like degening like big amounts, but just de risking, you know, and getting out. Quick, once you're down 20, 30 percent, whatever. But now I'm like just trading ten dollars, twenty dollars. Did anybody else get airdrop smog this week? No. Airdrop away. I got like, I got airdrop like a dollar and seventeen cents worth of smog. It's like some little that fucking like, dragon or something. Is that like a scam, or are they just airdrop random wallets trying to get you to sell? I don't know. Like, I, I wouldn't know. touch it if it's if it's that. Yeah, small I don't. Amount. Touch I don't touch I don't touch those, but it I was just kind of curious. I haven't even looked into it, but I have gotten some of these that are just like legit shit that I got airdrop for whatever reason. Some of the stuff oh, is kind of weird. So some of the stuff I think is like somehow built into a contract because some of the shit I I actually purchased and traded before. And then all of a sudden I'll get an airdrop or something after I had sold off and not fucked it. I got I got Solana Beach airdrops. Never heard of it. Not enough money to care. All right. <laughs> Guess everyone's taking a break. Uh, we'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. <laughs> I should play a fucking hey, video. Who, said that. who the fuck is the sponsor? Um, let me see what I got here. Tom, you know, space. Uh, would have been, if we, we had a video, him? if we would have had a video, I could have uploaded a video and we could have done that. Yeah. Here we go. That's our, our sponsor. <laughs> and we're back how's everybody doing today okay oh you know what i do have the the neko thing on here everything else is degenerate shit shaman quit being an idiot we all know we're we're sponsored by fluffers.com <laughs> Platt is the CEO. So you can do that at any event. All right. Um, this is the type of girls who get you wrapped up in child support. <laughs> yes, they do. Yes, they do. Trust me. <laughs> oh, shit. It's been extremely hard to not get myself wrapped up in that shit with this one that I got now. It's all them damn yoga pants, you know what I mean? Wow. Well, Jesus Christ, Shaman. <laughs> oh, and I missed the best part because it's a uh, damn comments. Hey, you look at him play this other one. This one right here. Dude, oh, you ever seen that? You ever seen? Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen that chick uh, named like something like Lexi Pantera or something? Look that chick uh, up, man. Oh, I guess that I have. that's that's something else to watch. This uh, white chick that just like uh, like her whole thing is like these. Like twerking dance videos. They're pretty wild. 
Jeez, leave it a shaman to have a fucking dude taking his ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got other shit on here, bro. I got. I only got the other one for you. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you got a lot of shit there, bro. I gotta have something for everybody. He 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 gives us a woman shaking her ass, and then you know makes us think he's gonna keep doing that. And then here you go, he's a dick. You just mad because you got turned on by that ass first. <laughs> fucking fucking Michelle, know, fucking Michelle Obama on the screen. She was obviously a man from the get, man. That was it was kind of diesel. Uh, the reason it flapped around like that is because that is before plat fluffed it. Okay, it wouldn't flap around that way. It would be a little bit more stiff. Bro, I'm the CEO. I hire people like you to fluff dick, right? Whatever. No, no, shaman, no. Miss Obama. There's Miss right. Obama. Let me go yeah. serve some coffee. Fucking a. Oh yeah, I'll how you like your coffee? coffee? Straight black or with cream? <laughs> not straight black man not this time Do you let, need me a stir? See, let me check to see how many subs we've lost since shaman took control of the video bro we gained two viewers what the fuck are you talking about i'm not talking about viewers i'm talking about subs okay we gained two subs too <laughs> what no fucking way Oh, Jesus Christ, you're One, right. Two, three, baby. Do One, not two, encourage you, people. I want you to sub to us, but not because of Shaman's nonsense. God damn it. Uh, now we can go to the real commercial break if you want. Dude, hey, everybody on sub. Control panel, man. We absolutely need one of those. Press time. unsub. Everybody Out hit that unsub control. button. <laughs> 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 okay. Now Chalk is never going to speak to us again because we sullied his project. <laughs> you can't follow up the fucking thing you just put out. <laughs> okay, let's go. We gonna smack that ass on that hoe. <laughs> oh God! With the sexy red song, the Slim Cheese is uh, quoting over here. If I play the um the Neko song, Chaka's gonna give us a strike for copyright. So he probably will, and I wouldn't blame him at this point. <laughs> what do you guys think of that ticker thing on the website? What'd you call me? On the Meow Space website? I think it's pretty yeah. legit. I the only thing I want to do is click on them. Pull what up the website? Upload it. Well, up, see, up, and up, I, up. I couldn't figure out how to put it any lower than the header. For some reason, it would only let me paste the, the code in there. And so I think that's why you can't click on it. But I, I'll figure out how to get one down in the lower part uh, either later on at night or more. Tick, anyway, tick, tick. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Is it time for another one? I swear to Christ, if you do it again. What? Just don't. No, it's not time for another one? It's pretty cool, though, right? I think it's pretty badass. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? When, I put, a full when I put it... When I put it down lower in the website, I'll be able to make it bigger. And I, I think... Don't quote me, but I think you might actually be able to click on those and it'll take you to those. Not to really like invite people to like go on there to click off of our site, but <laughs> well, no, but I mean, that's why they're yeah. coming there to look, find new shit, so that's cool. I'm going to just scroll down through the website just so people can see it. Oh, look at that. Tokenomics, zero buy, zero sell. Tax. That's amazing. I oh, still yeah. I want to tax everybody, but whatever. Yeah, because you're a whore. trippy. I might take all that trippy look out, but I don't know. I think it's kind of I'd be fine if you took that. Hey, out. hey, Jack, what do you guys think about the um, trippy effects on there? I vote to take it out. I said, yeah. chat. I like if you're not in the fucking chat, shut the fuck up, right? Let me mute it so I can go in chat and 
There, there, there you have a voice, but here we don't vote. Okay, sir. Fucking asshole, man. I swear. You know what? I'm gonna the hyper shaman show is coming up. No more lazy shit, you know. I'm lying. I'm lying. Maybe we do a happy medium and like leave the first picture and take it off the other ones. What do you what do you mean? Oh, oh, yeah, let it do one of the pictures on the whole website. Um, but yeah, chat, put a put a one, put a one in there if you uh or okay, you could say leave it on or take it off. Yeah, there you go. That that works out. Take it off. F's take no it F's off. in the chat. F's in the chat. Get out the chat, Jedi. F's for fuck out of here and, and F's for uh fuck I, it, leave it on. I voted. I voted, okay. Get the fuck out the that's chat, everything. Jedi. Did you see what I voted on, Platt? Oh, yes. Yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he he only he only went to on the, the show. Lazy so Jones get... show, baby. Let's go. Hey, listen, he only wants you on so he can get fluffed before the show. Go I back mean, to Arkansas, Italy. man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's where we learned about fluffing. Okay, that's the land of fluffers. <laughs> they keep it in the family and shit. Yeah, that's how the Rothschilds do it, you know? So. Uh, don't want to pollute the bloodstream by having outsiders breeding in. Yeah, and then once we get on, a, um, you know, we're actually listed and shit, I can actually try to put like a buy thing, a buy button. So we can just click on it. <laughs> okay, MK came out swinging for free <laughs> shot. <laughs> <laughs> I could take Lacey's wrench away too, so it's not a big wow, deal. Wow, he could, he could, he he really could. He kind of holds the keys to the kingdom here. What what would happen if he boots you? It won't boot you out of the out of the stream. No, no, no. He just <laughs> kind of. Funny. In fact, he he can still I'm chat and everything. It. I think. No, yeah, you would still because your YouTube is connected to your chat, but it, so yeah, you wouldn't be able to chat no more on YouTube, but. He'd still be on here talking. That'd be fucked up if he kicked you off stream. <laughs> well, it wouldn't matter because me and Platt would go to our channel and we'd just talk shit about you. That's fine. <laughs> 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 when I see your project on Meow Space, I'll be swiping left, bitch. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> How dare you? Okay, now you crossed the line. Everything else was just fun. Shits and giggles, and now you've crossed. I thought the line. we were playing until you did that. Oh, my leg, my leg. Oh, shit. So yeah, that, that's, uh, why, that's why Platt's a better co host. He never complains about his legs. Do, do we ever figure out if Nick's still alive? I'm pretty sure. Nick, where are you? Nicholas. I'm pretty sure he's alive. Is, but... is he on? Is he still on the stream? I can't. My phone's. I can't. Yeah, his legs are, yeah, he, his legs are he's, numb, he, bro, from fluffing dick. <laughs> Being on his it knees. Takes, it takes a toll on you. When you're deflection. really good at what you do, it takes a toll on you. Get off your knees, you fucking faggot. <laughs> All that the blood deflection, rush back bro. down. <laughs> All that deflection from the number one fluffer. Cause you're the number one fucker. What? 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 You're the number, number one, one dick sucker. sucker. What? What? Bro, fluffing what? runs in your family. I'd rather my, fluff my than suck, bro. My granddaddy was fluff a fluffer. Suck. My great granddaddy was a fluffer, so I figured I'd be a fluffer. Carrying on the family tradition, really. The but yeah, fluffing. Nick is Nick is it's still the on family the, tradition, mother fluffer. Nick is still on the panel, but we haven't heard from him for quite a while. So we're all fluffing my baby. Fluff daddy. Fluff daddy. Man, I got a fucking gummy that's kicking in. 
Hell yeah, bro. Do a jumping jack. Um, why? Uh, just because it was the wrong thing to say. <laughs> I didn't know if I, I, you know, I'm not as well versed on this stuff. Does that help it like kick in faster or is it just a fun thing to say, Shaman? No, actually, you're probably going to boost your adrenaline a little bit, which will probably bring your high down. Well, not with a gummy, though, so I don't know. Well, you, you know, me. like, when you when you smoke and you cough, it makes you high faster. Like, it's like it gets it through your body faster for whatever, probably because you're just... Like, no, like, I used to work out. I would smoke and work out, but, like, I would say, if anything, like, it made you work out a little bit harder because the weights felt a little heavier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they do. You know how when you get high, like time slows down a little bit. Sometimes, yeah. Not always. Yeah. Sometimes speeds up. Know for for me, it kind of slows down a little bit. When like once my like when I take gummies and they kick in, I'm like, holy shit, it's so late from when I started doing whatever and or watching a movie. I'm like, oh, I've been watching for ten minutes and it feels like I've been watching the same movie for two hours. I'm like, this movie's got to be almost over. It's like basically past the opening credits like oh everything slows down a little bit for me but i don't do it every day like you do shaman so i don't know i don't know if that goes away or if you remember back when you first started partaking in the thc if you had that same thing but for me it always slows shit way down shaman what's that up to i can't see it either Okay. Well, can't you see? Okay, as you see, you belong to me. I feel like we're on one of those um those infomercial things where they're like call in, call in guys. We got your orders right now. Uh, you know the, the charity things going on for this much longer. Oh, oh, have you seen the? Okay, I just wow. saw a couple of videos on it. But there's this chick that like excited. they literally it's like like one of those home shopping network type things, but like she just shows the product for like half a second and like, Oh yeah, I've heard I've seen them. Yeah, she made like awesome. million she makes like buku fucking bucks just like she like and like the way she goes through that, like she holds up the product, throws it the next one, boom, throws it up, whatever it's a shirt, a fucking blow dryer, whatever, all kinds of variety of products that she makes like millions of dollars like a month or a million dollars a month or something like that. Like crazy amounts, if not a million, like hundreds of thousand dollars a month. It's almost like the, the MPC thing when that became I call a thing. Bullshit. I call bullshit. I think it's a psyop. I hate that word. Dude, there's a new game show that I saw a post for on Twitter the other day, and I haven't seen it yet, but I know that I would be fucking awesome at this game. But it's this fucking game show, like over in like Germany or some shit, where the whole they like all start, they all they all start overseas and then they make their way to America. Yeah. So the this whole thing is like cutting stuff exactly in half. So like cutting like a pretzel exactly in half, and they weigh like both the sides and shit. Oh, but then it, they'll just move on to just like random items, you know, like trying to cut different things in half. Dude, that would be Dude, so interesting. I would get, I would watch that for hours on gummies. But they, but they just I have to eyeball it. Right? They can't. They have no way yeah. of like. Yeah, yeah, they're just kind of like, yeah, just kind of like moving the knife back and forth, trying to figure out which one would weigh, you know, how they cut it, how exactly how would they cut it to make it weigh the same uh, that's actually kind of a fun concept and their whole thing is like and i don't know like how often this actually happens it could just be that they showed you the couple times that it happened throughout the whole fucking series but you know they'll show like the people where they lay it on the scales and they're exactly the same you know it's like damn <laughs> that's crazy but yeah. i always was like i had it like tried <laughs> Doing shit like that, anyways. Like when I cut stuff, like cakes and shit like that, I always wondered. I'm like, man, if I weighed these motherfuckers, I bet you I'd be right. On. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why wait for them to bring it overseas? Okay, we could just we we could we could make something of that. Oh, yeah. I know. We start doing it on a stream. Hashtag goals. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. 
we do our own YouTube version of it on a show. We just create right. our own show. Oh my god, everybody in the chat just stop talking. I left. The last thing we have is MK threatening to boot me. <laughs> Did I get booted and nobody told me? No. <laughs> You're like three hours in. So you about what a third of the way through your show. <laughs> well, um, Barely. Barely. Oh, most of the viewers are on. Gay. <laughs> okay, wait. We got. We got. We got. This is not gay. Slim. <laughs> oh man. Hey, hey. We're giving out uh, meow space tokens for comments. Really? Oh, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Really? <laughs> to, keep, to keep the chat rolling. <laughs> Nobody got the memo. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, uh, it's dead in here. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> that was like a legit cat fucking screech. Quit fluffing the cat, shaman. <laughs> Where'd Platt go? You know when he's off quiet, he's fluffing something. He's off to fluff the magic dragon. <laughs> fluff the magic dragon. Oh my god, that's Platt's new nickname. Fluff the magic dragon. <laughs> man, fuck yeah, man. Oh, yeah, see, that, that brought him fluff back to life. We just fluffed him back to life. And we didn't even touch his, his peanut gland. Fluff the magic dragon. Fluffed by the sea. I was looking at charts. with you. <laughs> Is that what you were doing? Right he fluffs me. <laughs> That's what you call it now, huh? <laughs> like your code words. <laughs> I was looking at all those huge Shrek dicks, and they didn't even need me to fluff them. I felt irrelevant for a minute. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh, All right, no. still at, still at 33. All right. All right. So is this how much you guys um were hoping for? Because I know you guys expected more than four soul, right? Well, you know, like oh, yeah, yeah you know, at the same time, you know, I mean uh what? Yeah. Yeah, we just put the small we didn't want to people to think we're just in it to try to get like a money grab. We were going to launch it anyways. You know what I mean? But people, so many people were hitting us up to get in on it. So it's like we might as well open up a pre-sale. And there's a lot of congestion. So it kind of gives everybody the chance to actually get in at the launch price. You know what yeah, I mean? the, the pre-sale thing kind of came not out of nowhere. I wouldn't say it just as we were talking more. It made more sense to do it. And we didn't have like a huge expectation but we just wanted to give it a little bit more time give more people time to get in and i mean the more money that we raise from pre-sales going to be more money for marketing and it's going to be good for the project but like if this thing ended right now i'm happy with what we got you happy with the five grand yeah i mean yeah we were just going to do a regular launch and that would have been nothing up front yeah because you know? But our, uh, like our portion of that would actually end up covering like the text tools updates, um, text mm -hmm. screener, you know, shit like that. So it's like, and then the launch, you know, the I wish we could have launch. put a zero at the end of that too, though. It's just 4.2 and it should be 420, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I know. Yeah, it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't let me. I, of course, of course it wouldn't. Why would it? I was like, damn it. <laughs> but I mean, anybody with half a brain knows what we're going for. I mean, we wanted a pre sale, but we wanted it very low bar thing. You know, like we, this is basically one step up above just launching it with no pre sale. This helps us with a little bit of extra funds, but not much. And that's cool with us because it gave us more time to promote it as well. And either way, we're going to have fun with it. And we hope that. Even like, cause there's a lot of people that don't like pre-sales 
and we knew that going in. Um, so there's a lot of people that are probably going to watch, and then at launch, hopefully, we'll throw a little bit in. And then there's like you know, 50 wallets. Like almost, you know, there's like yeah. almost 50 wallets, so that's like 50 there, and then we got our partnership with Chaka and stuff, so that's another, you know, 30 or so. So there's like going to be at the launch like 80, 90 maybe holders at launch. So it's like. And to be honest, I'm pretty decent. so excited about this. Like it's, you know, something we did came from our brain. We're putting it out there and we're going to work hard to make it as successful as it's going to be. And it's going to take community involvement and hopefully we've keep building that community hopefully people keep getting excited about it and it's fun i don't give a shit either way i'm excited about it and our pre-sale like i said with our expectation we didn't really know what to expect but either way it was gonna just be a random launch and now it just gave it more time to gain a little bit of traction and i think it did gain more traction than what it would have if we had just launched it last weekend so, yep, let the good times roll. Let's go. Everything's aligning. You guys got, exactly. a, got a roadmap? Is there a roadmap? Or? No. Yeah, but we lost it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we we yeah, so, need a map to get back to our roadmap. Yeah, we're trying to. Um, I'll get that on there tomorrow. It's um, we had to switch websites because I I just made the other one on Canva and I couldn't get my the domain to link to it. That was, well, I, was fucking, I was fucking looking for that roadmap on the on the space. I'm like clicking through shit. I'm like, where's the fucking roadmap, son of a bitch? I was gonna say, yeah. I know I know we had one laid out. Yeah. And, um, with the I'll get it on there. Yeah. It's all good. I thought I, but yeah, we should have it because people are going to be asking as soon as I know. start buying it. That is one thing that I did forget, but I'll get it on there. Where in the world gotta... is the um the app launch? Do you have that in there, or when people, you know, it, it is in there. That's more towards, you know, I would say the end because that's going to be yeah, that most of the money. Right? Yeah, it takes a lot of money, so that's a, and time. That's a to let everybody Thing know time too. The, this project a lot of it is based on community you know if the community really wants the app and wants to invest in getting the app done then that's that's how you get invest in getting it out quicker basically because we'll keep working on it but it's going to take a lot longer if we don't you know have something to help you know fund the way that's the whole you know? yeah and play again well, we got we got a roadmap from uh, one of the uh, well, it was a couple of the companies um, that would build like you know something like this, and that's actually a kind of a lengthy process. It's like anywhere from like four to six months um, for like total completion of it. So yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take a little while. Yeah, so program. up front this yeah. this is but this but we is, do have we do have little things along the way to you know keep things going but it's you know, just like not time just, to okay. build holders and and build community and all that stuff hopefully this thing pops off we can get moving on it for sure once once you guys have the app um for it to be successful, you probably have to have a lot of buy-in, right? Because people actually have to be willing to go on there and put the projects on there and actually utilize it. Well, one way yeah, that we can it... get some interest at the beginning, if people aren't just jumping on there, is you know we go ahead and maybe make a, a profile for you know the the crypto, right? And then we tell the project, hey, you know we made one a profile for you. And we do that for a few projects, you know, and before you know it, it'll be something that people will start using. Yeah, and you know, and this thing, it's it's being launched as a meme, you know, I'm a kind of a goofy meme coin thing with Tom and Jerry or Tom anyways. And like a reference to MySpace kind of I mean, I mean as a shit. standalone meme project but, on its own, I think I think it's great. I think it's a great yeah. concept. Um, and, and so down the, the line, is, if if it mm -hmm. if this thing pops off, 
like we'll we'll get an opportunity to you know venture off into doing the app but you know for the time being we're we're launching this thing as a meme coin Hmm. and we're just going to ride it and hopefully we it like i said it pops off and whatever but that's we um, have a very real legitimate concept that we could materialize down the road but realistically speaking if the community's not buying in then yeah it's going to be really challenging for us to fund the project is really yeah. what it comes down to i mean that's that's the basis of any project though right if that chart isn't pumping then there's no money coming into the project yeah so you I'll know it so just kind of, kind of just uh, depends on how uh how this uh how this thing rolls so so that's why we're focusing on the launch and you know especially with um solana getting an update on monday is what it is right i mean that's gonna help there's so many projects that are struggling on solana right now because of the congestion like new projects in particular like a lot of pre-sale a lot of other things too so like we're launching right before the update so hopefully you know even if our launch is kind of sideways like we're waiting for we're doing it right before the Solana update so that that's going to help all solana projects and i don't know i'm pumped i think it's gonna do fine you know, I think it's going to, you know, it's going to be what the community wants it. And I don't want to make any excuses for it. It's something we've put all the time that we can gather together into it. And it's a fun fucking project. And we're going to keep doing yeah. spaces. We're going to keep talking about it. And we're going to grow it to the best. Of our and nobody can predict what their token's going to do. I mean, some of the top ones I've seen coming off pink sale that have raised hundreds of thousands if not into the millions tank early on and some of the ones that didn't really do a lot they start building traction and building momentum like it's i don't know i'm 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 excited to see where it goes i really am (laughs) and i think that we're not letting up so it's all we can do you know keep we're gonna keep pushing it we if it ever it. does end up just turning make into, other people believe in it. if it ever end up turning into like an app in the you know down the line, how the uh, token will benefit is there's going to be opportunities for us to put our you know meow space in front of whoever we want because it's going to be an app where people are using and flipping through it, swiping through it, and we'll have the ability just like to put ads or whatever, you know, for that token. And, and whereas like it would be income generating for, for other uh, tokens to pay us or whatever, to maybe put ads or something on there. But for the token for meow space, that wouldn't cost them. We would just, it it would just be done. So that's how, that's, that's how the community would benefit. You know, down the yeah, line, that ever turned ideas, into an app. A lot of different ideas on how to uh, uh, bring in revenue through the app, like yeah. to put it back into the token, basically. So it, when you know whatever comes out of that ends up going right back into it. Yeah. So so it's like it's like a cool meme coin thing, that, you know, with tying a couple different uh, genres together, or whatever, and with a crazy plan that if it works out in the end it would be crazy cool and super useful and i think it'd be fucking awesome well the thing is next friday we'll be talking about it again and we'll have a lot more information on what the salon updates are what the market conditions are yeah. everything wrapped around it but i mean with our pre sales it's something that I'm pumped about because I was like, okay, well, if we get to like 2025, I'll be excited. We're at 33 right now. There's still 13 hours left. <laughs> I mean, so when you ask about what, what our expectations were, that's over like the higher end of the ballpark from what I, because I mean, we, we don't have huge funds to put into like a bunch of people like, 
all channels and all that and we don't want to we just want it to like be a legitimate launch and we thought this would give us a little bit of an extra step up for our launch and we we know how much work is going to go into making this thing a success and we're here for it so and we actually have t discussed uh some kind of uh outside of the norm uh kind of marketing ideas too so oh, yeah we, we we have we we got a lot of no, it's we, called innovative how many hours okay Johnny, yeah. Eric, how many hours have we spent talking texting dming about yeah. this like it's almost like the show is going to be like we're just going to put this up and then talk about other things because this has consumed us <laughs> it's almost yeah. not, which i i'm we're happy to talk about it or whatever but it's just like it's kind of what we've been living and breathing for a little bit now and something that we're going to continue to, but um, it's like, we're prepared for every scenario. Yeah. And I mean, we're going to be here, you know, like we're not, we have our liquidity locked through pink sale. I get that's so an issue for some people or whatever, but at the same time, we're, we're here to make it work. And it's, it's a fun we got, project. And we got plans for the um like for telegram for rating and you know the whole get paid to raid thing that um mm -hmm. Chaka has on, on his. He said he was gonna hook us up with uh his dude. And so we're gonna get that rolling. Um some stuff like that. And even some, if not, uh, I, got a second, I got a second guy too. I got a second thing we can use, but I like I like the bunk bot. I think that's cool. Okay. Right. And that's the thing too. Like, okay, so right now it's still in pre-sale. So it's like, it's hard to like, I wouldn't say hard, but it's like the marketing is going to take a different form once it actually launches. And this thing is live and we're looking at charts and we're going on different things, doing spaces, all that. Like, you know, we're, we're trying to like put it out there with our pre-sale as much as we can. But like, once it goes live again, that's, a whole nother leg up on the marketing it, things shift at that point and we're ready for it and we have a lot of people that we've been talking to that are on board to to work with us you know other projects that we want to cross promote with that we're going to reach out to and that you know there's just a lot of shit in the pipeline and it's exciting and it's a lot to like some of it we're like in the infancy of what we're doing with partnerships and different things like that so until it's official but we just know we're fucking here for it next friday we're gonna be talking about this goddamn project again it's our project we're here we're doing it and it's not, gonna be not fun. the whole show but well you know you're gonna get updates yeah 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 well i mean yeah, six hours, we, we could not it's talk about this for six hours no project on planet earth is worth six hours of content Shinja <laughs> was a single one Shinjo. 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 <laughs> that's that's your go-to. That's what you pull out. Fucking Shinjo. bro, when they when they were like, you gotta be, you gotta be every night, man. Well, like, why you gotta be in the, the chat to win? It's like fuck it, I'm out. Wasn't like honest, Bolt doing like 24 hour streams for a while? I'd rather get a shit. job with Platt fluffing people than talk about a single project for six hours. <laughs> I'm the number two. <laughs> Well, that scoot over. I'm gonna fluff this one for a bit. <laughs> you take a break. <laughs> uh, whatever, whatever happened to that motherfucker that ran off? The um, that dude over there, Cliff? Shinja. Yeah, Cliff. Cliff I don't know. He probably. Took I, know, I know he said that he had like a hell thing. And the, he it was like in his best interest, to whatever. Yeah, but he got he got sick with Phil I was, Rich. Yeah, I was I always figured there was more to the story, and somebody like a Faltron or something was going to peel it apart or something at some point. Someone was um they put up um some kind of like uh, like they were suing him or something, taking him to court. They showed the papers on on Twitter, but I don't remember who it was. Maybe it was Faltron. Really? I don't know what happened with that. Yeah. Well, Wonder you know, what happened. Gets drawn out and extended, and you know, it's all fucked up with lawsuits and shit. 
they might have settled out of court. Yeah, probably. I always wonder what actually happened to Sandstorm. Bro, yeah, for real. Because after he started I the know. um after he started the uh sports slash um car channel. Well he, just, he did that. He just, he started promoting that whatever Saitama V3 or whatever it was, and then everybody pretty much accused them of being the developer of that. And I don't know if he was or not. I, don't, I didn't really pay too much attention to it, but it was shortly well, after that he, he get, started saying he was. He, he started for, saying though. he was getting sued. Yeah, he started saying oh, I'm getting sued and this and that. And it was something over the... Um, he broke some kind of non-disclosure agreement with one of the contracts he has promoted. Clear cryptos. Yeah, it was like they, that okay. one that they all were involved in. Like all clear cryptos. Yeah, all yeah. those motherfuckers. It was the clear and, cryptos. Yeah. Okay, so, but he basically blasted it after he signed a non-disclosure, so he got... That's what my understanding... May, I could be completely fucking... But I don't know that that actually happened or what happened, because it can all happen at the same time he did this or was at least accused of being the, the, the V3 deal or whatever. It was. Yeah, he had, he had his own little call channel that you could pay $15 a month to be a part of. We are talking like about? We are talking uh, about? Sandstorm. Oh, Sandstorm? A, a blast from yeah. the past. He's in jail, no? Isn't he in prison? Is he? For beating his wife? No, they oh, got I divorced, know. I think, but I don't think he, he might have got He might have got arrested maybe. for that, though. Let's pull it up. I have no idea. Pull it up. How do you pull, pull that up? up? What am I supposed to Google? Sandstorm YouTuber? Nobody fucking knows about him. <laughs> What's his name? What's his uh, last name, guys? Storm. Brian. <laughs> Brian Storm. <laughs> Suck. Suck. That was a fucking good one. <laughs> What's his last no. name? Storm. <laughs> His first name Sand. <laughs> hey, hey! Did anybody ever? Did anybody ever uh, see his? Uh, see his chick? Uh, her OnlyFans or whatever? Anybody no, ever I it? never saw it. No, supposedly I just, he I was just, fisting her, bro. Well, I used to hear people talking day, about but... shit, but I never did see anything. Oh my god, what's never his name? It. Used to fucking go hard on him all the time. Um, smoke Ponzi scheme. Ponzi yeah. Slayer. Ponzi Slayer. Even Smoke Man would go after him, bro. Yeah, dude, Ponzi went nuts on him. <laughs> they were always funny videos too. And then, then um, Sandstorm would talk shit on his live streams about Ponzi. It was such a fuck. The, the back in the day, some of the first crypto feuds. <laughs> it was just some crazy shit going on back then. Yeah, it was. <laughs> but yeah, he always used to talk about her OnlyFans and oh, well, you getting fisting your old lady on fucking for money and blah blah, blah. <laughs> yeah like, but that's why you don't know bro. if he was really doing it or if they were just I'd, you know saying no that. idea if it was true or not it was just funny to hear the back and forth between i, the I two. think sandstorm admitted to it being true like that's he had no thing. shame in it he had no shame about it Oof. he was fisting his woman on only fans oh my god <laughs> that's way worse know. than fluffing does that make you feel better about things platt to the elbow, bro. <laughs> to the elbow. <laughs> I'm saying if he ain't double Lord. fisting, it ain't, it ain't fisting, you know? Shit. He was going to wrap his fucking tractor trailer in Saitama graphics. <laughs> it was like Saitama if it was really could have been something, man. Well, that really could have been something. Was- Ponzi it was something like that he got he got his trucker's license taken away, and that's why he had to do YouTube. That's what a big thing he used to talk shit about him for. I don't know if it's true at all. I don't know if any of that shit's true. I just know that that's the shit they used to talk to each other. Straight drama. Ponzi was funny as fuck, man. Ponzi's had me laughing on Twitter all the time. Yeah, Ponzi cracked me up too. I think yeah, he's very, aggressive, right? very aggressive person. <laughs> <laughs> nah. But yo, that dude, that dude fucked up, almost fucked up Kimbo Slice, man. <laughs> dude, that that was a good that fight, though. Could... I think that it was. Four, it was it a was. four round fight. And don't get me wrong, um, Kimbo won, but he held like not many people made it through a full fight with Kimbo, and he did. And he was a lot smaller than Kimbo, too. Like they were both. You know, big dudes, but like Kimbo was big, big, and like no, if you I had watch no idea, those two, 
I had no idea yeah. that was the guy. Like, that's the guy who fought Kimbo. Because I've seen that fight when it happened back in the day. I had no idea that's who Ponzi was. I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, I, I found it afterwards. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it was a good fight. And, um, I mean, Kimbo clearly won it. But, again, that size difference is pretty, you know, because when it comes to, like, heavyweight fights, too, they're, it's different than any other weight class because heavyweights have a range where, like, if you're at, you know, middleweight, or light heavyweight, it's 205, it's 185. I'm talking about UFC because that's the only weight class I know by heart. But um, you know what I mean? Like heavyweight, you can be anywhere from 230 to like 275. Like if you got 20 pounds on a guy, that's a big weight differentiation. You know, like if you and like if you look at those two next to each other, like Ponzi had he was a much smaller fighter makes a big difference and he held his own he held his own so it was a badass man yeah i wouldn't fuck with him not at all Yeah, rest in peace, Kimbo Slice. How did he die? Was it heart problems or what? I think so. He died from lack of life. Yep, yep. Thanks, Shaman. Is Whoa. it his son fighting? His son was fighting. I don't know. Oh, he really? Of amateur or what? Yeah, <laughs> his son is fighting in MMA. I think. I don't know. Well, the crazy thing out. too, like with Kimbo, like he was such a great striker, but like. In the UFC, anybody with any kind of like wrestling background or jujitsu background, he didn't stand a chance because he hadn't been training for that. Like he was just a fucking street fighter that was a badass. Because there was a there was some backlash on the UFC a little bit for having Kimbo. Like, why are you putting this street fighter up there? It was because he's a legit boxer. Like he was really good well, at if it. He's legit, he, if street fighting, he, he did street have fighting world, could be its own skill, you know. Its own. Yeah, but style. the thing is. For ultimate fighting championship, you got to have a little bit more of a well rounded game. And he was actually training, you know, when he went into UFC or was getting serious about it. Like, he actually did hire, like, he had trainers, like, trying to round out his game a little bit. Um, but, you know, the thing is, most of the people, by the time they get to the UFC, they've been doing that shit since they were early teens, you know, wrestling, jujitsu, some kind of martial arts. And a lot of times, multiple forms you know and like so like he already walked in at such such a disadvantage compared to any other fighter because you know the the minute people went for his legs or anything like that's when he kind of crumbled a little bit because like he's not used to leg kicks he's not used to all this shit he's used to just punching people and he was great at that so i mean Dude, do you ever see these street fights like out in the middle of the street, like New York or something? And they'll just be like some dude and they'll be squaring up and they'll just have like one dude and he'll just like keep on kicking the dude in, the, in like the thigh or something. Pow. pow yep. Pow. And it's effective. And all of a sudden, dude's it's like, like than you fucking after realize. like six or eight of them, the dude starts kind of like limping. And then the dude's just like, well, okay. On him. Not only exactly like, okay, so you not only does it hurt like a motherfucker, but also when you're punching, you're putting so much weight on your legs and you're like, it takes away all your punching power. If your legs are compromised like that. So if you're getting the shit kicked out of your legs, you don't. Okay. Well, you're not getting knocked out by leg kicks. Well, there's been professional fights that have been won by just leg kicks because somebody's just, they're not, they don't check the kicks. You know, you know how they check the kicks. They lift their leg to absorb the blow. So it's like, obviously still hurts but it's not you're not taking that impact but some people that are holding all their weight on their fucking legs when they're taking those leg kicks it just like your body it like it hurts so bad and it can fuck you up so bad like it's crazy it to absorbing, see you know you absorb the kick you know that's that's not good no you you want to you want to lift your legs so you don't have it grounded and all your weight on it and it's crazy to watch fights that have been won just by leg kicks and there's more than you think. It's crazy. But yeah, yeah so like, when like somebody like, three, Slice, like seven. Oh, not, not even seven. Like 
continuously no, throughout I'm the fight. Fucking around, like, bro. You, fucking around. Fucking around. You go for a punch, and then you, so they're blocking, and they're just squared up, and you kick them right in their fucking leg as hard as you can on the side where it kind of. Oh man. That shit can we talk about? Can we talk about how Steve has been the rudest Canadian tonight in the Steve chat? Is absolutely the rudest Canadian we've had in the chat. What do you do now? What do you say? He left the chat while Jesus was asking a question to him. Very rude. Not very Canadian of him. Not at all, Steve. I'm sick of your shit. Get it together. No, sir. For you, sir. Basically doing what you guys do, ignoring the chat. Shut the fuck up, bro. That's what I do. That's <laughs> why I pay Shaman. Shaman's here for the chat. Man, they're in there talking about sourdough bread and all kinds of stuff. For real? Fuck that gluten. Oh, that's why Shaman stopped reading the chat. He can't read it if it's got gluten in it. That shit, it gets in my system. Mm -hmm. He can absorb it through his eyeballs. It's a autoimmune thing. Mm -hmm. Run till that. What it's TG you in, Steve? What TG that. you talking about? It's called Telegram, sir. Which group? Then what? <sighs> yeah, I wonder how many groups it says I'm in. Somebody should check my profile. You know how when you hit it, it shows you all the groups are in. Or is you that one of those people that 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 lays awake at night wondering how many databases am I in? No, I'm That's probably in like all of them, bro. I'll be getting those like, oh, you have a, a package at USPS and shit. Twitter on the Twitter, Twitter's coming back alive. We got my Twitter. Dude, some of these people are like hunting me down on Telegram. They'll be like over in Chaka's like uh, new token shit, and they'll be like, "Hey, Soul Train, go check your DMs." I'm like, "What the fuck?" So I go in my DMs, and like then they're over on on the neck of one, like, "Hey, Soul Train, go check your DMs," and it's like the same shit. It's like about some ETH play or something. I'm like, "Dude, the fuck?" It's like. Get the fuck alone, man. You take Big Nick out of here, man. That motherfucker's passed up. No, nah, he's he's just listening, you know, observing. That's all. He's sleeping, bro. He Nighty night, nighty night, Nick. Hashtag night, night, night. Big Nick, yeah, Muppet fucker. <laughs> oh, I want to show my NFT, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I kind of like it. Yo, y'all heard about this uh this gummy airdrop that's coming from uh crypto band to the dropping a meme coin? All you gotta do is utilize their uh banter bubbles website. Hmm. The more you, the more heard... you keep, keep the page open, like I just keep it open on the side when I'm doing whatever on the computer. Like right now, I got that shit open right now, banter bubbles, and it's just my airdrop is just increasing just because I have the website open. Thanks for telling me now about it. You got wow, nine days bro. left, man. Yeah. You got nine days. And how long you been using it? For a while. I'll be telling y'all shit. Y'all don't pay attention. Y'all don't really care. So <laughs> I'm, like, uh, I'm like, whatever. You don't be, be listening. Me. You be telling, you be saying some shit to the group while I be on vacation or at work or some shit. They went out here to shit. Shaman, at Shaman, here's some free fucking money. You don't, you don't do that. But I be at platinum on my Arkansas and stuff and talk, bro. I be I be at platinum, don't I? I at platinum, motherfucker. I'm grateful. A lot of times I read this shit and I'm just like, man, like I gotta go around and do what? And connect more wallets and stuff and like. Dude. Nah, this one's simple though, bro. You just go to Banter Bubbles, the website. Um, you know what that is, right? They just they they basically copied off of the old bubbles. Uh site that shows you all the green and red bubbles where the market's at at any given moment oh yeah i know yeah. the site you're talking about with that yeah yeah so you just go to banter bubbles, bubbles and you just synchronize your twitter with with the website so as long as you're logged in through your twitter on there you just your airdrop keeps going up as long as you have the website open and you're and you engage with it every now and then just click there click here and there whatever 
Man, I swear to God, I that's swear to God, if this takes me to some gay porn site, I'm going to beat the fuck out of you, dude. Well, at <laughs> least you'll see Shaman Dox for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> that's where he's doxed? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that? I, I thought out, my please. microphone was on mute. I didn't mean to say it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> Shaman's befuddled. He doesn't even know how to respond. <laughs> Yo, so do we want to? Do we want the wedding cake or the Afghan goo? What the fuck? Uh, nobody's marrying you, Shaman. You dirty whore. <laughs> <laughs> so Shaman, have you really? Have you really been married a couple times? <laughs> how many times, Shaman? Three? No, nah, I don't. I don't get married. I just divorce a lot. <laughs> I ain't a play. Three I times? just fuck a lot. Two times. Um, yeah, twice, bro. How many dicks? Man, none. <laughs> just mine. I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine going through a divorce again. Man, I ain't paying shit. I mean, when you're sword fighting, somebody's gonna lose, right? Ching 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 ching. I mean, that's kind of the ultimate goal. Well, I don't oh, know. Shit. He lost a lot of sword fights. The fancy, the fancy <laughs> term is fencing. He's he's a he's a fencer. It's a fencer. An avid fencer. <laughs> avid. And, yeah, and you know, and uh, Platano's a defenser. D's for dick. Okay. Oh, look, Good Maddie time. got jokes Good now. Try. Maddie got jokes. Maddie got jokes. <laughs> Wait, what what did class. Maddie say? Fucking, oh, oh, Shaman's married when we meet When him. we meet to him. <laughs> <laughs> Shaman married when we meet dude, to him. This dude busts me up all the motherfucking time, man. Like his posts and Maddie shit. Knows. Like he cracks me straight to fuck up. Maddie's oh, funny as fuck, man. Maddie's awesome. Maddie, thank you for being here and bring it. Bring fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're cool. Fuck you. I'm out. Wait, whose dick were you saying you're cool to? Not yours. I mean, I'm glad, but I'm hurt at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Not that it was ever an option, but if it were, I don't like to be turned down still. It still hurts. The rejection starts. Yeah, yeah. I mean, never would have gave it up for him, but you know, just to know he didn't want it. Wow. Wow. Crazy. 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 Fucking crazy. I like to think <laughs> I can handle it, Maddie. It's all good, bro. It's always all good. <laughs> <Shopping>. <laughs> <We meet him. laughs> it doesn't stop being funny every time I read it, I laugh again. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie be busting bleeps balls. Busting in your mouth or just busting in, you know? Where are these balls busting at? Oh, I thought bleeps was, was going to unfollow me after I trolled him, man. <laughs> Wait, when did, you, when, when did you troll bleeps? Remember when I was trolling him a few months back and I, I put it in the group chat? I think it was Rackets group chat. Well, then I don't remember it, do I? Oh, not you. I'm not talking to you, <laughs> I'm talking to Jedi. Jedi actually responded to it in the chat. I, I, actually, I don't remember. What, what was it? What did you do? I don't, to rem I don't remember, bro. I just remember I was trolling him and I put it in the chat. And I thought he was going to block me after that. He got really riled up and he started pulling out like my history of promoting like shit tokens that i was in or whatever oh shit now that you yeah, mentioned that yeah that. he he did he did try to put you on blast for that and he, was like, like, what he, the fuck he had time that day bro <laughs> started going shit, down i remember you program. saying something about that i fuck. yeah no like yeah platt trolled him pretty good I'm like okay because you know a lot of times believes doesn't respond to that kind of shit a lot of influencers won't but he he got a response if you get a response you know you rub them the wrong way even he dug, he dug into my history, bro. He went way back, like two, three years back. 
Fuck, I'm trying to Who remember what you were trolling Who on. Yo, you you the, my bro, uh, you yeah, he's like, oh, me. but you were you were promoting this project and you're calling like he was basically Bro, whatever you said, you, you must have really like you know, mm -hmm. put two fingers up his ass or something, bro. Cause for yeah. I don't I don't remember point. what you said, Platt, but I know I that it was, it was it was a pretty good it was you went at him pretty hard. Like it was a pretty good one to I mean clearly. He responded to it, so it had to have been good. But I remember just reading it before he even responded. It was it was pretty hard. But I was poking at him for like a whole yeah. week. It was like the third time I came at him. He had enough. <laughs> he came at me. But he ain't he ain't stop following me. And then like the funny thing is a couple of days later, he starts posting like some some stupid post saying like if if what was it? It was some shit like I'm gonna I'm on following people or some shit like that. Oh, what was it, man? I can't even remember, bro. <laughs> can't even remember. Forget it. It was just some shit about on following people. And I and, and I and I started questioning why you ain't on following me, bro. He was just ignoring me. Anyways. I don't think Tons he follows me. <sighs> Pretty sure he doesn't. I think he still follows me, that fucking cocksucker. If I'm being honest, though, I give Bleeps credit for not unfollowing you. You know, a lot of those influencers just block people because they don't want, because they get probably a ton of shit in their DMs, so they just block people. But <clears throat> the fact that he just kind of gave you shit back and didn't block you or anything, I give him props for yes. that. That's what kind of gets me mad because the reason I do it because I want to get blocked. It's like, it's like exactly. I put it on my wall, you know? See, he didn't even give me the satisfaction you were he looking for. He didn't even for. give me the satisfaction, that fucking bitch. I mean, I got blocked by Celsius, bro, before they went bankrupt for calling them out. Calling them out on their bullshit. They went bankrupt like a couple weeks later. You did it, bro. It's your fault, you fucking asshole. Keep your shit to yourself. It's you all fucking... because you, if you'd have kept your comments to yourself, they'd still be a thriving business. <sighs> Two things on. you're good at, fudding and fluffing. Fudding and fluffing. That's <laughs> 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 oh, just never going to get old. Yep. Just like Shaman's faggot. Faggotry won't ever get old. Just faggot you escapades. Love, you love this faggotry. You wish I did, bro. Yeah, that silence. Always really trying to me. fluff me. Do you guys need to start your own private little stream or what's going on here? No, he likes people to watch. Oh. Well, a lot of us don't want to watch, though. That's the thing. Well, it's not about you guys, okay? It's about everybody 32 else. people says so different. Well, once you start in on your really inappropriate stuff, they're gonna they're gonna flip on some other YouTube channel, okay? Maddie gets blocked by Kelbell. Why? What do you do to Kelbell? I don't know, but I remember when him and uh, Faltron were going at it. My goodness. Who's going at it? Faltron and Kelbo again? No. But my goodness, when it was. Oof. Yo, when they, they pulled up Faltron crying and shit. You seen that yeah. shit in his car? Crying about Kelbo? Yeah. Well, I love you. <laughs> yeah. His poor wife, man. Yeah, that's that's some crazy shit. She had another kid with him after that shit. Oof. Did he stare on? Well, I, I heard in some states you can get abortion up to uh, 16 months, so. <laughs> okay, so I just changed out my earbuds, and that's the first thing I heard when I came back was... <laughs> <laughs> you can get an abortion up to 16 months. <laughs> Holy <That's shit>. after birth. <laughs> <laughs> Kids like seven months old and shit. 
You know how many people will be mad about me saying that? Like, take it as a joke, people. Just just take some things yeah. as a joke. It's just you got to, even if it's personal, you know? He's got I got police blocked by like Manny the Hitman. I got blocked by a few they say Tama guys at different times. And then Telegram, I got blocked by one of the pink cell um chats. Cause they were they were just not helpful at all. I don't know if I've ever been blocked, because had I been blocked with somebody, I didn't go to their channel to see if I'd been blocked. Um I got blocked by I don't make a lot of ways, Faltron. Faltron blocked me. Oh yeah, he uh, had blocked me at one point. Faltron blocked me. And that other Did dude, um what's that other dude? Not PR Torres, the other dude that that was doing the spaces. The black guy, what's his fucking name? I don't remember his name. Uh, Dr. Crypto? Nah. I forgot his name. Some guy. Some obnoxious guy. He was, he was mass stupid. He not he just dumb. Nah, he was part of the the Faltron group, you know. <laughs> this fucking name. Um, I'm know. trying to remember who was there back in the day, man. Was that during Saitama times that you got blocked? Because I don't, yeah, I don't know a lot of, yeah. the, I don't know a lot of the old school people. Because that that's why I got man? blocked. Because I was funny Saitama. It wasn't Vern, was it? No. Uh -huh. Crypto Vern. Vern seems too chill. He used to be Saitama Vern, I think. Yeah, he did. A lot of people used to be Saitama something that they changed their name just like Crypto or whatever, or, which is a smart pivot from the Saitama days. Yeah, but you go no. from Saitama Stacker to Crypto Stacker. Yeah, I used to, some of the, like, um, live streams, crypto version. He's he seemed pretty cool. I mean, don't get me wrong. When you know, I got it. I I'm basically on social media because of crypto, and that's the only reason I ever. Only got on reason this. I got on. But, only reason I did. But I still ain't putting my name as like the project that I like the most at the time. So right, yeah, yeah. That's just it. Kind of seems fairly short sighted in the long when you think about it. Like that project's probably going to go away but at the same time there was a lot more diamond handers back then there was a lot less cheats so it made sense at the time because well because you thought you was getting it. money man you thought you was well, making nobody, money holding. nobody oh, knew crypto is going to turn into what it is where it's like a new project every other day oh you know? yeah definitely. like people used to hold for months don't get me wrong they didn't hold for years but they at least held for a month or more and that was pretty standard now it's not now it's like you hold for a couple weeks, and it's like, oh shit, you're a diamond hitter. You've held for two weeks, like that's all it takes nowadays. And yeah, guys, and that's why we can't promise anything with this token except that we're trying, trying to bring something to y'all. Yeah, I mean, we're not gonna rug. Obviously, we have lock liquidity. We're fucking here every day promoting it, and. We're going to be here next Friday talking about it, even if that motherfucker looks like it's 70% down. But it could be 70% up. Whoa, whoa. We don't know. Okay, okay. I'm just saying, like, you know, rain or shine, we're here for this token. I mean, that's the thing, too. And a lot of these tokens, too, the ones that the devs actually stick with them, you're going to have those ups and downs on the chart. But some of them really come back real strong. You know. Oh, well, you look at Zilla Boba, man. Thirty grand for how long? Fuck. Mm-hmm. Dude, Nick's been putting in the work for so long. Him and all the team he works with. And like they've rode the ups and downs and they're sticking around. That project is worth a lot now. I mean, I just got in for the first time because I'm an idiot and didn't get in when Nick was really throwing it out there, but I'm excited yeah. to be in now. <laughs> yeah, I'm Steve, excited. Steve's, yeah, I saw Steve's message. Steve's, uh, uh. No. <laughs> Shaman's I'm only. Dot com. 
shamansonly.com minimum five guys per page eclipse special <laughs> eclipse special <laughs> eclipse by the uh, way that reminds me steve that reminds me steve please stop emailing me asking me if you can pay for all five guys and just be the only guy no it has to be five different ones you Come can on, spare steve. bro i saw that video you had like 20 guys on the beach bro <laughs> that, video, that video was funny. I was like, this that shit was funny. <laughs> was like, fuck these motherfuckers. I don't even have time to respond. Fuck them. <laughs> oh, shit. We're four hours into this already. Holy shit. I'm Already. uncharacteristically sober for this amount of time into the stream. I gotta mix the new drink. Bro, I'm on like my 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 third pre-roll right now. Just wanted a couple bowls. It's talking about four hours already. Um no nah, Maddie, we're not gonna be live during the actual lunch. Um that would actually be pretty cool though if you did. I mean, you Chaka can, did that. You, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you should consider it, bro. It might, might be cool, man. Yeah, we're going to be live and be silent so you can't hear us going, fuck, motherfuck, shit, how, fuck, hold on a second. Fuck this. <laughs> oh, shit. Fucking, wait. What about, fuck this? Oh, damn. People are going to be selling before we even launched it. He's, oh, shit. They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, you know, maybe on our next token, you know, we we live stream it. Our next token is launching on Tuesday. So if you no, guys honestly, I definitely don't want to be live for the the launch of it just because I don't want to look like if it's going good, I'm gonna go fucking ape shit. If it's going bad, I'm gonna be like fuck, fuck, fuck. You know that? You know what I mean? I don't want people to see that. I I don't have a way to disguise my emotions. A lot of people give me shit on stream and like, yeah, your facial expressions really let you know, let everybody know what you're thinking about when people are talking. I'm like, I don't try to. I just can't help it. But no, I mean, I definitely want to be tweeting about it while it's going on. And like, we're going to be. I don't know, I don't have facial better. expressions anymore from like all the boats. You don't have a fucking face, Shaman. Doesn't you <laughs> disqualified from the conversation? Oh, Maddie's but no, it's one of those, it's tokens. it's one of those things where I just don't want to do that. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, as soon as you're able to like claim the shit, you know. Um, Hope we claim the token before launch. Um, yeah, that's probably cool. with pink sale. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's pink sale. Yeah, I mean. Once it, I think, I think yeah. soon after it closes, it it'll. Well, I'm not. That's see, that's why we don't even want to do it because we're not sure exactly what step of the process is it gonna tell us to do that ad or whatever, and you know, right. And most of the pre-sale because I've actually gotten into a handful of them since Neko. Neko is the first one I've been in, and I don't know how long, like since early ETH days or whatever. And um, you can usually claim them pretty quickly after launch and but again that also does come down to network congestion i mean even the pink sale pre launches <coughs> once you go to claim like you're gonna probably have to click on it three or four times before the claim actually goes through um i've i've had it where i've done it first click it goes through and then i've had a couple of pre-sales that i've bought into where it took me a good 15 minutes before i could claim and you can see the charts already moving and it's something that we can't guarantee anything. It comes down to the network congestion and pink sale, you know, that kind of stuff. But most of them are like pretty much within 10, 15 minutes of launch that I've been involved with. Again, I'm not an expert. That's just my experience personally. Because I've been in probably be an like, issue tomorrow with the congestion on Solana. Well, and that's know, kind of that that's something we worry about. That's why we want to like kind of once the pre-sale closes we're gonna kind of gather you know be able to have some time to throw out some tweets be like hey pre-sales over we're getting ready to launch you know give people <coughs> a little bit of time to focus and 
you know, do what they need to do. And but at the the minute we make it live, from my understanding, it's kind of out of our hands at that point. It comes down to network congestion and how quickly Pink Sale allows. And again, that's not even on Pink Sale, to be honest. That's on just network congestion. Hold so, on a second. Hold on, Steve. Um, last time you were rude for leaving without answering the question, and this time you just came in and interrupted the conversation for asking if you missed a, a question. So you, you can't win, bro. You just can't fucking win. You know, damn if you do, damn if you don't. You know, you've shattered the perception of polite, kind Canadians at this point. Steve. I don't. I don't with know your, what's going on with, with your tonight. with. Yeah, just completely selfish. Fuck, bro. Ever Fuck. since he got a cape. What? He hasn't been this, ever since he got a cape. He hasn't been right? the same. That's what I was thinking yeah. about. His PMP and shit. I was like, Fuck dude, you. that just, it pumped up his ego in a way that I don't think is acceptable, really. I don't know. It's a super, he's super now. He's super Steve. You're just, you're Canadian, Steve, not Steve the Canadian. Yeah. You've taken the whole country <laughs> on your back in the form of your cape. Oh, did Big hey, Nick come back. back? Oh shit! What happened? Good morning. Yes, he's Good back, morning. back again. Nick That's is really back. That's really weird. Tell a friend. He's still on mute though, so I wonder if he's. That, that's just. Odd. Well, how did he come back? You have to actually like click on the link again to come back. He pocket reconnected on us. He pocket reconnected. <laughs> that's more sophisticated than an accidental pocket dial. That's crazy. Nick's doing big things out here. Not on purpose, but he's still making them happen. Oh, have you guys seen my TG one, though? It's the dirt version. Nah, bro, I, I don't even know what fucking TG you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about, Steve. Oh, AI. AI, AI what's AI, going AI, on, bro? bro? Where you been the last three eight thirty eight years? Three eight years. <laughs> thirty eight. Something. Thirty eight something. Are you at AI? Are you traveling, bro? Are you in the states or you abroad? No, he's, he's not abroad. He's a male, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? You would hope so, Simon, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, motherfucker. We got uh, 22 people watching on Twitter. Seems like everything's aligning. <laughs> Way to tie it all in, Shaman. You know, I had to do that because, you know, people like it. In I the give movie you props. I title. give you props. I liked it. I liked it. <clears throat> Georgia. Georgia. I stopped before I serenade all the ladies. My, my vo beautiful voice is. Yeah, you don't. Well, want I definitely know you're not black. Good. I definitely know you're not black, Simon, because you can't sing. <laughs> He's like, you, if you can't sing that song better than that, then you ain't black. <laughs> you ain't all black. right, Joe Biden. All right, Joe Biden. Tell me whether I'm black or not. Wow. Go. Oh, damn. Simon's pulling out the big guns here. Please, it's probably Jewish. It's probably Jewish. <laughs> You're a Jew. <laughs> Fucking Jewish. I spend money like a Jew. <laughs> oh, so you don't spend any? Correct. <laughs> it's got to be a really good uh... deal. That should got to be on clearance. Do you know what's funny though, Shaman? What is just how everybody still speculates on your your ethnicity? Well, I just to me it's just like it's it funny. does stop being fun. We should have a prize for when you actually dox whoever got it right. Like there's a prize pool for you know bet on this ethnicity, this ethnicity. Because I've heard everyone. Okay, that that actually. Um, Platt might be the first person that said you're probably Jewish, but I've heard white, black, Hispanic. I don't know if anybody's ever accused you of being 
or insinuated that you're of Asian descent. That might be a new one. That might be the underdog one. That might be the underdog category. Like if you if you show up. Oh, see that that's that's the big money because the odds are against that one because all the other ones get guessed frequently, <sighs> but that that one never really gets brought up. You know, some Filipinos. I'm in the white boy. He's a white boy. He's Filipinos. a white boy. <laughs> You still put uh, your I money on that, huh? I could see you being that. Filipino. I could see you being one of those Filipinos. You know, the ones out there pretending to like have you seen the like where they do the like the the cosmetic makeup with like Phil like because you know the in mm -hmm. certain areas they have like their lady boys, so but they can they can do cosmetic makeup to well, that makes be, sense. Anything, anything that the buyer wants. Oh. Maybe your tie. Oh, oh, oh! Maybe Probably a lady boy from Thailand. Oh, maybe I. Maybe That's why I he's so interested that. in the cosmetics from Caitlyn Jenner. You know. Uh, oh, I didn't. Uh, now, now you're starting to sense. piece this puzzle Damn, together, oh oh God, bro. Connect Call back. back. But see Is that, Nick. <laughs> was that Nick? Yeah, no, what up, boy? Up, my nah, boy. Nick is nah, back it, in the building. Hey, it's Nappy oh, Nick. Just, What's good, bro? You got here in the perfect amount of time, Nappy Nick. Nick. <laughs> We're just talking about Shaman hey. as a lady boy. <laughs> hey, we'll call you Nicky Naps, bro. Nicky Naps. Nicky Naps. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, I'll take it. Now that makes him sound black, so, man. Just Nappy we got Nick. Sleepy Shaman no. and Nicky <laughs> Naps. Wow. Nicky Naps sounds like you're saying he got naps. <laughs> what up, Nick? Love it. Love it. Oh, 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 You've been sleeping this whole time, boys. Yeah, Not the whole good, time. Good. Hey, Not boys, the whole boys, time. Buddy, um, cool cat. <laughs> Not the whole time. <laughs> hey, cool cat, bro. Um, <laughs> why was that funny? <laughs> I don't know why. Because it's because it's late and early. Because no. of how serious hilarious. he was when he started, like not the whole time. Like I woke up ten minutes ago, so I mean, not the whole time. Just enough no, time for you. I can hear the crust in your eyes as you're blinking right now, man. You, you still have this sleep. <laughs> like he He's got those extra spidey senses from being a lady boy. He can he can hear the crust. <laughs> in your eyes. I hear Fine. I hear the lashes, girl. I hear them. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! That faggot. So. As you. As you can tell, Nick, since you've been here last or been away, since things been have gone, gone completely off the rails. Completely off the rails. Yeah, so much that the F Joe's gone psycho, man. You ran psycho off. It's just so crazy, huh? Damn, yeah, you've been asleep that's... that long, bro? Holy shit. That wasn't a nap. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> he was a psycho, sleep, bro. psycho oh, left to sweet. go fluff some Philly cock. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to be honest, really though, it was nice her. to have some outside blood coming in and hanging out in our chat with us. And I, I told him, man, we're, we're fucking weirdos. And he, he was on board for it. And he hung out for a good amount of time. So props to him. Well, that's uh, nice. Bro, why you fucking you can hang? Yeah. Dude, walking into a new community like that can be weird, especially like on a Twitter space, it's a little bit easier, but walking into somebody's YouTube channel, it's a little bit more like not anybody can just jump up. You know what I mean? So Yeah, but I'm since glad. since since Lazy gave him my AMA at the beginning, it kind of, you know, broke the ice pretty well. Oh boy. Hey, it's nice to get to know people that are coming to hang out with us. Nah, it, was cool. it was cool. Are you upset about the AMA? No. He didn't get a chance to fluff him, so he's a little pissed off. <laughs> yeah, only Lazy got to fluff him. Uh, Who's getting death only threats? Lazy. Getting no death threats? Who? What are you talking about? Wait, death what? Threats. You talking about AI? What you talking about, bro? Who's yeah. who's getting a th what you talking about, death AI? threats? AI? What you talking about, Willis? He's what like, oh, no, just me? Oh, okay. <laughs> Who's threatening you, AI? 
No, you know why? He's like, oh, AI, oh, you are you okay? Blink, Hold on. blink twice. Look. Blink twice. No, it was he's going to go check, <laughs> he's gonna go check yeah. the tracking now because he's the one that sent us the death threats and he's wondering if we got him. Oh, and political yeah. views? That's no. you, AI. You're the one getting death oh, threats shit. for your political views. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Yeah, see, just him, uh, I guess. He was right. I was did, right. Ah! Did, you, did the FBI come to your house, AI? Yo, you heard about that shit? The FBI showing up at people's houses? Yeah, wow. bro. Look, look. About, I'm on about Trump? When you talk about the database thing, no lie. I know I'm on list because they said that uh, at one point they had put it into effect mm. where when you research certain things or watch certain videos, you get put on like a watch list. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Yeah, and this is legit. This is like this was on the news. This isn't me going, oh, somebody said this and it's a fucking conspiracy. No, this is what the news reported. The fucking news reported this shit. Man, did I get blocked yeah, by Hinot? Huh? That's funny. What happened? What did I, Hinot I, do to you? Well, I'm going through, uh, you know, catching show up me on this chat. Dog. Show me on this dog where he touched you. <laughs> it's probably why he blocked me. I'm tired I blocked of me you? coming at him for the child support. <laughs> no, Bro, I, I, I posted like three times the book of Henoch, and he never responds to it. What a dick! Oh, you know, you know who's the guy who blocked me from Saitama Shaka? I think his name was Shaka, wasn't it? <gasps> yeah, there, there was a Shaka, but it was with an yeah. S. Yeah, with an S. Yeah. Yeah, that dude. Well, you know, Chaka is actually Chaka, not Shaka. But I know people like that have that name. They're Shaka, so it's weird for me to call him Chaka. I was calling him Shaka, but I heard some of y'all calling him Chaka, so I'm like, yeah, I asked a CH. I asked maybe him. it is Chaka. No, I asked him. He told me it's Chaka, and and that's why it's weird as fuck for me to call him Chaka because I don't know nobody named Chaka. I know Shakas. So it is Chaka, it's, right? Yeah, it's Chaka. Yeah, with a C-H, bro. Like yeah. Chaka. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Yeah, I never heard it. That's why I'm like, Chaka. Yeah, me neither, bro. Me neither. Maybe it's the East yeah, Coast I mean, thing, you know? We over here on this side. He over here on that side. Well, he's in the West, right? Yeah. I'm over here just getting caught up. So, Flurk. Bouncing on the floor right now, baby. Is it coming up, man? I mean, it tried to. Let's see. Get that bitch to do a handstand. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it hit the floor at like 14, 15. Came up to almost 20 again. Now we're sitting at 18 and a half. He's a bunch of pansies, man. I got ten soul worth. I'm about to. I'm about to dump, bro. <laughs> you know what I think is gonna take off, man. Uh, Tucker Car- Tucker Carlson. It's supposed to be like uh, Tucker Carlson. What the fuck did you say, bro? Oh, oh, it's actually said like that. I thought you were saying it all yeah. fucked up. I'm like, bro, nah. you don't know. What it's- <laughs> nah, it's spelled like that. Tucker Carlson. Uh, it's a meme about him, and it's like a meme of him. At- as if he was reporting on DGen news and on meme coins and shit like that. And they have like videos, animations. And the thing about this, it's at 85 million right now. But crypto banter is taking it on and they're gonna do they're gonna do like this whole project with it. Where they're gonna do like a whole meme media channel. And they're gonna take oh, over. Wow. You know, crypto banter is big, bro. So this shit may take off. I think I wanna put some money into that, man. Hey, buy the rumor, sell the news, bro. There you go, bro. Yeah, pretty much. Where'd you get where'd you get that alpha from? That what? So, so how'd you get that alpha? Oh, from Crypto Banter. They um ran was like uh, talking about it on Twitter. Oh no shit. Yeah. Yeah, there's so much shit going on right now. But they had a they had a call they have a call channel and um they they kind of got a 54x on it already from that call channel. So it's gone up 54x since they they called it, but um 
now that they're, 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 they're going to actually get involved with the project, you know, Crypto Banter could really take it to another level. So I think the project is going gonna, is gonna to run again. I'll be on the lookout for that one. I don't know. I've never come across that one. That Me neither, cool. man. I just heard about it recently. Completely so missed many, the ball on that one. Look at Gators. Gators moving up. Nice. Yeah, Gators ain't quitting, man. Everything dumped today, and Gators have went up a little bit, but it didn't didn't dump. Well, I'll be real with you. I'm kind of mad. There's some dips I wanted to buy, but I kind of definitely got my money tied up right now. So. Yeah, bro. Like, there's it's it's I'm I'm pulled in 17 different directions right now. From B and B plays to Arbitrum to Soul. I mean, well, like that's why I haven't bought like more on the the Zelly dip because I I can't convert shit right now because I got to worry about the project. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, I got on the back end and shit like that, and I got a stash of uh, crow, got a stash of Chronos that I don't want to touch, that I've been buying since it hit the bottom at five cents. You know what I mean? Where's Chronos at right now? Like fifteen? At like fifteen, fourteen, 15? thirteen? Yeah, that's... thirteen. Yeah, thirteen. Or no, fourteen even. So it hit the I was bottom. Say, to be real with you, man, twelve and thirteen. Like even at thirteen, it, it seems to have some good support at thirteen. Well, yeah, from what yeah. I it, it bounced off the floor at twelve and a half, and see, came back up quick. I think so Ronald's man. a good buy, man. Bro, I when it when it hit, I was gonna. At- as soon as that shit started pumping and it was at like nine cents, when it went back down to nine cents, and you know, I started buying a little, just a little bit, man. Like really, just you know, little bits. And people, oh, you're dumb buying right now. If you didn't buy at five, you you know, you fucking missed out. And I was like, nah, nah. I just see more happen. I know That's it's just I going know. back to a dollar, man. That's yeah, what I was gonna say, Nick. Bro. That's just gonna go what? back to a dollar. Easy. The way they've been out of out of. All the shit that's been coming from the SEC and all that, they've been completely away from all that, you know? Yeah, they've been negative press, no nothing. They've been dodged. They're not even being looked at. That's just going to go to a dollar again. So now that I'm a proud owner of Zella Baba, the one thing it's that Zella I will Baba. say compared yeah. to compared to the Phantom Wallet, like on, you know, non mm-hmm. Solana wallets. Is I can't immediately see my tokens in the wallet, so I have to like if I'm gonna look at it, I gotta actually go yeah, into the like exchange. Yeah, that's that right. that that is that is the one drawback. But well, why are you right? Gonna but a lot of a lot of tokens that you get, you know, that are you need that kind of DMC beginning stages. It's kind of like that still, but okay, again, that it's it's a camp. it's a very it's a very minor. It's something that I'm just you, more with Solana projects. I'm more used to being able to see it, or at least a somewhat accurate version of it right off the bat. That is the only thing that can I'm you um about. you should be you, up ten percent. Really? You, so I'm, not, I'm not, not going to check it till later, but I'm excited to be. Can you pull up the picture Zelly I sent you, crazy? Crazy. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yes, I can. I, I just checked my shit, so I'll pull that up because I saw the picture in it. What kind yes. of wallet are you using, lazy? For, your um, for that, I just use I just use my Coinbase wallet. It don't show up. It should show no. up. Coinbase, everything shows up on Coinbase. Any, no, it oh, doesn't. It you're, lying, on there. you're lying to yourself and the rest of the people watching. <laughs> nah, Coinbase wallet shows everything, bro. Hold on, EMB, everything. You're, you don't have to add it like lying that. Last. For a lying oh, you know what? It's not. Coin it's coin. not in your wallet, bro. That's what it is. You better go check out what nah. happened. <laughs> go check the blockchain, bro. Okay, now you're actually so making that nervous. shit out. Gotta, oh, I'm gonna have to figure that XR, shit out. XR, hey, XRP down at 55. I mean, the money that I had up. is gone, so it went somewhere. So it better Bro, be check in my it. Wallet. I got Coinbase wallet. 
I see my base coins. I see my Ethereum. I see my Polygon. I see my BNB. Oh, I see my Arbitrum. You just branching out, just whoring around. I even look. I got an Arbitrum. Look, an Arbitrum bullshit token that they dropped in my wallet is showing up on my Coinbase wallet. Bro, I never XR added it again. Cents right now. I forgot what I was supposed to be pulling up because you got me all flustered. My, the, <laughs> the picture I sent. The picture I sent. Okay. Jesus Christ, Platt. <laughs> you, you know, know when we start, when 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 we boot Shaman off and we start our own show, you can't treat me like this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, wait, I'm trading you for another Shaman? What the fuck? Yeah, just a more aggressive, a more aggressive version. Oh, thank God, it's <laughs> showing up. Hold on. Nice. I was Another. looking at the wrong fucking thing, man. Another Damn. buy there. Yeah, so, you know, a couple hours ago when we were doing your tutorial and buying, we were at 400K. We're at 450K right now. You should be at least up by 12, 13%. So, people are buying the dip. I would I uh I put in a tiny tiny bit, but I wanted to buy the dip more. It'd be nice if I could just swap shit over to the you know ETH over to that to Arbitrum without having to pay a crazy send fee. It. With yeah, because that's what it is. You're gonna send it, and then all of a sudden you've lost you know. Yeah, I'm debating. I'm debating on my Ethereum stuff. Let's just get out of it and say fuck it. Yo, Jedi. Yeah. Jedi. I just went to my Coinbase wallet where I got <laughs> my Zeleboba and it's there. I see it. Oh, well, it's there, but you, you don't see your Zell- amount. How long have you, you had your Zeleboba? See the, you just see the number of tokens. Not that long, bro. Yeah, yeah, but that's what he's talking about. You don't you don't see the how much it's worth. That's you don't see the value. Oh, the the dollar value? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's yeah. normal. We're working on getting CMC. A lot of these wallets yeah, pull yeah, value it, from Okay, market. and it obviously goes in alphabetical order, so I have to scroll all the way to the bottom to see my Zillabo. But like I see the amount of tokens I have. I do. And to be honest, I didn't even think of that until you mentioned it. I'm like, oh wait, I better scroll all the way to the bottom because it's fucking Z. So obviously it's going to be at the bottom. And I, I do see it there. It's there. I just don't know how much it's worth. And I'm fine with that. So I'm not going to sell it anyway. I'm going to hold right, it so until the ice, the next Ice Age. That's what I do with tokens. You got to you gotta pay to get the uh, price on there, right? It's a yeah, scale. it's coin market cap. They gotta, We got to get on coin market cap. It's like 5000 Yeah, exactly. That's one area where Solana is nice where they show you things but it doesn't matter because the minute you see the value it goes to zero because that's what solana tokens tend to do (laughs) not really some of them are really good actually solana's been getting a lot better on some bigger tokens like it used to be like nothing held value for more than a day but i want to see that flirt do something man i bought i bought the dip so I need to. Oh God, what is that at? I got up eighteen right now. Yo, cool oh, cat said he got five 15, to six man. hours left in him. Let's set a record tonight. What? You know, what? Stream, what? Cool what? Cat? I have cool cat saying cool, cool cat. Please come on, bro. Get on stream, bro. Come. Maybe we'll maybe come. we'll last six more hours. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, we've already, we've are. been going four and a half hours. We're getting close to like tapping out here so we need some fresh blood here i mean shaman can only fluff us for so long <laughs> you know what i mean my fluff meter is low i'm just saying chafing comes into play yep, a lot. <laughs> you know a lot. <laughs> shaman did you send him a link no i thought you were gonna send him a link well i will i actually will I'm trying to shop on Amazon right now, and you're kind of ruining it. 
Yo, so is Jeremy de- deleted his Twitter or he just left the group? It looks like it was deleted, man. Is he or I think he put it on private or something. Like he or Wait, you know what happened, Jeremy? Like I don't think he deleted it, but you know uh how you can kind of like take your shit off but it's not deleted. You know what I'm talking about? No. I actually like he can reactivate his account. Like I think it's deactivated, but it's not deleted. I think. So he deactivated his Twitter account. I believe so. When did that happen? The other day. Because Platino kept on fucking harassing everybody to buy all this fucking loser ass tokens. Fucking scaring everybody away with that bullshit. What's cool cat? What what is your Twitter handle? Is it just cool cat? Oh, you got cool cat coding. What is your Twitter yeah, handle? It's cool cat coding. No, it's cool cat. Something. Yeah, it is coding. Oh man, it's I didn't register for poker. There. You might still have crypto on there. Uh, the what? Well, how how do you register for the poker? Um, Bro, fucking shit! I'll go I get couldn't... the fucking link for you, son of a bitch. Well, that would have saved a lot of problems for a lot of people. Shaman, why uh, you Neko, the Neko a... main account just just fifteen minutes ago put out a post with the. You see, he doesn't fucking pay attention, man. Yo, so my I'm <laughs> streaming with your. Yo, my boy, right? I made him join all the socials and shit for for all the the stuff like Neko and all this stuff, right? Because he doesn't do any of this. And then he'll ask me questions like, "Hey, what's going on with this?" I'm like, "Check the fucking socials, bro." What the fuck? You know what, Platt? You're you and I are gonna have so much more fun when we do our channel. I mean, I'm just saying. I just uh, I just uh, DM'd you on X. <laughs> <Excuse me. laughs> <laughs> oh, you got it, you got it, Nick. Yeah, you I just sent him the, the I sent him the Neko Nick, post. Nick, Nick, you can be part of the new channel too. No, nah, bro, you gotta <laughs> sign him, sign him up for it. Otherwise, it's gonna take him another two months. <laughs> Live on stream. <laughs> oh man, me and Nick and Platt are gonna just do such crazy things. With our channel is gonna be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next week we're gonna next week we're gonna buy some boner on Arbitrum <laughs> and just start building like you Arbitrum. Fluffing. You're fluffing is what you're trying to say on Arbitrum. <laughs> Build up your Arbitrum meme portfolio. Man, I think uh that boop token, I mean, they went down like fifty percent today. From forty million to nineteen million with this sell off, everyone sold off, man. You know what, Steve? Ooh. I resent what you said. Oh wait, that the reason I was bringing up that photo is because I I bought that NFT right there, and it was a cool ass NFT, and that was a a combination of the Zella Boba and High as a Giraffe's ass. Oh yeah. Yeah, I forgot which one does yours look like. Um, it's a it's, it's a, a gold one. I got the gold border. If Lazy will pull it back up, we could see it. Oh God! Did he put it on Platt. stream? I missed yeah, Platt but he never but he asked me to do talk such about a thing. And then he thing. removed it again, like some kind of posh. Asshole. It was up there for like three days. But you spoke over it for three days. That's how long you spoke over it. Can you believe that? <laughs> it's crazy. Do you know how special those NFTs are, Lazy? If you pull it up, we'll tell you. We'll tell you what you're missing out on, bro. They're cheap too. To be real with you, I want a f- I want a few more, but I'm I'm kind of pissed at all the money's up. Yeah, there's just there's like sixty left in the whole collection. Okay, it's up, and I'm not gonna say a goddamn word. <laughs> yeah. So- uh, I- I'll let you. I'll let you speak on it, Shaman, since that's oh, your piece that you. 
Well, you know a hell of a lot more than I do. I'm not even sure like what the gold means versus the other ones. I just know it's you know, more rare. Shaman, it's your last day on the show. You might as well just make the most of it. <laughs> Bro, He's trying to boat your ass bro. off now. So there's like a you you win like what was it, like a half a ETH or quarter? What was it? How yeah. It? Um so this collection is a collaboration between two projects. Um so they they made us the uh, hundred pieces and the the rarities don't matter at this moment. Um they are cool, like to get. I think there's a rainbow border that is the ultra rare. Um, we have future plans for like holders of each rarity. Um, but as of right now, each one of these, each one of these pieces is a lottery ticket to win a portion of the mint fee generated by the whole collection. So that turns out to be 0 0.4 ETH, which is roughly $1,500. Um, so yeah, each, you know, I think I have five of them. Um, there's 30, they're like 30 bucks to mint one. Um, and that's a lottery ticket that can get you 1,500 bucks. If you're lucky, once the collection is done, mint it out. So we're, we're going to start really pushing those with all the eyes that are on us now. We launched these like month and a half ago. And let's be real, that shit is cool. Right. Like I I'm, can see like the lazy shaman having a, a NFT similar to that right there. Right. Yeah, but this is a cool looking fucking NFT. Right. I like that dog shit, you know? All those other dumbass NFTs that come out of these two D little images like a little kid drew it. Like, this is legit. This shit looks dope. That's the thing. It is. <laughs> this whole project is fucking cool. It is. Yeah. It is. The so memes are trying, trying to push those out so we can get those uh, minted out so we can get the next one rolling. We got another collection in development. Um, I forget what's special about them, but they're going to be art's going to be uh, we're still debating on the the art um but it's going to be sweet like i already know like i already know i already know are you guys going to end up having issues though with sesame street at some point if you guys no. go up yeah no cuz it's not i mean it's it's sesame street adjacent it's adult sesame I'm street Right. It's not actual characters from Sesame Street. You're making your own. No, no, but but yeah. it's still got it's got that feel to it, but like with adult humor behind it. So it's it's a whole right. different ball game in a fun way. They crack and me as up. We, they ever as since I grow, met you, Nick, you've been cracking me up with these. And now that I actually figured out how to use Arbitrum, because that was thing, and it's not hard. <laughs> I just had to be willing to do it, but. Right, oh, yeah. right, and like I said, um, you know, when you were doing your 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 first buy, um, I I compare it to like when I first got started two three years ago, whatever it was, um, yeah, twenty twenty one, um, B and B, like figuring out how to trade B and B. Oh, I gotta go to crypto dot com, buy B and B. I gotta send it to my trust mm -hmm. wallet, the in trust wallet. I have to um, switch it to BSD chain. Um, so that's another swap in Trust Wallet. And then I can trade it on PancakeSwap. Like that was a lot of steps um, that took me a while to figure out. Now with Arbitrum, here's a similar thing. And the, 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 these steps are similar to base as well. Like all these base memes on base chain, it's the same thing. You're buying Ethereum. And then sending it on base chain to whatever wallet you're using, and then you're trade. I don't know where you're trading. I mean, uh, looks like Pancake Swap um, is now supporting base chain as well. But so when it comes to your decentralized exchanges, it all depends on where the project has their liquidity pool, right? 
So with us right now, we have only one liquidity pool and it's with pancake swap. So you can only trade it with pancake swap. We're working on building another somewhere else like Uniswap, like Camelot. Um, there's a bunch of other decks and uh, Camelot is a dex that's mostly Arbitrum. Um, that's the one the Arbitrum maxis love. So we're working on building a pool there. So people used to using Camelot can buy Zillab over there. So that's our next step. Um, you you could call that alpha. I don't, you know, it's not that big of a deal, but it does cost money to do. So all these buys and sells we've had this week is built up taxes. Um, a lot of those taxes go into the cookie jar. And if you don't know what the cookie jar is, um, that's our yield protocol. So all this money that's coming in from taxes goes into a yield protocol that's earning anywhere between 200 and 1,000% APY daily. So we started that cookie jar a few weeks ago with a thousand bucks. Um, and it is up to about five grand right now. And then that's how quickly it's building. And everything that Zillaboba does from this products and services we provide, um, building websites, building NFT collections, launching NFT collections, doing the art. We do all these services for other projects. Um, then they pay, you know, whatever it is, 400 bucks, a thousand bucks that goes straight into that cookie jar as well to build up. And eventually when we hit a threshold, that cookie jar gets shared with holders of Zellaboa. So it'll continuously make money every day and we'll have like a weekly or monthly payout structure. You know, it's like a re like a retire. It's, it's passive income, weekly, based on how much you hold. So, long story short, there's a lot of shit coming. So, it's a comfy, wow. comfy hold. Good shit, bro. Good shit. Um, what what NFTs do, does Zilla Boba have going on right now? Uh, so this one is the one we're trying to push hard. We had another collection. Um, like my PFP in Telegram is uh, the Zellaboba Trump. Yeah. Uh, he, it's one of the, the ultra rares or whatever. Um, we launched that collection back in October. And then... Uh, What's it called? I don't know what it's called. I'm waiting for you to tell me. Yeah. Uh, OpenSea pulled the collection down, and we couldn't figure out why. We thought it was the closeness of Sesame the Street. Likeness. Yeah, yeah. But but you can, we, you can do a search on there and find legitimate, like, not legitimate, illegitimate, collections that are literally using the name Sesame Street or using the name Elmo and they're not pulled down and they're still doing fine. Uh, we found out it was because in the description of the NFTs was uh, a, a connection between the Zillaboba token and the NFT. There was going to be, there was tiers of rarities that were going to get tied to, um, you know, future you know, pretty much since we tied the token to the NFT, as far as like, hey, buy this NFT and you get this in the description, it got taken down and the mint got stopped. Oh. Yeah, totally, totally fucked us. Um, so we're working on rehashing that collection because there was 3,000 pieces in there and they're, they're, it's pretty much a PFP collection. So it's like, like the Trump Zellaboba photo I have our NFT I have, that's my telegram photo right now. That's one of them. So it's all PFPs and it's different Zillabobas from like, um, there's hippies, there's uh, different trades like construction workers, and but they're all Zillaboba. There's a bunch of unique stuff in there. There's Halloween theme because we launched it around Halloween. Um, and uh, we only minted out like 
30 out of them out of the thousand or so there were before it got taken down. And we never got an answer until like two months later as to why. Damn. So, uh, but there is another one coming. Um, and we're debating, you know, still working out the art, but they're, they're building the contracts and stuff right now. <clears throat> and, uh, I mean, we got like three or four guys working on it. We're a team of eight. And uh, we got three or four guys working on the art and the development of those NFTs. So, and none of, you know, no one in the team gets paid for anything. This is all labor of love. Everything made gets sent to the, you know, gets put right back in, reinvested into the project. So, so it makes us different. Q's, Creative Q's is building websites daily like he just built another one for a bnb project that's going to launch in the next few days um you know charged him 500 bucks for a, a quick and easy um i say quick and easy it's a good site so it's like the cues is so good at it it took him like a day and a half and boom there's there's more money for the project are we turning them out baby that's what's up that's what's up man <clears throat> And and I know, um, you know, I can sit here and talk about all the stuff we got coming and stuff. But like, you seen Shaman? You 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 saw it whenever I was like, hey guys, we're at thirty or forty k. Y'all need to get in. And you reached out and we're like, hey, I want some Zellaboba. I threw you some Zellaboba and that stuff like twenty x. Oh, I can't. I mean, shit. Like you said, you know, I was joking around with you in the in the the space the other night because the other guy said it was like he got a hundred something dollars, and I was like, you only gave me thirty dollars. What happened? But at, even at the time that I was saying that, you know, I guess you gave me thirty dollars like twice or something, and or altogether that would have been thirty bucks. So you gave me like fifteen bucks twice, I think. And then um, at the time I was saying that it was worth six hundred and fifty dollars. Right. So it was like, you know, I wasn't really bitching, but I just had to give you shit. Because <laughs> you get another <laughs> guy more. But that's, Do you know I, mean, I held on to it. And like I said, when it was $250, that's when Neko was coming out. When Neko was launching the pre sale, that, that trillion was worth $250. Yeah, that was our, beautiful. that was our first little bump when we hit close to 300K. And then it came back down and everyone got all bummed. And I was like, shoot, I'm just gonna I'm gonna get a little bit more. I'm gonna get a little bit more. And then we ran up from ninety from ninety K up to seven hundred and fifty in this past two 750? weeks. Seven fifty, jeez. I mean it's still sitting real pretty right now. Four fifty three K. Yes, please. Yeah, and I think when we were when we just did the whole tutorial. A little while ago, we were at 404k. So, do you know? Go back up. Do you know what throws me through a loop a little bit, or did when I was getting it? It's just like the idea of trading anything with, like, okay, because you got to transition your ETH to like the Arbitrum network, but then you're using it shows up as ETH on pancake swap and it just seems counterintuitive you know what i mean like you think eth uniswap you think bnb pancake swap you know what i mean like mm -hmm. everything kind of stays in their lane and this kind of is a well, little see, bit different like <clears throat> and you see like pancake swap you can go and change your network on there and there's like nine or ten different selections yeah and like again i'm i'm so not proficient with pancake swap compared because I don't, you know, you think again, BNB, but I don't do that. But like, I mean, it's pretty easy process, just you got to know the ins and outs a little bit. I think that's probably Arbitrum's biggest barrier, is just it's not as I don't know, straightforward as what you'd think, right. but it's not hard. It's not hard though, that's the thing. Once you actually sit down and do it, and I'm glitching out and it's driving me fucking no, you're good, bro. crazy. Oh, well, the I audio is good. 
the audio might be fine, but like when I'm looking at myself on screen and I'm just like freeze framing every two seconds, I'm not happy. Well, it, Somebody needs know, to come fluff my connection. Platt, where are you? <laughs> I need you to fluff my connection. Sorry, he's out fluffing. Here, get back to you. Oh. I have to get in line, I guess. Not, wait your turn, Jedi. Did you make an appointment? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I don't see no skipping the, the line, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to show my fire starter, too, but I can't find that. But I, we're going to put that out. Oh, fire starters are dope, dude. And, and can you believe uh, Q's put 1% of the Zelloboba supply into that, into his uh, treasury over there? Wow. Wait, Shaman, Shaman, you were going to show something? Well, I just showed you. No, I was going to send you some of this. Do, do you want me to send some? I've got four or five of them. Yeah, I mean, you go if, if you want, you can share a screen or just send it to Lazy because he'll pull it up a lot quicker if you send it anyway. Just pretend like your name's Austin and I'll pull it up in a minute. Just a quick <laughs> second. Just pretend that I'm white. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> <It's> pretend- <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, do we got do we got to play guessing games on your ethnicity the way we do a shaman? <laughs> no, I, I'm pretty sure I've said it a few times. Yeah, I think he's told us. <laughs> but I don't, don't. Know, and I don't care, but it's still funny because everybody speculates on what shaman is. <laughs> like, I mean, is he white? Is he Hispanic? Is he black? Is he Jewish? Is he Asian? We don't know. Oh, the mystery no, lives never, on. You never know. You never know what what no. no. <laughs> oh my god, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> so how are y'all with uh B and B, huh? Oh yes, B and B very good, very good. I oh like my it. god. <laughs> out of control. Just out of control. <laughs> Shaman's trying to get canceled and ain't no one even seen yeah, his face. Well, I mean Perfect timing. This is his last show, so you guys are the new co-hosts. So. Oh no, mini show live. I watch mini show. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> I love that. Y- y'all know sh- who the comedian Shane Gillis is? Oh, yeah. of course, I love Shane yeah. Gillis. Always making fun of. Uh, uh, he got he got on SNL, and then that motherfucker got canceled immediately because of things yeah. on his podcast. And then how long? How then? How long later? And then he just recently hosted SNL as yep. a fuck you. Yeah, not a fuck you, but just like a. As a no, he, that was, he, he that was their fuck way. Him. That was their way of apologizing for canceling him because he became a. Well, I mean, he was already a good comedian, but like, that was his, like their way of saying hey yeah we get it you're you're a big deal and we shouldn't have canceled you so you want to host and he's like yeah his his episode was dope um i, I watched part of it i didn't watch all of it i yeah, come from I don't... a time where like you could just if it's funny it's funny you know it doesn't right, it exactly. matter what it was about like and if be. you could make the worst shit funny oh, man like, props they, to you. they yeah, exactly and they they, they try to cancel comedians nowadays just like everything else but like comedy is one of those things that should be off limits because clearly the people saying it they don't they don't mean to hurt anybody's feelings it's comedy it's supposed to you should be able to laugh at things in culture even if they're sensitive cultural topics it's funny even if if they're liberal posh bitches oh fuck off shaman (laughs) man you took that personal quick I, I, wasn't, I wasn't saying that was you. He hears, he hears that word posh, man. You got all. <laughs> yeah, he knows. You know what, Nick? Nick, he gets spicy. Okay. He gets spicy when as, I say posh. He's as spicy the next Latina. Up, up and coming co host <laughs> of this show, you should not be agreeing with the previous host on his way. Hey, out. don't tell me what okay. to do, motherfucker. I won't be censored. 
I yeah, like yeah, the spiciness, yeah, Nick. Yeah, okay. Yeah, See, that's why yeah, you've been yeah, selected. Yeah, yeah. That level of spiciness. Nick's oh, been getting oh. spicier lately, man. Yeah, Nick, off you have been. Yeah. Oh, off, you're man. not so we got quite as spicy as Platt. You're not quite as spice spicy as Platt. No, yet, hell no. You're, you're getting there. You're getting there. I like it. I ain't, oh. as, I ain't as brown as Platt. I got that Latin spice, puppy. Platt, Just Platt a little is bit. Asian. Adios, meals. <laughs> sounds mad Hispanic, bro. <laughs> mm. Yeah, white dude, boy. he said that. He said that with his chest too. Can you roll the R, Shaman? No, I never. Only when you fluff. Only when I fluff. <laughs> he just rolls joints. He doesn't roll his R's. Only when he got a cock in his mouth, he rolls it. <laughs> no, when you gotta pay, like, I, you I gotta do, pay extra, do, though. You gotta pay if, extra. If I'm being honest, I do the lazy roll. You know what I mean? Where it's even like, named after him? <laughs> wow. What are we talking about here, Shaman? I do the lazy roll. I do the lazy roll. <laughs> um, you know what I'm talking about. Because some people, they like... Does. Some people extra pronounce the, the roll of the R. And then some people just kind of, you know, rush through it. Yeah, like the non-Hispanic people. Rush to it. Yeah, you know? <laughs> got called out quick for that bullshit explanation, Shaman. Some people, <laughs> some people feel uh, a, a certain pride and have a, have to say the words. Has nothing to do with pride. It's the way it's said, bro. With That's an accent every time they say it, like one of you nimwits that are trying to talk Spanish that ain't from the ain't from the language. Oh, bro, just gonna, listen, I like, like how Sham is trying to explain it to you, Platt. This is the best. You're like, like really? No, no, I'm explaining to everybody know. else so just they know too. Sit back you know and what enjoy. Mean? Like, That's how I know Sham is a white boy. This is grade A entertainment right now. So how do you say Tyson? <laughs> how do you say Tyson? Like the chicken, Tyson chicken, Purdue. There you go. You just said it, right? So you're not gonna be like Tyson, Tyson. It sounds Chinese, bro. Tyson. I was gonna say wax on, wax off. <laughs> you fuck? are from Thailand, aren't you? Lady hey, boy. He's a lady boy. No, I know he's a lady boy. <laughs> Got his dick hanging out his skirt and shit. I tuck it. <laughs> I tuck it. <laughs> you duct tape it's... it? <laughs> yeah, no, I got I got the tuck underwear, bro, from Target. Oh shit, they got that? They had it for kids for a while. Yeah, they had to pull that shit <laughs> off the shelves. I remember that shit. Hey, hey. My fucking internet's driving me nuts right now. See, that's the thing, bro. Depending on depending on the day, I'm I'm gonna fit into whatever category you want to think that I'm in for whatever you're trying to judge on. So it's just gonna have to be that. You could do little things here and there. You go, ah, oh, no, maybe not. And then something else, you go, ah, oh, he gotta be. And then, bro, I'm pretty know. sure you're white. I mean, pretty sure. All right, you know, like ninety five percent, you're white. Oh, well, maybe I am. <laughs> Flat. This is like, fuck you, white boy. <laughs> maybe you're ninety five percent right. Maybe you're ninety five percent right. You could be five percent right. Ninety five percent, you're white. Five percent, lady boy. Oh. <laughs> it's some stop being funny. <laughs> uh. But you're a hundred percent fluffer, so that's uh and you're a hundred percent dick sucker, so that is what it is. But, okay, do we need I to explain you to you suck. what fluffer is again? You know? You fluff gay porn. You keep that you asshole suck, you suck dick. You keep that asshole wet. Oh, for... why are you hating? You suck dick. Why are you hating? I'm not hating. And you do it for free and I get paid? <laughs> you get paid less. <laughs> <laughs> This is getting minimum wage to suck, dick. This is... <laughs> you guys are really debating about who sucks dick better and gets paid more for it. 
No, not better. We didn't. We didn't debate wow. that. We're just talking about who gets paid more. <laughs> well, okay. I was, I was gonna say Christ. you get paid minimum wage. You got a raise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? I work on tips. Shit, tipping his dick. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, you work on tips, but you ain't getting tipped. Jeez. Oh. Chaka, aren't you glad? In the aren't you glad you work. woke up for this, Nick? You woke up for this every time, man. This every time, I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> just in time, just in time, just in time. Um, yeah, we were talking about spiciness and whatnot. Um, me and me and T this morning. Uh. So like play from a, back and a, forth, and then or like what kind of what's oh spicy? yeah yeah that was that was that was pretty funny in the chat that yeah was and then, then flat was in there egging it on like yeah I was gonna say <laughs> flat so fucker flat was in there throwing fucking just lighter kind of light fuel fires. on fire just I'm yeah, such an instigator like, bro you were dude you were so you were such an instigator like it was already spicy enough just between Nick and fucking that guy and then Plash just in there just throwing firecrackers in the mix just like hey what about this what about this I'm a fucker throw about throw a few more <laughs> I was laughing yeah, he had the nerve he had the nerve to call me rack oh uh, shit yeah, oh, low buddy. blows. That's how you talking about low blows. Low blows. You learned Dude. that one from Rack. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's a lot of shit going on. Oh shit. Yo. I was, it was laughing early so in the hard. morning too. <laughs> yeah, me laughing today. I know. Like, dude, I woke up and I had to scroll back because I there was something in the chat that I wanted to see. And then I was just reading all that shit because I, I read it after the fact. And I was just like, oh, god damn. Things are getting real up in here. Funny. Hot diggity. And I was running late. I was running late to a, a, a job site, a job walk in a really high-end mall. And I was like, man, I'm trying to drive. And I, I was laughing too hard. I just had to stop and wait. <laughs> Let's go. We're up to 34.18 soul. Nice. Wait, what are we at? Thirty-four point one eight. Got eleven hours and fifty-seven minutes, so basically twelve hours left. Yeah, so midday, midday tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Like, I'm, I'm excited to see how this thing goes. I'm, you know, good and bad because you know there's going to be ups and downs with any project. I don't care how great the project is, but I'm just like. Once it actually launches, it's like, wow, we did this. This is our thing, you know? Something to take pride in. Something Pretty to cool. be... You know, sometimes I like to, like, you know, over plan on things, but there was this random tarot card reading on YouTube that I watched. Oh, and said it was fuck, right here time. we go. Oh, God. <laughs> Just kidding, Shaman, sorry. No, I was just kind of kidding. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, there's this one random tarot card. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help but. Hey, real uh, quick, who's got some uh, spare soul? Who's got some change? Like how? Like got, for what? I got a little bit. Why? What, what, what are we talking about here, Nick? Uh, that call channel that that T found with those guys that. Do those slow rugs? Uh huh. I don't remember it, that. They just put the they just put something out uh, three minutes ago. You know what? As much as I would love to make some extra money right now, I I want to save what I have in case you know we need something for launch. Yeah. What's the contract address? I might make some bad decisions. I was just gonna say that. Uh, should I put it in the fuck your feelings? Yeah, put yeah. It in. yeah. And, yeah, and can that. one of you put in a put in like um I don't know a point one so for it's me. It's in there. <laughs> and then pull and then pull it out when it gets to half a soul, and then we can. 
I'll All give right. you your point one back. Right. Yo, the AC industry must be doing bad, bro, because you and Terry just always asking for money, bro. No, I got the money. I just told you. I told you I got the money. But yeah, I'm flat here. You're but yeah, spot on. Yeah, it's been a little slow. You know, oh, my God. I'm been a little slow. Myself. That's so funny. <laughs> I mean, I went out flyering today instead of going on calls. But, you know, it's it, it's we got plenty of work. So. Stop fluffing and get to work, bro. Sorry. Make some money. You heard him slurping? Disgusting. Slurp, slurp. Hey, Platt, when you become my co-host, just don't slurp, mm-hmm. please. No, never that. That's no, he, off, he, off, he, off he doesn't slurp because he makes sure he gets it all in because, like, he ain't pulling off early. You will know, right, bitch? Yeah, bro, he finishes. Trust me. He finishes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all joking aside, though, if Shaman and I split ways, his channel would thrive and I would just be a dumpster fire. It would end in like a week so nah bro so, not with me and nick over here I'm, I'm, what are you talking about <laughs> nick come with me bro get the fuck out of here i don't think nick would choose my side i think he'd be on shaman's side really really nick i don't i don't yeah. you don't I, I played i played both sides yeah <laughs> oh, you bisexual he, he bats both ways <laughs> <laughs> and that's how Just you know he would be on. on shaman's side because yeah. he's not picking sides boom because there he's go. a bisexual like you you fucking faggots that's what it is <laughs> the faggots this stick get, together this is See? getting out of control already so- quick. Hey, d- don't jump into that play just yet it's going down let's we'll see where it goes I'm it was at 70k to- when i sent it to y'all it's dropped down to 60 yeah, oh, I'm watching it. Chart don't look bad though. Well, I, I put three dollars. Yo, put $3? put in when it gets down to thirty. Yeah, I put three. Okay, well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pull it up on screen for shits and giggles. Give me a second. Yeah, don't 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 pull up the fucking. Phone. Give me five dollars. We trading like <laughs> FJO today. Five dollar <laughs> make you holla. The chicken strategy. Yeah, I gotta do it. Yeah, it if it comes down to forty, I'm a, I'm gonna throw in five bucks. Oh, this thing's brand fucking new, though. Oh, yeah. They just put it out uh, a couple minutes ago. 103 in the morning. What's it even called? I don't even know the name. Jinping. The Chinese. It's Xi Jinping, the fucking leader of China. It's just like the plan. Oh, that guy. Okay, I get it. How do you say, Shaman? That was good. How would your how, how would your mama say it? Mama? That was hey, hey, fucking hey. great. <laughs> that was quick too flat. That was like <laughs> I was like I didn't know, man. What are you talking about, dude? I'm too high to say anything out loud. Oh, that's funny. No, I was checking the um the meow space chat, the TG, the one you've never been into. Lazy. <laughs> um, you know, I was answering questions from our investors that mean everything to us. I don't like your tone. Such an ass kisser. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, like I was talking in the TG and like talking oh to the God. investors. So like, much worse. Like, Revert uh, back to being a lesser form of dickhead. <laughs> No, I'm good. This is too fresh, man. Put it on the one minute. Oh, yeah. I'm like waiting for it to do something. I'm like, uh. Yeah, no, I, didn't. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even that. think of it. I was too preoccupied with Shaman being a lady, boys. Oh, <laughs> 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 Does that turn you on? No, I just didn't know how to approach the situation. See, now this looks like something you almost want to put in on, right? But that other chart, I was like... Well, now, it's, now it's at 65k? It was about to what? drop. It was about to drop. It's about to dump again. You go, okay, maybe now it's about to go up. Recovering a bit. Like taking a shit at a dirty toilet. Wait, okay, Nick, what what group was this that this came out of? This was a call group or what? 
Yeah, um, it's a sketchy group. But you've team. got a double bottom. You got a double yeah, bottom. Yeah, it's, it's a it's a sketchy group. That Shaman's he favorite. Sent our way. You know, it's better than one bottom is two bottoms for him to get into. Damn right, line them bitches up. <laughs> these things, these ten, things tend to die in an hour, but they usually run up decent, like or sometimes decent. I'm not going to lie, but uh, yeah, sometimes they do something. This um, could. I've never. This could already be dead. Yeah. It could be right. Like that, that little run up could have been the, um, but yeah, T, I forgot when he found this channel. Um, <laughs> Me and Platt on Sunday, bro, we went hand on one. Oh no. <laughs> what happened? This, the, the, the one that you and I went in on, remember he came in the chat and was like, yo, this came from that channel, but like, be oh. careful. And you and I were like, fuck it, I'm in it. Boop, you know? Oh, f- yeah. nah, I'm not fucking with this shit. <laughs> yeah, that shit went that's, bad that's, that's, that's day. That's why I knew. Like, I was like, "Oh, it's at what?" Nah. Like when I saw that other chart, remember I said it was dipping. This, and then you look at this chart and go, "Oh, maybe it has something." But that other chart, it looked like it was about to dip. And look, I think that shit happened. was newer that day. This is it's been about three hours already. Yeah. Oh, damn. three hours, bro. It's done. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get it before the pump and hope it pumps. I thought I shared it faster than that. Oh, oh, oh. If you bought that dip right now, though. No, that's that dip that's going to keep dipping. I'm going to kiss my $3. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. That's the farming. Like, you see the wicks? You see them wicks? You see all them big-ass wicks? That's the sun pressure right there. So many candles? You see what I'm talking about, though? That's That's all them. That's them farming it. Remember I was pointing that out to you in the chat the other day, Nick? Yeah. It was I think it was to you. All those like wicks. Especially when you this see one a look bunch of long ass wicks. If there's one long wick here and there, okay. Right? But like look at all them wicks, bro. You don't see though well lately you do, but I mean normally you don't see them kind of wicks. Up and down too. Wow, that shit is just like They was making a money right there. They was making a money. Look, that shit ain't gonna go much higher than that. I don't think. I could be totally wrong. Told you. Um, but I doubt they let it run up. If it goes down to four and recovers. I might throw hey, I'm, I'm up. <clears throat> I'm up ten cents. I'll take it. Fuck it. Well, that's not even gonna cover your fee, though. Yeah, I can, man. I can almost see it going like back up to that, you know, last high that it went to. But like, I, I, me personally, if it got up there, I'd be like, let me get my four dollars and be out. You know. That's what I'm saying. If it goes down to four and recovers, I try to ride it back up there and just do a really tight stop loss right under the four, maybe at three six. I really wish I would have get on that fifty four k market cap just for shits and giggles. That'd have been nice. Uh, I almost did you might, too. You're gonna have a chance here in a second, probably. <laughs> probably, maybe. I don't know. See the future. <clears throat> for sure. <laughs> Really annoyed with my internet connection. I don't. It feels weird not having my camera going, but I can't do it because I'm just too choppy and it makes me want to punch things. Ooh, you angry little. Pot. I, I. It does irritate the shit out of me. Are you gonna put on a bunch of black stuff and on riot gear and go burn a, a, a that, public building down now? That's exactly what I was gonna do, Shaman. How did you, you know? Go. You're gonna go start an autonomous zone. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn my camera on and see if it's lagging yet. Oh, look, I can. I have. It's not. Oh, that fuck it. I'm so irritated. Hey, if you just if you just move (laughs) as if you're lagging, you might be all right, bro. (laughs) Just lead into the lag. Just pretend like I'm lagging. Like stop motion camera. Lag with it, man. Lag with it. It's it's a little bit better now, but. I actually just did a little like 
walkthrough of all the electronics that use internet in my house to see what's on and everybody in my house is asleep right now so there's nothing using internet and it's still lagging Okay, now be more quiet and go check on everybody again and see if any of the kids are lying and playing in their beds or something. Oh, oh we're down to 58K. Get ready, lazy. I told you I you want to get that right? toy chance again, didn't I? Yeah, yeah you did. You did. Well, I mean, you, might threw out a lot of, uh, you threw out a lot of other garbage ideas, but that's one that might be relevant. We're all waiting to see. Okay, okay, come on. What is... <laughs> I still can't believe this is fun. Like, all right, what's it going to do? Well, I guess because you guys are invested in it. I don't... It's 57K. It's got a green candle now, though. I don't want green candles. I want some more red before I, before I throw something at it. Oh, 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 oh. Holy shit. Let me refresh because my internet's just unreliable. 54k. Oh, should I throw in guys? You got your you got your you should have. Weren't you just asking for it? I know that's exactly what I was saying. Oh, now you're already what up you there. Guys, what do you guys think? You're already but you're on a green candle, man. You gonna buy on a green candle? I know that's I just saw the green candle come back. It's why don't you go to bucks. why don't you go to the buy and put in a, a buy order? And and um, move your microphone a little bit. Yeah, it's at fifty-seven. Yeah, I missed my opportunity. It's at fifty. Mm -mm, it's just dumping, man. Oh, there it goes. It's at fifty. I wouldn't buy in right now, personally. I'm in. A, but, I'm gonna be but card. You, you guys are the gambler. It's not even like even when I refresh my page, it's not showing me the prices that you guys are seeing. Yeah, look up top uh, on the bot. Look up top. No, I'm, not look up top. At, I'm not looking at the bot. I'm just refreshing 50, my. Look, it's at fifty right there. Fifty-seven. Five, five zero two three. Yeah, it went back up to fifty-seven. No, you're looking at the price, not the market. I'm looking at market cap. Yeah. Yeah. Look. No. Oh, yeah. Market cap. Now there it is. Link. It's up to fifty-seven now. See. There we go. Now, it's now, 55. now it's finally showing me fifty. Okay. I'm gonna. Yeah, but there's there. a delay. The bot sees it first. So yeah. if you I'm if you the inside the bot, I gotta transfer money to my bot now. So I'm gonna oh damn it, lazy! I know you weren't prepared. He was acting like he was right about to get in, and now he's like, "Now let me transfer money to my bot." Oh, no. And it's well, a lot of congestion. Gonna... Let me wait 15 minutes. This thing will be dead in 15 minutes. Oh, man. It jumped back <laughs> up again already. Up. <laughs> <laughs> it's at 64 now. Jeez, Come on, bro. Wait, let me you have made, little... made a little 15% profit right there. You weren't you know, sleeping at the up. wheel, bro. I'm not even going oh, to attempt it anymore. Yeah, it's down, back down to 51 Oh boy, that's just playing games. Oh yeah, what about this shit? Quit playing games. Got my freedom. My is that a Backstreet Boy song? I think it is. It's one of those boy yeah. bands. We're playing games in my heart. Or is it NSYNC? I don't know. They were both on the same to me. Yeah, me too. Oh, they're both good though. I I enjoy them. <laughs> we, know, we know you do, lazy. <laughs> he he likes his voice it, in the most like sweetest but condescending way ever. We know you do. <laughs> you ain't gotta say nothing. Damn. You See got, that you know I don't give a shit if if you're half drunk in a Backstreet Boy or in sync song comes out. Like, oh, I, I recognize this. This sounds okay. Forty six. Damn it. There you go. It so, oh, go. 70. It it's just done. hit 46. Oh. I already. Right back I, down I up. Oh, it's at 46 no, it, now. It, it, it's too volatile. I'm just oh, yeah. not in the right state of mind. I should about it. <laughs> I want Put to, in the salt water, man. Put it in the salt water for up high. 
I think even if you put like a fifteen percent slippage, you ain't gonna catch that. That shit. I was gonna say it's, so it's too all over the place. It's too all over the place. Hey, you never I know, mean, man. You never know. I wouldn't okay, even well. trust the limit order on this. Just try mm-hmm. it. Not fast enough. What have you got to lose if you got your money in there already? Try to put the sell order up there. Why don't you shut your pie hole, Shaman? I ain't got no money in there. Because I'm just saying, and you could be saying, but you ain't. You know <laughs> I saying? know. Oh, it's down to 46. Well, again, I'm delayed, so. I already yeah, feel like I'm at a disadvantage. Slow as hell. No, it's now 50. it's I refreshed it at 55. I, yeah, I'm not even fucking with it. It's too all over the place right now. I mean, I want to watch it still. It's still fun to watch, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna attempt to jump in at like a 40 something. I end up buying it at like high 50s, and then it drops down to 30 something. Because that's gonna be my luck. That candle is ridiculous. Yeah, wick. Well, what do you oh, eat? Steve DM me on Twitter. He said, "I will check my Twitter. I don't have Twitter. I have X." Just kidding. I'm going to mute my microphone because I'm going to read my phone, so I don't want it to interfere. All right. I had quesadillas, coconut rolls, chips, and queso, queso. and now <laughs> we're Nola. Minis, gad dang, gad dang get, yeah. There we go. God dang it. That's uh, depending on yeah. You know, sounds like a lot. I heard like four different accents there. Trying to confuse us. That's hilarious. Look, I sound. I I said it just like you sounded. It just came to me. I was like, let me read this this way. I'm a shaman, you know. That's what shaman says. Shaman. All right, is it going up from here or down from here? What? Where's it going, guys? Steve, I finally get what CTO meant. <laughs> Chief okay. Technical Officer? No. Oh. Um, it's you would understand it better as a cock touching officer. More falls in with your line of work. Mr. Vincent joining us late. How you doing, sir? He was here a little earlier. And he said was he was he? hungry. <clears throat> Yeah, he's all over the place though. Quesadillas, coconut rolls. Mm-hmm. That's not where, where are those hail from. Chips coconut roll. roll. Of queso, chips and queso. You got, he got Mexican. He got some Thai, and he got some like health bar shit. You know what's funny is what what accents have I been doing today? Um, I am Mexican. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Mexico! Hey! Arriba la raza! <laughs> you know what, Shaman? All we can hear is your ladyboy voice. You can't even disguise it anymore. He thinks he can. <laughs> he th- he's doing his best. He's just working hard out there. He don't try it. <laughs> hey, you heard that, guys? We just went to Costco. Did, mm-hmm. They had samples yesterday, bro. Did you have samples? Did you get any samples? They had the mangoes. If you if you haven't had the mango from uh, Costco, you gotta get that big ass bag. The dried yeah, mangoes. The dried mangoes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love yeah my, my kids used to love that when they were little. 
Oh, that shit. So don't get the apricots, though. Why would you do the apricots? No, nah, that shit. That shit, man. You don't want to know, lazy. Yeah. Don't want to know. Let's just say they 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 run they run through really quickly. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, you must have gave that to Terry today. <laughs> I, I seen that in the <laughs> chat, bro. I, I seen that later as fuck, but I seen that in the chat. I was so Wait, upset because I was like instigating so hard, and I knew I was gonna rile him up, but he didn't even get to read it. <laughs> he he was shitting himself. <laughs> he wasn't even. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you don't even know. It. Like I've seen him come into work sometimes, and you see it on his face, and you're like, "All right, I see in a minute." He, he just, he you just see the anguish. In. Yeah, he just kind of w- walk in, like, <laughs> "Yeah, all right, bro." I don't know. He's I, breathing. I don't know like that going on. So wait, when he walks into work, work breathing heavy, you already know he's got to go blow up the toilet first before anything oh, yeah. is done. Well, I mean, it's already kind of a thing that's gonna happen, but you know, when he's when he's in a hurry like that, you know, it's you know. Oh shit! He breathing heavy like he's gonna give birth, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we all been there, right? You know what I'm saying? We're like fuck, fuck. Oh shit! Well, I used to work at AT and T. I had that shit, bro. I had to go. I was having stomach pains and all that. Like, ah, just like you said, like giving birth and shit. And I'm sitting here so uncomfortable. I couldn't take it anymore. I was about halfway through with a customer. And I basically went to the back and was like, yo, y'all going to have to excuse me in a minute because uh, I got to go to my office and it can't wait. Cause that's what I call the bathroom. And then, um, so sure enough, I went out there and then I waited like a minute and then told him something and then introduced him to another associate real quick. And I went to the back and was like, fuck that. I could not wait, bro. I could not. That was so like they had to stop in the middle of a, a customer interaction. That's so awkward. Hell yeah, it is. Especially when that's like a like imagine you go to like AT&T and you get your phone and you're like halfway through everything, and all of a sudden, like, all right, this guy's gonna finish your shit up. Oh, uh, hey, hey, how's, how's it going, guys? It's not the experience you're going for. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, you know I mean, I'm too, bro. You trying to were hold you, that shit? You in like, and yeah, yeah, and you're sitting there farting in front of the customer, like, hey, uh, by the way, here's a, a otter box for your. Who made that sound effect? That was me. He's good with sound effects. It sounded it sounded genuine genuinely real. It did. I thought you shat yourself on stage. Oh, uh, that was good. I didn't think that sounded real at all. <laughs> yeah, no, it did. It did. I think it was real. I think you're just making up that you did sound effects, to be honest. Nah, bro, I don't have gas on command. I think while you're talking about the story, it brought back and your body just reacted to the story you were telling about that time you almost shit yourself. And I just have an have gas on body command. Body got PTSD. Got yeah, gas. exactly. Maybe I should have been a fucking uh, voiceover thing for... Shit, like that guy on Police Academy. I was just gonna say Police Academy four, or Police Academy in general. What? Which like Police Academy where he's really good? Yeah, that dude was fucking legit. And you know the thing Michael is, I think Winslow. he was a stand-up. wasn't he a stand-up comedian? Like he did those things yeah. on stage. Yeah, I met him. Did you? Yeah, recently too. Like the like within the past uh, ten years. Really? <laughs> Recently, like in the past. <laughs> well, I want to say five years, but okay, within the last ten years, if it was nine and a half years ago, that is not recent, Shaman. I want to say it was after twenty twenty, but I'm really not sure. I'm trying to remember the timeline. You know, when you're at a job for like nine, almost ten years, you you kind of go, wait, what year was that? Did that happen? No, I have such a terrible concept of time. Like I. I'm like, oh, that happened like a year ago. And my wife would be like, no, that was like five years ago. And I'm like, oh, like I, I just am bad with that. Mm, this smells good. Oh, shit. Mm. 
Mm, yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I like to get up close and personal with my uh with your dick. No, with my Mary Jane. <laughs> <laughs> smoking a oh, fat one, huh? Uh, I just be I be smoking bowls most of the time, in, unless I get like a pre roll, just because those are handy. But oh, fuck, did I put my grinder right? Because the bowls, it's actually like it's cleaner, it tastes better, and then I don't have to keep buying shit. And and blind say still gonna. They got like man, there's such a big difference with like the tar level and shit. Yeah, I try to stay away from um, rolling shit up and like I prefer it, but smoking that paper and everything is like or well, the cigar paper, whatever, it's like I gotta avoid that. I mean I grew I grew up on that. So to me Yeah, me too. Like, blunt blunt and joints. Yeah, yeah. Tradition. But like right, somebody Somebody gave me um gave me my first like water bong and man it changed my life. <laughs> it lasts longer too, man. Fuck yeah. And you can you know you smoke about a blunt's worth if you want, but like normally you're gonna smoke what? Like half a blunt, you you're good. Mm -hmm. Right? You don't really need the whole blunt, but you don't. So, you know, you just smoke like two or three bowls. Boom. You're gonna go for a little bit, or maybe maybe you just want to, you know, a few hits, smoke a bowl. How maybe is it? Um, get up. we'll get it. Buy a big ass bowl. <laughs> how is it smoking like dabs, like the lit, the the concentrated liquid? I don't know I what mean, you call that shit. To I me never fucked like, with any of that. To me, it's like anything. You just like the first few times you do it, it's kind of like a, a different high because it is a concentrate. So it's like you, you get like fucking high. And then, you you know, you kind of get used to that high. But like I could smoke concentrate all day and then go pack a bowl and still get high off that bowl. Mm. You know what I mean? But at a certain point, it's, it's almost like, you know, if you don't just switch up what you're smoking, you're just going to get tired of it. Like, you know, if you keep smoking the same uh, strain of flour, like it gets old and you got to switch it up a little bit. You build a tolerance, right? Yeah. It's for some reason, it's just like every little strain is like that. So, like, if you're going to buy a large amount, it's better to buy, like, at least two amount, like two different kinds, you know? That's that's what's good about these days, man. Like, I, I wish I smoked the way I used to back in the day. Because now it's like there's so much variety, so many options. And back then, it's like if you were in a certain area, like if I'm in New York City, like there'll be like a period where for like two years, it's all the same shit. It's just purple haze. That's all everybody got for like two years. And you get tired of that shit. It don't get you, yeah, shit. it don't get you high no more. It don't get you high no more. And you end up smoking a lot of it, bro. No, so now it's like it's, it, it's paradise now for anyone who smokes, you know? Something too is like, um, you when you change like you want to have more than one water bong if you can and because the same way with like smoking the same trees is using the same bong for some <laughs> reason i don't know why you switch to another bong same trees and all of a sudden you're like damn i'm getting higher off this shit because i'll go to my friend's house with with my shit and be like what the fuck <laughs> like this shit don't get me like this in my house and it's really? just like it's the different bong interesting yeah, I haven't figured that out yet, but like it's tried and true kind of thing. Like you know, you I think it's all in your head. No, no. <laughs> hey, real quick. Now nah, take your time, bro. In the, <laughs> in the, <laughs> in the, in the fuck your feelings. I just dropped a a, a video. Can you play that, lazy? Yeah. Fuck you, man. You ain't giving no shit for that. Yeah, I know. He didn't say please or anything. He asked me nicely. <laughs> oh, man. I love it when you fight. It's so awesome. 
It makes my day. Lazy and shaman fight. Yeah. <laughs> like we a just like mom and dad used to. Well, we didn't even realize we <laughs> did it. We didn't realize we did it until you guys kept pointing it out to us. We're like, hey, I guess I guess we bicker and shit. <laughs> Getting to a point of a divorce now. No, we're, I'm we're taking wrong. the children, shaman. <laughs> yes. That's me and Nick. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I know. We, Next Friday gonna is gonna be a, so much fun with my new co-hosts. Are we gonna get it? <laughs> are we gonna get it voice? Look, I told you you can have platinum, okay? Come on, Shaman. I thought we were getting along. We are. That's that's why I mean I'm gonna claim you on my taxes, but <laughs> no, absolutely not. My lawyer will have something to say about that. <laughs> Who the heck is Lil Mabu? Mabu. Huh? I don't know who half these kids are. What are you talking about, sir? That a rapper? What 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 <laughs> I was gonna say what lazy <laughs> what lazy's about to pull up if he hasn't oh. forgot. Um, I'm, I'm working on it right now. <laughs> Well, I'm the trying little... to do it like in a way where I can pull it up where I don't have to like broadcast all my all these new little wannabe rapper kids. This dude almost shot his dick off. I heard little naps was pretty good. <laughs> That's me when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> Big naps, little naps. But yeah, that's what I shared in the group. I just I saw it and I laughed so hard. We almost shot his dick off. Somebody was just talking about that the other day too. Cheddar Bob. Oh shit! Cheddar, I Bob. About Cheddar Bob. I wonder if he's the guy that that uh, started Cheddar's. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna play it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Bro, it's, you gotta what well, you gotta Darwin, do man. if he shot his shit or not. Like oh it doesn't look like it. It didn't look like No, nah, he almost did. No, he didn't shoot himself at all, but like yeah, he almost lost his day. <laughs> Cause you know that's that's the kind you of shit. Ass, you shoot yourself down like there. Fake you ass machine gun Kelly. <laughs> yeah, he was about to be machine gun Kelly for real, for real. Like, he, uh, why he use a loaded back. gun? Use a prop or take the bullets out? No shit. shit. Fucking idiot. Well, why is he even doing that's a video like game. that? Nobody, nobody believes that dude's hard at all. <laughs> well, and, the, and he cocked. Hey, do you look harder than him, bro? I know, right? <laughs> I'm as soft as a fucking grape. So what the fuck's he doing? <laughs> exactly. Uh, that's funny. That was a good one, Nick. <laughs> but you got tough skin, though, right? No, not really. Oh, so you're like an old grape? Mm, no. Like a prune or a raisin? <laughs> Quit overanalyzing, shaman. Calm down. Am I overanalyzing or are you underanalyzing? I don't know. I don't know, Shaman. Let it marinate. <laughs> Let it marinate. Quit saying that. Quit <laughs> saying that. Not letting any fucking thing marinate, okay? Shaman. Shaman. <laughs> what, what was the one that everybody oh, confused you with? Man. Shaman. Shaman. Like everybody started doing that. Everybody started doing that to oh. me for a while, so it doesn't like it don't bother me or nothing. You know, it's just a couple people still do it now and then. Over yeah, just wait just wait till a bunch of people keep telling you to let things marinate and see how that sits <laughs> with you. Bro, well I'm saying marinate on it. <laughs> Oh gosh! You know what's a good way to marinate, though? Seriously. Oh, for 
fuck's sake. Overnight? No, vacuum seal. You know those oh, vacuum yeah. seals? Yep. You throw the meat in there, throw your marinade, and then, like, vacuum seal it and leave it over there overnight. I'm going to spike your overnight. vacuum sealer with gluten, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> What happens if you quit eat gluten, say, bro? Quit saying the word marinate, okay? Just quit. <laughs> it sounds mad gay, it's right? My least it's favorite gay. word right now. It sounds mad gay when he says it. I don't know why. <laughs> marinate. <laughs> marinate. <laughs> oh, my God. The laugh was even worse. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> It's actually funny though. <laughs> you said you liked it. I didn't say that. I didn't <laughs> say that. I said the exact opposite of that, Shaman. See, this is why we're breaking up, is because your listening skills are subpar. I was talking to Platinum. Why are you talking to Platinum? <laughs> you, oh, you're talking to other dudes now? Wow. Other co hosts? I already, I'm taking the kids in the divorce, Shaman, okay? Already established. That's cool. Simon, what I'm happens just... if you eat gluten, bro? So, right. um, then, he gets, then he all of a sudden gets attracted to girls. No, it's an autoimmune well, disorder. That's why he's avoiding it. So, <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> can't help that. <laughs> no, <man. laughs> so, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, it's an autoimmune disorder. So, like, um, the the receptors in your intestines that absorb like your vitamins and nutrients and shit, those um, detect the gluten as bad for your body. So then it will kill them off. Uh, the receptors will get killed off permanently as a defense mechanism. And eventually, like, your intestines aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing. Mm. And that's, like, that's, like, the permanent, like, main damage. That That's the reason I don't fuck with it. Because that's permanent shit. Like, it doesn't, like, regrow back and stuff. And you got to, like, eventually, you know, you have to remove some of your intestine and stuff like that. And shit ain't no joke. Leads you to, like, Crohn's disease and shit. So, yeah. Yeah, my son has that. The Crohn's? Yeah. I yeah. think they don't know, but he's got all the symptoms and deals with it. So he's not like officially diagnosed, but they basically know just based on his symptoms type of thing? Pretty much. Did they test him on the gluten shit? They could do a blood test. Oh, yeah. Or not. Okay. Yeah, he's, yeah, gluten, gluten, blah, blah, blah. I just want to put him on the carnivore diet and see how that goes. Yeah, so I you've already seen good. what you've already seen what um Peterson, right? That lady, what's her name? Michaela Peterson. Yeah, yeah, Jordan Peterson's daughter. Yeah. So that artificial shit they pumping us, man, through the food. Hell that, yeah, it is, that our body's going against us, you know. Yeah, exactly. Bro, sure. I used to eat fucking gluten all the time. I love gluten. That shit tastes good as fuck. What? And bro, I Dude, love after gluten. the stream, I'm gonna have a gummy and then I'm gonna eat a bunch of gluten. You're so fucked up, lazy. No, I don't <laughs> care. It's true that's story, cold. Platt. Go, go <laughs> ahead, true though, bro. Story. True story, Platt. Because that's that's <laughs> bullshit. You mean? That ain't the good. You story. know what? You know the Easy thing is though. I have autoimmune disease too. I have alopecia. I lost all my fucking hair just randomly. But you just eat so, through it, right? Fuck it. I, yeah, I just I eat gluten to to tide me over until my hair grows back. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, yeah. I decided not to eat gluten, and I I got hair. So. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. Shaman's got hair allegedly. I mean, none of us have seen him, so we don't know. But we think he might have hair. Oh my is that avatars. why you is that why you losing oh your hair, Tom? And it's not because been. everyone's leaving the group. What happened? Is that why you are losing your hair? I thought it was because of everyone was leaving the group. You know. Who said I was He's leaving what group? Shaman's losing. I thought Shaman had a receding hairline because every every time someone leaves the group, his hairline goes back. 
Oh, because I that's what I put on with the with the, uh, the thing. Can you believe I found that uh, a, a a gift that went with the other one? And, and with the words too. How the fuck? Did yeah, you find bro. That I just shit? came across it. I was like, oh, that was Holy good. Shit. I like that. I don't you even know that? what you're talking about. I thought right. you made it. <laughs> nah, bro. It was in there already. I swear. That's funny, there. man. I had the perfect I, response I and everything. Appreciated the fact that they were the same the same person and shit. That was that was amazing. Felt like honored that it happened. <clears throat> I don't know what you guys are talking about, even. To uh, be it's honest. from the tomato chat. Oh, Jesus Christ. I think it's funny that we have like four chats and it's all the same people. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> it's literally like all the same people minus one or two, like give or take one or two people. It's the same fucking chat. <laughs> nah, because there's another one. You know, it's funny too. Do you know what's funny too? Is somebody will comment and one be like, oh shit, wrong chat. I'm like, well, you're going to put it in the other chat we're all in. So who gives a fuck which chat you put in? <laughs> no, no. It's when, if you write it in tomatoes, if you if you post it in tomatoes, you don't need to repost it and to fuck your feelings. Okay. Now, if you put it in fuck your feelings, you might need to yeah, repost we have it. The, in we tomatoes. have the fuck your feelings. We have the, which one's the gluten free one? Tomatoes. The, that's it. Okay. I thought yeah. that's the one I wasn't 100%. But we have literally so many chats of all the same people and like <laughs> very similar conversations in all of them. It's like we're all fucking bipolar and we just have to ch- put no. certain things in certain chats and certain things in the other. Same same audience for all of them, but we just we're all fucking retards. <laughs> that's just what it all boils down to. And then the <laughs> thing is, I I have one that's like a mix because we have the Solana one that's like a mix of some of us and not all of us. And there's like people that are a little bit different there. I think that's our most diversified one. It's just out of control. What do you mean I have different? like I have like seven or eight chats going and three fourths <laughs> of them are all the same fucking people. The same conversation. <laughs> the fuck's wrong with us? <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> when I when I pull up my Twitter and I see all the notifications, I'm like, this is all one conversation just spread out. <laughs> I'm so fucking annoyed. <laughs> I'm not wrong though, right? You guys, you guys know it's what I'm true. talking about. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's just funny. <laughs> the funny thing is, uh, is Bengo left all the chats because she said, I'm in too many chats with y'all. <laughs> so she chooses mm-hmm. one. Just, uh, she just that's the out. one that, that no one's in now. <laughs> no one. Which one is that one? Talks one, in one, there. one? The, only, the only one Bengo stayed in. <laughs> Which, Which one? Which one is... Oh, that's Rackets. Rackets. Oh. In the Moon Boys. Yeah, I don't oh, even know shit, if that's that in there anymore. I was gonna say I don't remember the last time anybody commented on that one. Uh, three uh, March seventh. I think Nick was. Oh, the and last that was one. me. Yeah, <laughs> that was you, Nick. You're <laughs> the last one that might ever comment on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you you get you get He's the in there still. Let's hey, let's revive it, huh? We should let's, let's go bomb it, it right now. We just let's go fucking bomb. <laughs> so y'all have, it. I'm y'all have fun with that. Y'all go have fun with that. I'll, I'll be right here. You, you like, chose your side. Good, Shaman's not, not in that one. You chose Shaman your side. Had not, Shaman had, was not invited to that one. So he's <laughs> he's never going to. We should all talk shit about Shaman because he can't read it. Yes. Hell, I'll be right back. Funny. Hell yeah, bro. We could talk about our new show. Handle that. <laughs> <laughs> Shaman, you sound so sad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, we're still going to do it. I'm playing with myself. It's all good. Joke. We could just make that the chat for the new show, you know, where we talk about what we're going to do on the show. You know, the Lazy Jones show featuring Nick. Big Nick. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, you're lucky. You're lucky if if Nick joins you, because at least then you have somebody to do the thumbnails and shit. Shit. That ain't mine. That ain't me. (laughs) Oh, never mind. You're fucked. Hey, Shaman, so 
So hypothetically, if I gave you like 0.1 soul every week, could you make a picture for me? <laughs> hypothetically. Hypothetically, it depends on the price of soul at the time and how nice of a pick that you want, sir. Okay. 0.1 to 0.13. That's the range. Just some DJ fun. <laughs> Look at Steve. Steve is getting upset. <laughs> What's he upset? Y'all can eat shit. I ain't never been invited to any of these secret groups you guys got. Moon Boys, Eclipse Guys. Eclipse Guys is just Shaman and his people, bro. <laughs> we don't know about that one. <laughs> bro, Eclipse Guys was very, very private, and if you didn't have tickets, you ain't getting it. Okay, so. Steve, I did not get invited to Eclipse Boys. I don't know what that one is. I, 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 Eclipse hey. Guys, Moon Boys, okay? There's a difference. Okay, whatever, Eclipse Guys. I don't care. I, I'm glad I wasn't invited because I'm already in too fucking many. <laughs> that drives me nuts. Yeah. What's up with that? Eclipse Boys? Eclipse Guy? No, Moon Boys. What the hell is Eclipse this? Yeah. Right. You don't want to know. I'm in, I'm in Moon Boys right now, just gifting to that. <laughs> no, I've never heard of Eclipse Guys. I don't know what the fuck that is, but yeah. Oh my gosh. I'll run with it. <laughs> hey Shaman, if you behave yourself, I'll send you a snap. I'll send you a picture of the what the chat looks like that you're not in. <laughs> Ooh. Yo, Nick, this shit's funny. <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> Those gifts, like the three gifts you put up, man. I know. You got me laughing. <laughs> Seriously, it's been so long since anybody's done anything in this chat. We're just blowing it up randomly. Well, we so might we get bangled on the still in are going to wake up tomorrow and be like, what the fuck happened last night? We oh, should yeah. take it over and make it a call channel like the it's other It's a one. community takeover of the community that stopped being <laughs> the a community. We we're doing a community takeover of the community chat that used to be a community that's no longer a community, but we're making it our own community again. <laughs> I wonder if I have the ability to kick everybody else out. Besides us. No, but you can you can add people. I don't think I was a founding member though. Which one am I? Which one? Which one are we? The the starters of Shaman. Um, tomatoes. Which, is that one us? So I can kick yeah. everybody out if I want. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I want. I just want to know I have power over other people. You're the ultimate controller of that, sir. <laughs> that one's me. Is it really the yep. tomato one? Who, who put yep. that name? I did not uh, approve that name. As the, the, the one that likes plants the most around here. Well, Plat, you know? there you go. Plat, I probably you know like plants one? a lot more than he does, but you know, you know what, Platt? Since you're my right. new co host, I'm not going to kick you out, but just be warned. Don't put tomato sauce in chat name again. <laughs> oh my god, we're 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 full on retard tonight, guys. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> she does more often. Oh my god. Let me know if my phone's causing static on my microphone. By the way, you're you're good so far. Oh shit! <laughs> I forgot that I started that one. It's been the tomato name for a long time. We should okay. That's what we gotta do tonight, guys. We gotta think of a new name for the the tomato one. We've had Eclipse that name guys. forever. We Eclipse guys. Nope. Hate that. Um, what else we got? <laughs> that was quick. Uh. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see. You already changed it to that. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Who did that? That is the most ladyboy laugh I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> That's it. That's what it is. The clips. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, well, at least change the picture of the fucking tomato. Then. I'm trying, okay? Give me a damn second. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Man, okay. Platt, me and you were both on the same idea on, on the the gifts, the takeover gifts. Oh yeah, I almost picked, I almost picked the same ones you did. I almost picked that one, bro. 
<laughs> World domination. Wait, wait, yeah. let me see. Oh, my fucking internet. Like, I just see, like, the little thing where there's something about to play, but nothing's popping so right now. I want to see it. Gonna let I forgot that there. I told you in the chat that I was changing it. I was hoping you were just going to look up and be like, fuck, shit. No, no, you didn't pull a fast one like you tried to. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. All right, I'm changing this up. You gotta do better, Shaman. (laughs) (laughs) Steve's the one that named it, not me. You know what's real funny is everybody that's not in the chat right now is gonna look at me. What the fuck is this? Oh, oh, what's that chat? Somebody might leave. Steve, they think Steve they got- you need to, you need to just calm down, Steve. Yeah, I'm gonna put everybody on. Well, I'm not gonna, but I I just want to know <laughs> that I have the option to. You know what I mean? So the only people in Moon Boys that we don't normally talk to every day is Mile High, Marty. Um, Marty's, in, oh, Marty's in tomato. Yeah, oh, Marty's in I guess tomato. I don't Mar- ever Marty see makes talk, great man. calls. He doesn't nope. all that Sorry. often, to be honest. But whenever he guy. does. No, he's in you know why, he's, he's you know why Marty makes great calls? You want to know why? Because he follows all our wallets and does the opposite. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, probably true. true. Oh, and that is smart. That, that is fucking it. smart. <laughs> he's like, what are these fuckers that do? Okay, I'm getting into everything but what I see on this list. <laughs> That's probably true. God bless him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm getting really fucking annoyed. None of the gifts are loading. Oh, wait. That one did. Oh, oh shit. Bless <laughs> it's time for the takeover. <laughs> it's time for the takeover. <laughs> oh, <goodness>. Perfect. One million dollars. He just had that saved in his phone since the video launched. <laughs> okay, these are good. I hate that they don't just show up and I have to click on them individually because my internet's being retarded. But What, the guys? Yeah, yeah already. <laughs> uh, calm down, Shaman. I'm not hiring. I got the Eclipse you can, guys. You can get in the unemployment line. I'm not paying you for what you want me to. Oh, well, that's that's on you, bro. Good luck with them uh, thumbnails. Well, maybe I'll slide you some money under the table. Okay, we'll talk about it later. Platt, how how good are you at thumbnails? I can figure it out. Good enough for me. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, have fun with that. <laughs> Shaman, I'm kidding. Come remember, on. remember, remember the thumbnail oh, no. you had on the on the um uh after party after thing. Party? You did? That's yeah, what you're gonna I have. Remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> I think really Shaman's funny. starting to think I'm serious that I'm gonna replace him with you guys. <laughs> 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 He's getting all like, oh, oh, is that the quality of thumbnails you think the show's gonna be successful with? I don't think so. I don't think so, lazy. You gonna replace me? Know. You gonna replace me? <laughs> I'm gonna replace you. <laughs> uh, I already said it earlier, Shaman. I said that if we ever did part ways, my channel would crash and you would thrive. Okay, I gave you props. So uh, just I don't think down. that's what would happen, though. I don't think that would happen that way. Well, I mean, Platt's going to figure it out with the thumbnail, so I don't know. Maybe you're right. <laughs> I'll be real with you, bro. Look, look. He's do, you, do you really think anybody that comes into the chat and, and actively watches the show every week is like, oh, fuck that thumbnail I'm not watching? I would be. Be like, fuck this thumbnail. I'm too good for this channel. I will not participate. I will not view their content. It's not up to par. You know what my first thought would be when I see a shitty thumbnail is like, I bet Platt could figure this out. 
That's what you think when you see that. That's what you think when you see a soft penis. Yeah, he'd figure out how to how to, you know, bluff it. What do you bluff it? Thank you. I, I didn't know. The, I'm not part of the industry. I didn't know the terminology, but thank you for that. <laughs> You're the one that taught me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you lying ass motherfucker. Oh shit! I love Man. what things devolve into when we're like six hours into a stream. It just gets so fucking stupid. It's really degenerate. Way. It really is bad. <laughs> uh, I can't believe we we still have thirty three people watching. Those poor sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, I'm I'm just hoping it gets better because there's nothing else going on this late at night. Guess what, guys? It's not getting better. It's going to continue to get worse, if anything. Welcome to so the bu late Buckle right. your many, fucking chin straps. <laughs> how many How many people you think are going to bail out of the Eclipse guy? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering, too. We lost, we lost well, Jeremy. I mean, it is, take a, it, anymore. it is a terrible name. You guys you guys <laughs> made Jeremy quit fucking Twitter, bro. What the fuck? You okay, but okay, hey, we man, haven't this even. This is not for the the the, the week. We haven't you know seen I mean? Jeremy for a while, so something. I wonder if something else happened that. I don't know. I think. I when think was it's last time it he was even a call channel. Chat? It's because it became a call channel, bro. Because what did? The tomatoes the chat? chat. It became a call channel. The last time well, Jeremy well, said something, he was like, "Oh, this is turning into a call channel." That's the last thing he ever said. Well, uh, then he needs to contribute yeah. and make it not a call channel. Like, come well, on, man. I don't keep up on but, the channel you know, all that. It is what it is. Often. Are we no, his no, entertainment? I don't, I don't talk about shit. Are you not entertained? Right? Like, are we supposed to talk and bullshit on there? And he just reads through it and goes, oh, that's funny. And doesn't participate? Or it just devolves into a call channel and then he gets upset about it? I don't, I mean, I don't I know, Jeremy. So I'm just talking shit. Um, I would say, I would say probably what happened was, um, he probably just got bored no, with it. There was no conversation or, worth adding to because it was all revolved around shit coins and he ain't fucking yeah. with that. So or he bought one of these rugs and, and then left. <laughs> no, not Jeremy. No, he, he I know. probably didn't. I've heard but, him speak enough but, to no, know I, I, he, he's smarter than everyone else. And, uh, I honestly get it though because I don't know. Garbage. Who knows how many other channels he's in though? Like I could literally delete four groups and still have the same information like we spoke about earlier. You know, um, maybe just I don't know. That's I didn't realize he left though. I would never know because I okay no, for me I don't have I have I don't I don't get notification like I have notifications when I go into Twitter. I don't know people that get notified about every time they receive a. You know, a DM or no, it was a, it was a big deal. Everyone talked about it for a minute, and then we, we jumped over to another one. Oh, let's go to the other chat. We jumped back and forth. Let's See, my life, is un <laughs> my life is uninterrupted by Twitter until I open it, and then I look through notifications or whatever. Like, I don't know why people would have notifications from Twitter turned on, like where their phone actually vibrates, like you get a text message or something. I think I that's know. weird as shit. Influencers. Watch this. Watch this. Lazy. Hmm. Tech, uh, message the chat. I already uh, don't want to do what you're asking me to do. Just message you changed the, the photo. Message the chat that, um, yeah, where I sent you the NFT. Just message back to me. Uh, Steve got me laughing. The Eclipse one? No. I didn't send you an NFT in there. So you okay, don't listen. What, did you, what did you send me an NFT in? DJ and gambling chat. That's not even one of ours. What? what did you send me an NFT in? I guess it would be like our, our dev chat. On Twitter. Yep. I never did you it send that. it? To, did I you never... send it to the wrong chat? The NFT that I had sent, remember? That you pulled up? Oh, which one was that? That was fuck your feelings, right? No. God damn it! Which one was <laughs> too that? Too many chats. 
you with each other. I'm not chat. even joking. Which one was it? The dev chat that we got with you, me, and F Joe. Oh. Fucking shit. Yo, guys, I got I got a clip of the uh eclipse now, party that mess- Shaman was at. Now message there. Message anything in there. Just just write anything. Just throw a message. Okay, I just sent it. Yep, I know you did. Really? How does that yep. just not eat at your soul every day if you get... Bro, I'm talking to my boss oh. today, okay? We're, like, looking at a computer, and I'm talking to my boss. And my phone... Ba-ding, 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 ba-ding. I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. You, yep. you just want to look ding, important ding, in front ding. of your boss, so you turn notifications on. Like, yeah, I'm a big deal. Everybody wants to get a hold of me. Sorry, bro. I couldn't I couldn't deal with that. That would just literally that's the only reason I have as many night. chats that's as I on at do night. is I on at night, bro. That's while I'm sleeping. You what? It's on at night. You, it, that you happens while you're you and F Joe Why? having a conversation at night, bro. You and F Joe having your little conversations while I'm sleeping. Ba ding ba ding ba ding ba ding ba ding. Yep. How do you even function with that happening? It usually doesn't wake like, me up. I literally have to turn off my work emails or it'd be that way. Like I couldn't do that with notifications left or right. Only thing that notifies me is my text messages or obviously I, uh, I could my... not function. If my phone was doing that with emails and Twitter, Twitter. Oh God. No, not all my Twitter stuff is on there. Just certain things that I need to know. But like if, if, uh, not a well, fucking not thing on Twitter is important enough for me to have that sound happening in my ear even a few times throughout the day. Nah, bro. <laughs> and and when, I, when I'm... The Punch Neko babies chat, and kick puppies. That's hey, how mad I get at just hearing you have that on stream when I put... Modding, modding by, for the by the way, chat? the message I put to him is F you. <laughs> hey, listen. The, the, the mod chat and the Neko That was the tester. Right, both of the both mm-hmm. of the chats for Neko, I have I had alerts on for that too. So anytime a message is coming through, <laughs> fucking buy bot. I don't know. I just I I, I believe strongly in compartmentalizing my life into different things, and notifications for everything coming in would just mm-mm, no, I couldn't even. Bro, imagine. I told you how many Gmails I got on on my phone right now. Is. That's why I have new co-hosts. Do you, do you know what my notification Ooh, bar looks disagree like? With your, I disagree you know with your way of living, looks like? And then you got YouTube notifications. This person just came up with a new video. I, I, yeah, whatever. And then you got Google I do Mac. have I do have um, YouTube notifications, but it doesn't make a sound. It'll just like a little thing come up on my phone once yeah, somebody posts a new video. Do. I had it all but figured they out. They don't they don't make a sound, they don't vibrate my phone, they don't do anything that would disturb anything I'm doing in real life if they do post a video, but I will see a notification when I like turn my phone screen on, it'll be a notification there. I'm fine with that, but I don't even want that for Twitter because that would just be too much. Way too much. Okay. Nick Platt, do you guys have your notifications on? Or are you no. just uh, not the, I don't have a, like, I guess I do, but I don't have sounds. Like, I'll still. Yeah, and that's more reasonable to me. Like, I, I still don't even want to just see it pop up on my phone. I don't, but I could handle that if, like, I'm not paying attention to my phone and I go to look at it and I see it on my, you know, whatever screen that I have notifications for. It. I don't want that, but I could handle that more. But, like, actually having, like, a vibrate or a sound associated with every Twitter notification. I mean, that's how mass shootings start. Maybe where you're from. (laughs) 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 You put Platt to sleep. He hadn't said anything yet for like 10 minutes. But see, I don't have... He's partying uh, in the Moon Boys chat. I don't have the (laughs) Eclipse Eclipse (laughs) chat. The eclipse chat doesn't make a sound when that goes in when that hits. Is that is that the only one? More see what it changed to. Yeah. Oh wait, what is it? Steve, Steve got in there. Steve's handiwork. 
the story of five guys. <laughs> I didn't even see what's in parentheses because I started laughing early. <laughs> what does the whole thing say? Not a call channel. <laughs> oh man, that's funny as shit. This shit. Oh, Platt's back. I'm back. Back again. He's back. Back again. Yes, he's back. Tell a friend. <laughs> Not a call channel. Oh, uh, that's funny as shit. <laughs> Look at the five guys. <laughs> definitely not red. a definitely not a quick call channel, right? Right, Steve? No, it's gonna it's gonna take you a while to get through all five of them guys. Sorry, man. Steve's just jealous because he wanted to be the only one. I look at Napoleon. Huh? Oh, you're not in that chat. Sorry, bro. <laughs> I really don't give a fuck. To be real, <laughs> that's why the chat is dead. Because it's a, it's a dead ass chat. That's why you're asking, right? <laughs> no that's one else is talking, talking about you, fucking Nimrod. That's right. <laughs> Shaman's, get, Shaman's getting feisty. <laughs> See, when you, I don't like listen. I don't like to use language like that. I don't like to use language like that. But when you get me angry, it comes out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if you we get new response. Oh my, oh my god, god. <laughs> Nimrod <laughs> from the Bible. How you know he's angry. <laughs> to be honest, Story I really like that. Guys. I actually love the that because I always I always use stupid things to insult people too. Sometimes like like I I'm not even gonna use them until I'm pissed off, but like you fucking mad. <laughs> he's just that's a good one. Uh fucking them <laughs> Oh my oh, god! Yeah. Like, and can poop or whatever. That that that's how pissed off and frustrated Shaman is. That's what he, that's what he came up with. He's like using biblical Nimrod. scripture, bro. That's how upset he is. Judas Priest, you! Oh goodness gracious! Oh my! You can't biblical on me, bro. Uh, I'm gonna throw my staff down. Well, if he's going down. biblical, he's gonna sodomize you, oh, and then Gamora you. Whoa, Damn, whoa, he went whoa. biblical. I mean, Shaman started the precedent, so I'm just continuing on. Not, not really on that. I mean, you know. Shut up, Nimrod. <laughs> I don't think there was anything about uh, molesting kids when they're talking about Nimrod in those days. I didn't say that. I said <laughs> sodomizing you and then Gomorrahizing you. The next level, the next level. Your Nick, that hey. gift is funny with Macho Man, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. May not like it, but accept it. <laughs> Look at Macho Man. <laughs> <laughs> the Macho Man. <laughs> that guy was such a character, bro. Dude. <laughs> it's crazy how he died, too. Yeah, he ran rammed into a tree. Yeah, but the thing is, he had a heart attack, and that's why he ran into mm -hmm. the tree. Like yeah. you're just doubling down on your own death. I'm gonna have a heart attack and ran and run into a tree. Like holy shit, Macho Man Randy Savage doesn't half-ass anything. I'm gonna have a heart attack <laughs> while I'm running into a tree. And no, then even the way he died with an elbow him. from the listen, listen, he, he snapped into a tree trunk. <laughs> oh my god, that was good, Sean. <laughs> oh, that was good. Snap oh, into a man. slim gym. Oh yeah, <laughs> he just slapped. Snap into a trim truck. Oh yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, Shaman, that's your best work all night, right there. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, it took six hours in, but we got the best out of you. <laughs> Finally got a short. That was good, though. So we made fun of what five dead people tonight? That's great, fucking world mm -hmm. record here. Uh, we have some bad karma coming our way, shaman. 
<sighs> I mean, right. we might we There's... might both be gone by next week, and then we and then Nick and um, Platt won't even be co-hosts; they'll just be the new hosts because we'll be gone. Can we be on your back, karma? Jed, are you gonna have a clean slate? You're gonna wipe wipe it clean when you get rid of Shaman. All that bad juju goes over there. And well, I'm part of the bad slate. juju at this point, so I guess me and Shaman are in it together again. We're both going out. We're both gonna have heart attacks while snapping into a fucking tree trunk. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, you guys God. gotta carry on the the oh, show legacy. I mean, yeah. you can slightly rebrand it, and we won't haunt better. you. But if you if you rebrand it too much, we will haunt you. I'm gonna have to look for a Hulk Hogan gift now to respond to uh, that <laughs> it's gonna be the that was a ridiculous time. video you shared in there, gentlemen. Huh? You like that? That, that was fun. <laughs> Pink still like, looking good. I I couldn't I couldn't uh, stop watching that shit. Where are we at? Thirty four eighteen. Come on, guys! If you uh, if you order now, uh, we'll waive your shipping and handling fees. Mm-hmm. But wait, there's more. There's more. <laughs> no, that was it. Ten hours and forty-three minutes left. Holy shit! This is gonna be crazy tomorrow, though. I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited for this. Just the be done and like see the chart and see what happens. Pre-sale <laughs> pre-sales are cool though. Like it gives you a little bit of time, but at the same time it's like let's just pull this together and just see what the hell happens. Poor Steve. What's wrong with Steve? Steve, are you okay, Steve? Steve. He says Steve. he cries every night because uh we moved to other chats and, and left him alone in the tomato chat. I cry every night because of JT. What did Justin Timberlake do to you? <laughs> cry in my river. He just he just <laughs> he made him get an abortion. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Pretty sure that's what's uh, wrong with Britney Spears, right? It was in a book or something. At sixteen yeah. months. <laughs> <laughs> That 16 month abortion causes 16 years of therapy. <laughs> oh, it's more than that's that. 16 months. That's the funniest shit ever. I mean, abortions aren't funny unless they're at 16 months, guys. My mom was asking for an abortion up until I hit 18. So I think she was asking one for earlier from today. She's like, I just wish I could abort you. You're like, sorry, mom. Well, then who's gonna go get your cigarettes for you? You know, exactly. <laughs> Chaka's in there flirting, man. She's Chaka. like, you know, next time you go get cigarettes, can't you just leave like your father did? Yeah. You know, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, and Shaman has to laugh to keep from crying. That's funny. Can't you just leave like you're fine? <laughs> Go get some cigarettes and don't come back. What I time is the smoke. poker tournament tomorrow? Probably in the probably five o'clock in the afternoon. I hope it's a little bit later. Bro, it would help so much if you just went in the fucking telegram or read read a, a, a tweet or a post, whatever it's called. Oh look, somebody left our somebody left the um thing. The T G. Yeah, you saw that? Yeah, it was one of my one of my people. Uh they I guess they missed the verification to speak in there. So they're, you know, they came to me going, I can't speak in there. What's wrong? And I was like, you might have missed the, the verification button. Sometimes when you miss it, you can't find it again. 
Yeah, and I have my shit strict too. I don't kick them out after like a few hours or a day, maybe or two days, because I wanted to give people a chance to like, you know, let somebody know. But I figure if they join and haven't, you know, even tried to say anything in in a day or two, then they probably were a fake person. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, like I told them to leave, leave it, and come back. Yeah. Um, and hit that verification. Don't miss your verification step. Because you, I mean, and you have the power to like over, like unmute them, I believe. Even though, like, you can do that, I think. But I always think it's better to go through that because as much as we know people, you know, it's kind of like, it's, it's not that hard to press the button, right? It's pretty standard. Make sure you're human. Yeah. Could be a robot. How well do you know that person? Are they AI? Which person? That person? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I was reading. Uh, Chalk, is, Chalk is in the flirting PG. Is he going, going crazy? Ham. Yeah, he's he's devving up a storm in there, and I was just reading something he wrote. What's TG you talking about? Neko? Nico? No, flirting. You ain't in Flerkin, bro. I don't think so. Then you're you're. And then now's the perfect time, because in all this chaos, it's tanked down to eighteen k. So. Oh god. Yeah, I brought my. I mean, I'm, I'm to in the token. I got the token. Yeah. I'm just not in the TG. Okay, I brought my cost basis down to twenty k. He ain't a real follower. <laughs> right. <laughs> he's not a TG guy. He's a he's a Twitter guy. I don't I don't stay in token long enough to be in the TG. Right. By the time I get I verify myself, I'm already out of the token, bro. Oh, flirking. Took my money. Mm-hmm. Uh, Did you sell already? No, down too much. Well, I guess you're going to be <laughs> in for a little while, so why don't you go ahead and join the TG? <laughs> no, I'm just going to go incinerate this shit. <laughs> you ain't down that low. <laughs> Damn. Jesus Christ, Flat. Oh, man. You can, you can sell that shit at five cents and get some money off of it. What are you talking about? We'll go, we'll go ahead of the soul incinerator, bro. Wait, how much do you make off Soul Incinerator for getting rid of your dust tokens? You may you make a little bit. These I had that guy send me yeah, a link for it, but I've never, I haven't used I haven't used it yet. You just go on the website, connect your wallet, select your tokens that you want to burn, or your NFTs. Ooh, and they give you money like they, yeah, how's that small amount. Work? Give you small Dude, amounts. I, Zero, zero, two. One of my wallets has a scam ass thing in it. It says I have nine k worth of this token. That's not worth a goddamn thing. It's a scam. Yeah, so I should try that out on that one. That should be my first one. Yeah, I wonder. Um, I got a couple. I got. I opened my uh, Ethereum wallet one day, uh, checking on uh, Ether Scan. And it said I had fifty eight thousand dollars. Like what? Yeah, I scary. hate when that because I get excited. Like, did something come back to life and go nuts in a big way or something? But then I'm like, no, that one. No nope. shit. Still poor. Every yeah, day. the one that says I have like almost ten grand worth. Like, found the token address and all this shit, and it's worth like two cents. Like you bastards. And I need more. Working. Oh, look at Platt. He did it. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling in the TG in a big way. What'd you done do, Platt? <laughs> what did he do? I, read, I read it out loud, Platt. What'd you say? No, no, it's, it's a gift. You got to look at it. <laughs> oh, well. This is the way I arrived. That means I'd have to join too. 
fucking lazy. Go on. We're all talking shit to Platt about not joining it. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I want to see your gift, but not bad enough to join a telegram. <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> Do you see what Shaman has to deal with all the time? <laughs> Uh, no, I I actually actually Neko was like my well I'd been in telegrams for like a brief second in the past, but like Neko's the first one that I actually spent some time in, and then I've joined a bunch more since then. But I'm still not like a huge fan of it. But it is like if you want to see some shit with tokens, if you're going to be around for more than Plat would be, it, it's beneficial i guess but still still unless i'm in a token i don't join yeah once i sell out i'll leave nick how you got the anime version of the gif i just put up it's a it's a sticker pack you click on click on it add the sticker pack to your stickers it's got a bunch of different um animated gifs from like how did, how did you find that same exact I just I, it's in the sticker pack and I, I just I use it often oh, okay. and so when you put the gif up there I was like oh shit it's in <laughs> like my so Platt what he's saying is your your gif wasn't original enough for where he couldn't find it in a sticker pack immediately your well, Jedi in my, in my top <laughs> Yeah, that's trying to rile me up. That's what it is. He wants to be entertained. <laughs> Are you not I entertained? Like I do love it when you get riled up, Platt. It's probably my favorite. I know. Thing you ever. try to push my buttons on purpose. <laughs> I mean, I do it to everybody we'll else, too, so I feel like I'm picking on you. No, the P spot, the Platt spot. You got to push that button. Ooh, touch me in my ignites. Platt spot. Oh, my God. Touch my, my Platt spot. spot. Oh my gosh, Shaman's gonna make money at work on this while he's whoring himself out. Touch me in my plat spot. <laughs> that's Touch that's gonna be a new plat saying. Spot. Plat, you're gonna have Touch to change your now. screen name. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Oh, that guy's awake. What? Yeah, he's peeing on us. In the eclipse. Huh? Uh, the guy you put a pee- peeing on you. Uh, oh, yeah. boy. God, oh. I got to think of a new name. Before I go to bed, I'm changing the name of that chat. <laughs> nah, <laughs> Maybe. Maybe he's got his, his notifications on, too. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. <shot. laughs> <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. Fuck. I think Steve is mad because of that guy earlier in the chat. No, we're talking in the chat. Steve is mad. He's always mad mad at each other. (laughs) You saw what that guy said. Shit. Shit, What did did that guy say? He goes, he goes, what is he? (laughs) He goes, they were talking, right, about play or something. And I guess that guy got annoyed. And then he goes... Easy to do. He goes... <laughs> yeah. he, goes <laughs> he, goes, he goes, okay, Stephen, bye. Back to the non-retard group. Meaning he was leaving to the group about retards in it. Oh <laughs> so he was the other there's, so mu- <laughs> there's so much shit I miss in all 30 of our chats. It's crazy. <laughs> like, I had no idea that oh. happened. I wish I could have seen it. The one, the only, the only funny thing that I saw was Nick and that guy going at it earlier today when I first <laughs> woke up. That one was funny. Uh, yeah, that was good. Nick was getting upset. Hell no. Nah. Nick, Nick was getting nah, upset Nick, with that. Nick guy. was holding the line, is what was going on. You, was you like, don't talk you... about my muppets. Hell no. <laughs> don't you be talking about my mama. Hey, they're my Muppets now, too. I bought in today, guys. I'm there a proud you go. owner. You, you share them. You get them on weekends. 
Hey. Oh, okay, I'll take that. <laughs> I'll be I honest. I don't man. mind the idea of being a part time dad. <laughs> when you first came to me with this Muppet shit, I was like, you know, he seemed like he was cool, but he's into this Muppet shit. Like, what the fuck <laughs> is this Muppet shit? Because I, I never really liked Muppets as a kid. Like, I was never big on, on that. So to me, it's like, whatever. But I'm not going to lie. The fucking cool Muppets, bro. <laughs> right. Well, I guess my first thought on them, like, there was some I funny like this shit, yeah. that I saw. I thought they were funny as shit, but I'm like, but I don't, I don't do NFTs typically. So I was like, is this an NFT thing? Or, you know, that was my first impressions way back when you started putting them out there, Nick. But like, I, they cracked me up. I love them. They've now. always cracked me up. They always cracked me up. If they would have been on, just straight ETH or something I knew what I was doing on, I would have had them scooped up pretty cool. Not NFTs, but like just the token. But It's the vibe. <clears throat> it's the vibe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. The fact that, and, and, the fact and, that you guys and... made me like Muppets is amazing. <laughs> well, Fra- Fraggle Rock was cool. Okay, so fuck me. Fraggle Rock was cool. Yeah, we definitely got some Fraggle looking motherfuckers. Um, but well, yeah. you know, Kermit and Miss Piggy and shit. You know, I wasn't big on them. I mean, who didn't watch Sesame Street though? And who doesn't like the garbage guy? <clears throat> the garbage Oscar the Grouch. I was gonna yeah, say he garbage. don't like anybody. <laughs> <laughs> that would be me if I was a Muppet. That'd be fucking perfect for me. Who Oscar the Grouch? Uh huh. So I'd be fuck fuck everybody. Get away from me. I'd be I think big Terry. I think Terry would be on yeah. Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> really? Dude, not now you've ruined Oscar for me. That reminds me of that sketch. <laughs> I, that, I, that I had Dave dibs Chappelle on that sketch. trash can. <laughs> Dave Chappelle sketch was there like talking shit on him. He's like, Oscar, you're a grouch. He's a bitch, I live in a fucking trash can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what's crazy is how good the Chappelle show was? Oh, it was ahead like, of its time. Can't do so it today, far. though. No, oh god, no. But it's so like okay, they had the the blind dude that was part of the KKK, oh, yeah. but he's black. Oh my, so many funny ass skits that yeah, you couldn't get away with it today. And I mean. That's half of why he left the show is because he couldn't do the shit he really wanted. He, like, he couldn't continue to do the shit he wanted. Like, you know, he felt too much pressure to, like, be a certain way because they were trying to pay him buku bucks, like, tens of millions of dollars. And on a Comedy Central show, that's, like, he, that's unheard of. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. The Chappelle, and another one that I fucking love is Key and Peele. That was a great show too. I missed out on Key and Peele, man. Key and Peele is good so though. I've seen, I see clips now, and I'm like, oh man, I missed out. You done oh, yeah. messed up, AA Ron? Yeah. A. Block A. A. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Flat, when you get a chance, Blake. just Block A, yeah, Block A. Like, okay, just for Key and Peele, okay, there's a couple ones that stand out to me. Um, substitute teacher fucking golden and then um barack obama's anger interpreter interpreter like so fucking funny those ones like i mean there's so much other good shit in that show but if you're just like doing like for a few minutes just to see what it's all about those are the ones you got to start with i'm gonna check that out you will not regret it bro it's funny as fuck so Obama angry interpreter and what's the other one? Oh that the, was... um okay. Substitute teacher, that's the one that we're kind of you done messed up, AA Ron. <laughs> it's hilarious. There's like four or five skits of those, I think. But then the um Barack Obama anger interpreter, because yeah, Obama's known for being just calm and collected no matter what. And so he has an anger interpreter where Barack Obama speaks and then he interprets what he means by it. By being super fucking angry and saying what Brock really wanted to say. Even okay, so the funny part about it too is okay, so 
other than Trump, every president, like there's the White House Correspondents Dinner every year where they have a comedian or whatever. And they actually had, which one is, is it key or peel? I don't, I don't know which one's which, to be honest. I don't know their names. I don't know. It's, it's key is the one that does the, he's the director for like those, the movies or whatever. So it's gotta be peel. But anyway, he does it at the white house correspondence dinner with Barack Obama, like Barack Obama's talking and then he's doing his like bit like, and it's, that's funny as fuck too. No. You gotta watch it. Just you won't you won't regret it. I like the noise one. They're all they got tons of funny ones. The oh, they got yeah, yeah they got a ton. Like those you. are the those are the ones that and stand said, out. Bitch. And I said, "Bitch!" And they look around like because they won't say it in front of their wife. And it's like, did you, but but wait, did you really say it? Did you really say it? I said, oh yeah, oh yeah. They're talking about talking shit to their wives because they're like these like <laughs> husbands that are just like battered husbands. I said, bitch. <laughs> so good. Such a great fucking show, bro. I'm telling you, Platt, you gotta just start looking it up. And again, they're they're a few minute clips, so it's not gonna take, it's not gonna like you know when somebody recommends a movie to you and you're like, that's like an hour and twenty minutes. I don't know if I really trust your recommendation enough to check that out. But when it's like a few minute clip, it's like you got nothing to lose. And if it sucks, you can you can go in the eclipse chat and tell me what an idiot I am for thinking it's hilarious. No, they're funny <laughs> as fuck, man. I've seen a few clips here and there, and I'm like, I missed out on a good show. I'm gonna yeah, check it out. No, that show is great. Hey, uh, shout out to Gumpy Kiwi if he's watching. That's a name I ain't heard in a while. When the fuck was the last time he's been around? Well, I see a Gumpy followed the uh, mail token. So Did he? Thinking, but I don't know if it's Gumpy I Kiwi. Have... Yeah, it's Gumpy Kiwi. So he's probably uh, watching. That's awesome. Because, you know, he watches at work. If you, I believe that's what oh. he Oh. If I remember correctly. So well, if Gumpy well. watches this, Gumpy, we miss you. Participate in the chat whenever you get a chance because we do not. Again, I have not even heard that name in a while since you mentioned it, Shaman. So that's cool that he's following the project. Bro, they got so many funny skits on that, though. I said, bitch. And they got that, like the fake gangster shit too. Yeah. I like, yeah. I like the NFL NFL one. Where it's the where they you know they, they introduce like the O line or whatever and they got like it's all the guys and where you know they say their name and where they're from or where they're what college they came from. And they got, shit, like, I don't the, think I remember that one. Yeah, look that look that one up. Put it on put it on the main. It's quick. It ain't too long, but they'd be like, you know, the Ohio State University, you know, that kind of stuff. But they all got like wild names, and it's funny. I like that one. Just uh, <laughs> pause it every like 10 seconds, and then we'll talk about it for five seconds. I was gonna say, we, we got okay, the football names. Okay, that came right up. GMP <laughs> football names. Okay, told you, bro. Yeah, I ain't bullshit. You ain't lying, Nick. You got it. Okay. <clears throat> Let me pull it up to share. And then, yeah, we got to stop it every so often so we can react to it. Yeah, I'll do it like every couple of names. There we go. That's a good call. Flat, okay, here we go. Awake. Is it showing up? Yeah, yeah. Looks good. Okay, hold on. I got to actually close. Oh, no, I got to close them. Okay, never mind. All right, here we go. Welcome to the 2015 East West Bowl Pro Edition. Of all the all-star games in professional sports, this one is sure to be the most extravagant. That's right. These players were selected by the fans, too. And when it comes to flair, these characters are the creme de la creme. Creme de la Creme, Vanderbilt University, Cosgrove Shumway, Clemson, 
Ha Ha Clinton Dix. You know. Was it? Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look at that. Doink. <laughs> Doink. All right, here we go. Kahana Hugh. Marshall. Legum Dupree. Legum. <laughs> I like how his durags pull down over his fucking eyes. And he's got that long ass hair. He, lo he looks like Axel Rose. <laughs> University. Lijay Doosable. University of Central Florida. <laughs> Quisper New Gudon's always seen you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we got a boss on this one. So look at that. Oh, oh, friend, oh, that's uh, funny. Which is Southern University. The Brookenshaw Ferguson, University of Virginia. Strong plug it. <laughs> University of South Carolina. Stop taking robo click. Okay, this one is how I picture Shaman in real life. Right here. <laughs> 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 Bro, my next PMP is gonna look like that. Vagonia Thicket Sway. Thicket Sway. Tulane University. Swordless Lime Town. Jacksonville State University. <laughs> There is a lot of talent in this game, Eric. Let me tell you something. Oh, uh, shit. That was good. <laughs> yeah, I think they do. Oh, no. I think they're doing the other team next. Oh, wait, is there more? But, yeah. And I feel like there's like a, they've done it a few times. Like they just come up with those wild names. But yeah, I think they do uh, do the other, the other team. Okay. Well, that's our brief intermission. Here we go. When you look at players like Marmadoon Shazbot, Ha Ha Clinton Dix and Strunk Plug It. You're looking at players. Ha Ha like Clinton Dix. I mean, is Ha Ha Clinton Dix even real? This guy was amazing. Uh, so solid all season long for the Green Bay Packers. And when you throw in guys like Lagoon Dupree, Swartless Mime Town, and DeBrickashaw Ferguson, this is surely going to be a squad for the ages. I agree. Now let's right, meet the players in the West. So that way, because, you know, <laughs> it's still, even this little part, it still counts as like copyright. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's not funny, but it's still part of the bit. Okay. Three, two, one, and go. Educational purposes only. Prince of Mucamara, University of Nebraska. JR, Junior Juniors. Shaman again. Look at that. <laughs> you got that do right, Shaman. <laughs> junior. Texas Christian University. <laughs> junior. He's junior twice. University of Oregon. Fozzie Whitaker, the University of Texas. Myriad. Profiterol, Utah. Mm, Buster's Browns. <laughs> mm, Buster's Browns. <laughs> Look at his side profile. Man, cupcake. Yanni Eddy. Man, what's high as man? Control Kitchen, Kent State University. This is Take it to the limit. Take it to the limit. <laughs> that is the best <laughs> facial hair I've ever seen. <laughs> Just strips. I'm doing that next. <laughs> I bet Shaman already did. <laughs> North Men's Plots, East Los Angeles College. Frosty Rucker, University of Southern California. Ball State. Log jammer the baggage clean. Okay, that another one could be shown, right? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the side profile too, he's bald in the bag. It's just all up on the <laughs> <laughs> like look at that. <laughs> hey party in the front, you know, business in the back. Swing <laughs> North Texas University. Hey, hey Ron. That shows that how old that is. Look how young he was in that. No shit. But that is so perfect. Hey, hey Ron Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that's awesome. Well, you know, I actually had not seen that one. That's so fucking good. <laughs> 
Uh, and it's spot on too because when you watch pro sports, when they when they start announcing them, some of them have the weirdest names, and like it's like what? And you just want to rewind. You're like what the fuck's going on? Oh, so spot on. I hope we don't get a copyright. If we don't get okay, I don't, so, any, I, don't I don't have any notifications in studio right now, so we're probably good. Okay, cool. So, okay, we can do that more often. We can't fuck her. music. They immediately catch you. But I think for clips like that, I think we have a lot more leeway, more than what we thought we did. Yeah, and as, so long, as, I think, as long as you're talking over it. If you, if you stop yeah. and talk over it, we can do a lot of shit. We can do a lot of shit because I watch people do that all the time. But, but, um, Teddy did tell me. YouTube doesn't like it when you play other YouTube videos. Well, we don't give a shit what they like. YouTube doesn't like us. I don't give a fuck about them either. As long as they're not going to pull us down, I don't care. Well, that's my point. Well, we ain't getting up in the algorithm. We're better off playing stuff from like Instagram or TikTok than we are from YouTube. Well, and I've kind of thought about that too, but at the same time, what is Austin and a couple of people told us like, sh- like live streams don't really do anything to help you in the algorithm. So we're not doing anything to help us ourselves. No, anyway, I'm, not talking about the algorithm. I'm talking about them taking us down or something or hitting us with a copy. Well, yeah. Yeah, I know. But I'm just saying like, cause you said YouTube doesn't like when you play other YouTube videos, but as long as we're not getting pulled down for it. All right. Holy shit, this is one of our longest streams in a while, Shaman. We're at six hours and forty almost forty five minutes. Yeah, I guess we'll we'll I miss out with fourteen minutes. Almost seven hours? This is the longest? Yeah. No, I don't think one of our I've longest been here in a while. Beginning. Almost the beginning. I know this that is a rare occasion for you to be it here is. this long. I know. We got I mean, a, we're uh, streaming for Three and a half hours last time, and you didn't come on until then. Afterwards, I asked if he'd come on, and you said, Yeah. And then we did another four hour stream after that, but it Bro, was like probably an hour between streams, even. We got to go to bed so we can get up and lunch the token. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah that's I was about true. to call it. I'm about to call it right. So, All right. We should, yeah. We should, I, I didn't even think about that. We definitely need to call it. Yeah. Do it like, well, we I you mean, leave, uh, minutes, five more minutes, something, you know, whatever. You'll leave uh, Eric hanging tomorrow. Right. That'll give me some time to think of a new name for the shitty chat name that you came up with, Sean. No, Steve. That was all Steve. Yep. I like the picture I had up in there. Mine was funny. We know you do. Mine was as funny (laughs) as fuck, (laughs) but... Hey, you walked right into that one. I couldn't let it go. <laughs> real, real, yeah, real Canadian, you know. Huh. Got signed after that, huh? Oh shit! I should be more drunk at this point. I'm so sober. Hmm. In like an hour, I'll be up for like 24 hours. Yeah, I don't know. How much time's left on the pre-sale? Oh, uh, good question. We have. Let me refresh. 10 hours and 11 minutes. So and we are at 34 hours, hours. That'll give me time to wake up and make some food and get ready. Mm-hmm. Two, two o'clock it ends and then it launches immediately. Not immediately. Huh? We are still determining how long it's going to take us to get shit figured out. And again, once it closed down, we do want to have a little bit of time to like let everybody know, hey, pre-sales closed. We're going to be launching in a little bit. You know, something like grab, that. Grab your tokens, bitches. You know, get your tokens right. or get ready for launch or you know what I mean. So it won't be it won't be immediately after it closes down, All but. Right. At some point afterwards in the day, right? Yeah, it'll it'll be tomorrow, within a reasonable amount of time. 
Respect, you know, we we try to let everybody, you know, give a heads up. Like, okay, between this time, it should be, you know. Yeah, we want to give we want to give a range, without committing to exact time because, um, especially too, like if it takes a little while for us to get it launched, I don't know what Solana's looking like too. It's like. We're just going to let everybody know we're going to start launching or we're going to attempt to launch it at a certain amount. We're going to give a range, I guess. We ain't going to let you guys hold us to an exact time so that we get in trouble for it. Yeah, that's the best way. Yeah, that's the best way to do it because launching, getting it out on radium, that that takes longer than people think. Yeah, a lot of projects, they take like, they're like, we're launching now, and then everybody's waiting to buy, and it takes like an hour to two hours sometimes from what I've seen on other pre-sales I've been in. Some of them, it happens faster. It depends on the level of network congestion and being a weekend. Hopefully, it'll be a little bit quicker because there should be less traffic. But you never know, so we're not giving exact time frames. But it's not like we're going to launch, or not. it's not like the pre is going to end tomorrow, and then we're launching like a week later or anything like that. Or a day later, but we're gonna get it up within a reasonable amount of time. Cool. How, how's Flurgan looking? Uh, it's coming back a little bit, sitting at twenty k. Oh, oh, from fourteen yeah, k nice. to twenty. Oh damn! Somebody bought one hundred fifty-one dollars. Yeah, buys are coming in. Chaka's been in there, pumping out, um, pumping out uh, memes and. And trying to hype people up, so he ain't gonna quit. So definitely a dip to be bought. Bring the cost bases down. We can just yeah. Get I'm I'm gonna be keeping an eye because I want to get it on it, but it's like with things coming up with our project, I don't know how much I want to throw in on launch for our project too. Like or right. Yeah, there's a lot of things. You know, going. That's the thing with, with having your own project launching. It's like it takes away from like I haven't put a dime towards anything else since we knew we wanted to do this really. So, I mean, I had pre-sales that I was in already when we kind of figured out we really wanted to do this and we wanted to launch it. But I do definitely want to support Chaka and just get in on the project because obviously he's one of those people you can definitely trust in the space. And if he's putting it out there, he's going to keep working bro. out. Yeah, twenty bucks at just twenty bucks at twenty k. Yeah. Anyway, not financial advice. How, how mm-hmm. do you get the show content? Chaka Chaka saying that there's like he made show content on the TG. Yeah. Um. Can you scroll up and see? Um. I guess since you just joined, can you see past longer? Is it gonna be like, huh? What happened? Um, are you how you're familiar with TG, right? Yeah. So when you go to uh, let me find it. So when you click on, like pin messages or? No, if you click on the so at the top it says the name of the group, and how many yeah. members online. Click on that, and then um, right in the middle you should be able to click media, and it'll pull up every image shared in the group. And that's all stuff he's made in the last hour or two. Uh, just the photos. It says photos, videos. Yes. Yeah. Do yeah. Do there should there should be yeah photos should be fine, but it should have a media. It's just media and it covers videos and photos. It's a tab. It's a tab. Yeah. Oh. Tab. I don't see that, but I do see the photos and videos. I don't see the time. All right. Yeah, and then you just, you know, use those photos for show content. That's cool. All right. I never knew that. Yes, sir. So you pick up from Maybe there and then you go on Twitter and raid and, and include those images yeah. and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, we'll be doing some raids. In there. Yeah. Lazy, your phone, Easy. Sorry, Lazy, your phone's killing it, bro. Sorry. Okay, okay. So I got 
I was just checking my phone quick, and I got <laughs> Hey Ma and them telling me, call, they're calling me Fluffy now <laughs> from all the fluff dog. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're giving me shit, and I'm laughing my ass off. So that's why I'm just like looking at it and laughing. <laughs> I think we've started a whole new thing here, gentlemen. This is outrageous. <laughs> it's it's funny how something could up. come up on the show and then it just becomes an overarching theme throughout the whole show. And everyone mm-hmm. just keeps like yeah, bringing seven it back. hours of <laughs> seven hours of fluffing. There's definitely some raw dicks out there from being over fluffed. Okay. <laughs> Chaka. Chaka just yeah. puts his freaking promoter dickhead in its place on the TV. That was funny. He came in there going, hey, can, can we talk business? Can you, do we DM? And he's like, no, nah, dude. Like, get out there and show or get the fuck out. And he's like, okay, bye. And That's what Chaka, Chaka said? Yeah, then Chaka hit him with the bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. You see, Zev start out real nice, but then it's just bullshit after bullshit. People just keep coming in and yeah, he's like, like, man, I'm stressed out, and you want me to pay you for get the fuck out of here. Right. Oh, um, speaking of reminder, Zella Boba TG, you can get um, registered with our similar to uh, Bank of America. Um, we have another. How do I register? Um, you go in there. Let me uh, pull it up. Cause I hit like slash register or something, and it didn't work for me or whatever. So you Wait, got, Shaman, so you I, got... thought, I thought you were already registered, and you have to put a sign in your front yard, and you can't go within a hundred yards of a school. <laughs> That's for something different. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice <laughs> sorry, go. We've been going for seven hours. I got it mixed up. Sorry. Good night, bro. Yeah. yeah I mean, Anyways, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll get. We can do this. We'll, we can do this live we'll, on stream. Anyways, we got a. It's called uh the Deep State Feds Agent Bot, and it's similar to Bank of America, where you get paid to raid. Um. So, you know, you got your Zella Boba, and you want to raid, and you want to earn Zella Boba every week. Get on that leaderboard. Let's see. I guess so, I gotta Shaman, register your ETH address and your Twitter account. It's registered. I see it right there. Let me get my uh, account that I got. And it needs to be the one I got my bubble in right now. My Zelly. Needs to be that same wallet. It doesn't have to be the same one. It could be. I used a, like a, a fresh wallet. So I don't trust linking my stuff to stuff like that. So. They're gonna put stuff in it, cool. But if it's something I hold stuff in, no, we're doing that. Yo, I just earned a hundred thousand gummy airdrops just being on the stream. How so much is that there. worth? We'll know when it launches. It's gonna launch on I think after April twentieth. Yeah, thanks for sending that to me. Appreciate that. Dude, go to Crypto Band. You could have had it open this whole time. Go to what? I can't bank. understand what they're digging your mouth, bro. What do you say? <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> That's kind of what he sounded like. <laughs> and he swallowed and laughed. That's the funny part. He's like, oh. <laughs> he's <laughs> doing <laughs> tier two. He's, he's on tier two of fluffing right now. He's somebody bought the deluxe package. Of bro, fluffing. take a take an, an hour off of channel. work and and get stay on stream, bro. Chill. <laughs> yeah, I make my money, bro. <laughs> I made my money, honey. <laughs> oh fuck! All right, guys, we gotta end the stream. We got a busy day tomorrow. Oh, man. I know. Bullshit. I know it's so, been a very short seven hours, but that's where we're at. Hold on. So what do I do? I give it my ETH Arbitrum address. Is that what I put in there? Just your Ethereum address doesn't have to be your Arbitrum. Oh, oh fuck me. Okay, but uh, yeah, just uh, so you're at the your 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 messaging with the Fed's agent bot. No, not yet. I'm about to. So I'm gonna hit slash register. Hi, Simo. How you doing? You gotta do. You gotta click on Fed's agent bot. Okay. In the DM. 
So click on that, <laughs> DM it, and then do it. Yeah, we're actually getting ready to, to wrap it up if Shaman would get his shit together, but you know, we're waiting on him. <laughs> oh, lazy. Unless you come on back. stream, Simo. We stay. We stay right here. Shaman, we got to launch tomorrow. We need to be well rested. Mm-hmm. Told you to go meet me, Jedi. I mean, go to sleep. Well, I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can. You can. You can shut it down, and we can. We can uh, handle get this registration done in the uh, <sighs> back. Huh? Um, yeah. I mean, I guess that's true. We can let all the good people that have stuck with with us so long. I left. I left work freaking eight hours ago. That's when the stream started. <laughs> Not quite that long ago. Eight hours. Yeah, seven thirty my time when I popped on with y'all. Oh. It's three o'clock now. This is crazy. This is one of our longest streams. It's long Yo, for even us. See more. You in need of uh, fluffing surface services? <laughs> Quit whoring yourself out, Platt. God Platt, damn it. Platt's We're trying to close down the stream. This is not a business. You know what? He can check you out on LinkedIn. Okay. Daddy got to eat, man. <laughs> <laughs> eat that dick. What? Okay. <laughs> Ladies oh. and gentlemen, thank you all for attending this episode of the Lazy Shaman Show. And if you need a fluffer, just DM Platt. He will be happy to stop by. Give you anything you require. Oh, and everybody, our project is launching tomorrow. The pre sale ends today. in nine hours and 58 minutes. Well, it is today now. Yeah. Wow. Nine hours, 58 minutes. And so give it, give it a look. See if you like it. It's a fun meme coin. And we've been streaming seven hours. So we're just going to. We're just going to fuck off now. So we will see you guys next week. Very well said. <laughs>